Welcome to the Ice Guys Live Betcast, Tuesday, March 26th, presented by Boston Hemp, Inc., Ian Cameron, and Alex B. Smith and the host from Chicago. As uh, I keep saying Chicago that way, ever since I heard that great Ken Daniels call of Patrick Kane winning the game for Detroit yeah. uh, in Chicago that night. In Chicago! That is where Alex is coming to us from here tonight. Alex, what's going on? Oh, not too much. Just looking forward to a good night. Great games. Been watching every preview show you can think of, including uh, the show earlier today. But, you know, Boston and Florida, huge game. Philly and New York Rangers, huge game. Just a, a great night. And it's, you know, feels like playoff time is right around the corner. And, and it certainly is. So hoping the games, uh, like I said, are profitable and enjoyable tonight. Yeah, no doubt. This has the potential to be just a phenomenal card. Actually, it does kind of peter out later in the night. I mean, we've got, can't say I'm exactly uh, rushing to watch Anaheim, Seattle or <laughs> Columbus in Arizona, although I am uh, excited. Actually, there is something about that game, and it's Josh Doan, of course, making his NHL debut for the Coyotes. We did mention that. Uh, people know what I'm on, the props, too. We mentioned it today on the show, uh, definitely. Uh, Alex, let's get your uh Bets that you're involved in, specifically for these games that are about to start. The games that are either the Boston game, the Ranger game, the Carolina game. And there's one more that's also starting right around now. Yeah, so for the Carolina game, I, I just stayed with one player prop, and I'm sure I know you have to have this in pocket. Yeah, Detroit, but, uh, Washington, of course. Yeah, Jake Gensel uh, to get a goal. It's not yeah. bargain, Ben. It's plus 140, but that that's just automatic. I didn't go with the bunting. There's a lot of splits, but, like, people had bunting and Gensel. And I think there were some, like, pre-made parlays. I didn't go with bunting because we just can't back anything Pittsburgh right now. But but Gensel to get a goal plus 140. And I also have the draw in Detroit and Washington. I kept my pregame uh, load really small for tonight. Just kind of getting ready for, for the live bets for this evening. So. Yeah, no question about it. It's uh, definitely a, game, a night, too, or I mentioned some of these looks that I'm on, including Carolina. Like, I'm on a small Carolina uh, in the, uh, the team total over and uh, the, bif mm -hmm. the bifecta there. And I definitely like – I'm on Gensel goal, assist, two goals, and over one and a half points. So okay. we're on a lot of Gensel stuff here tonight yeah. uh, in that game against uh, Pittsburgh, thinking that he's got a good chance to uh, have a good night. And knowing, of course, he's going to be amped up, of course, playing his former team – uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins and going back to Pittsburgh. And I was saying on the show today, Alex, that uh, finally we're going to see a video tribute that's warranted for a change. Yes, definitely. You know, definitely. Isn't that going to be refreshing? No Pierre Engvall, no guy that spent two seconds sitting on the bench for the team, and we're going to honor him with a video tribute. No, this is actually a guy who was there for years, was one of the best yeah. players there for years, brought him a Stanley Cup, brought him two Stanley Cups. I think both Stanley Cups they won in the 2010s. Uh, those back-to-back -back years against Nashville and San Jose, I'm pretty sure Gensel was on both of those Pittsburgh teams. I think, so. yeah, I think he got a little more time in in the later year, but That's I think right. he was, yeah, yeah. yeah but he can he on the for both, so. No doubt. So this a, is legit. A beloved this figure. Tribute. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, this is yeah. a real legit, solid, no argument from me, a video tribute, obviously, that yeah. they're going to give him tonight in his return to the uh, Pittsburgh uh, Penguins. 
So, yeah, these games are about to start. Uh, just want to quickly, uh, from a prop standpoint, you know, I'm going to just highlight my best bets. There's just too many to name right now as far as, you know, uh, the uh, the games are going to start before I get through all the props I'm on here for these first four games. The main ones are Seth Jarvis, goal plus 210. All those Gensel props I mentioned. Bunting for Pittsburgh is the one Penguin prop I have. I have Larkin and Kane to score a goal against Detroit. Because in a game of this magnitude, I want the big game players. Yep. Larkin's that. Kane is that. I'm not yep. messing around with Raymond, who's kind of cooled off for Detroit or Perron or Fabry or any of those guys. I'm looking for the players that I trust in a big spot to step up for me. For me, that's Larkin and Kane. Ovechkin to get a goal for Washington. Connor McMichael, goal and point prop. Mm-hmm. That young rookie, Mira Schnichenko, I took a shot with him at plus 450 as well for Washington. Danton Heinen for Boston, plus 550. Pavel Zaka plus 370, DeBrusque plus 310, Tarasenko and Bennett for Florida to score a goal. And the big bargain bin special because, look, even though he's on the fourth line, he scored three straight games, and he's going to get power play time as well for the Bruins tonight. Justin Brazo at plus 700, my bargain bin special. So uh, let's see if we can uh, duplicate the win we had last night with Kopitar for the uh, L.A. Kings. Uh, Terry Edelman, who hey. has done – Great job on the show the last week, 10, eight days, filling in for the man you see here, Alex P. Smith. And he was filling in today, did a great job. Terry, what's going on? Well, we have a Florida goal. Already. 30 (laughs) seconds in. Wow. Rodriguez. Okay. Evan Evan Rodriguez Rodriguez strikes not even a minute into this hockey game. I'm seeing it now. And it is one nothing for the Florida Panthers uh, over the Boston Bruins. Welcome to the game, J- Jeremy Swayman. Holy sh! And Jeremy Swayman and Jimmy Murphy said this Friday when he was with us. He's not. He's been the worst of the two goalies right now for the Bruins since the All Star break. And what a rude welcome that is to the game in Florida. Whew. I'm not on Florida tonight, but I still thought it. Wow, well, that still warrants a Panther sound if you ask me. Scoring less than a minute in, so one nothing Florida there. Uh, over the Boston Bruins. Uh, but yeah, Terry, uh, what are you on here for these four games that have just started? Yeah, uh, Jarvis, anytime goal. Uh, if you know me lately, I've yep. been betting uh, Seth Jarvis. He's just been on a roll. Yeah. Um, my best bet on today's show, Gensel, two or more points, plus 170. Um, not taking him to score just because he's been getting a lot of, a lot of assists. Yep. Uh, so uh, going with the uh, two plus points there. Fox to get an assist in the Rangers game, Reinhardt goal in this Florida game, uh, and then Ovechkin goal, like Michael Point, Strom assist on that Washington game. Yeah. Um, lots of props to start off the slate. Yeah, that's, that's, not a, that's not a bad way to look this time of year, too. You know, some of these games are tight, and especially, you know, we're going to expect some close competition with some of these bigger battles. So just kind of looking more toward a, a player prop direction and, and just seeing where guys chip in, that's kind of the, the way to attack the board a little bit. We got ourselves already a little scrum and a little nastiness in the Bruin Panthers yeah. game, a little scrum after the whistle here. It's Kachuk involved, shocker. Uh, with that uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course i think out of all this there's going to be um a penalty here and there's a chance boston might actually only get to get the only penalty here we'll have to wait and see on this mm. i think it's going to be panthers power play and you know i'm on the floor to feed for this game 100 uh, percent. that's an easy choice here yeah Yeah, see, for me, it's on uh, Sportsnet. So oh, yeah, I they'll, think it they'll is, definitely uh, take the Boston. Boston. Yeah, they'll always yeah. use Boston on there, yeah. no doubt. Yeah, But I've got the sound off, so I don't have to hear Jack Edwards. I'm listening to there you yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd much rather be listening and talking to you guys and listen to Jack Edwards. I think, so. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I, mean, yeah. I think, I think we went say, it's not like I can times. hear it that much anyway, because, you know, it's the sound is like two up two notches on my remote control. I can barely hear, in this case, Goldie on ice and Randy Moeller. Uh, but that's the way I want it to be. we got to be able to hear the people on the BetCast and converse. That's what we're here for, and to make money, yeah. of course, and to drink. Right. Speaking of which, yes. yeah. Yeah. had to get my first beer cracked open. And we'll uh, gotta, await some live opportunities here. You know what sucks is we were, we, we were talking, yeah. Terry and I, about this uh, Boston, mm-hmm. Florida. Maybe we jump in on a live over. Well, that's uh, yeah. that's gonna little... be hard to do tonight. <laughs> they scored in thirty seconds in. That's gonna be a little yeah. tough. So, you know, that and that's that is the thing you run with uh, this 
time of year too. We like you know things early in games, but something's gonna happen so early that we just can't even make a move as far as live goes. We have to adjust accordingly. Yeah. So. so everyone cheers. that's requested the link, we're gonna send them out yeah. in the next couple of minutes. In the meantime, cheers to Alex. Good to have him yeah. back. It's definitely had a stressful week in a bit. There's no question. <laughs> so, yeah. Cheers, cheers Terry. Man. Cheers to a great cheers, week Terry. of filling in and doing a nice yeah. job. Thank you again. I'm not drinking, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you again, Terry. I want to I want to appreciate you on on the on the stream too for filling in for me. Cheers. Hey, no problem at all. And it's not just it's it's, not, it, 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 and it's not just that he was nice enough to fill in. He did a good job. Like he did a damn good oh, yeah. job. Oh yeah, yeah as yeah. always, as yeah. always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I mean, literally, like on that Saturday where I had to leave out, like with like what maybe an hour to go. I'm like, I got to get on a plane. <laughs> so I really appreciate you jumping in for that one, if nothing else. So yeah, speaking no of uh, the cold. plane and the reason for you being back home, how's mom? How's the lady? Mom's doing good. She's good. doing good, and uh, you know, moving around again, just trying to you know get adjusted. When you have you know heart issues and things like that, it takes a while. I know that firsthand. So, but uh, she's doing all right, and she appreciates all the well wishes from everybody as well. So. That's good, and it's good to hear yeah. she's doing well and uh, better yeah. spirits, and uh, it's what we want to hear. Absolutely, yeah. Nick. In the oh yeah, in the chat. So I mentioned yeah, my bargain bin. I did tweet it out, but I'll mention it here. It's it's later on. It's in the Hawks uh, Flames game. I'm going with yeah. Elephant Hands. Ryan Donato plus four ten. Yeah. Ever since I started calling him that, he's actually been scoring. So let's hope that <laughs> that trend continues, and that's a good price with him moving up to the top line, by the way, as well too. So obviously he's going to have plenty of chances when you're skating with number ninety eight. Who I know who we make a mock. Will- more yeah. than likely, we'll end up winning the call the trophy. By the way, I just want to mention that. Yes, <laughs> I I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Turn the pot there because there's the Brock Faber counter. I'm waiting for uh, it. I know. You know it's coming. Yeah, I will let the stats the stats uh, do the talking for me that it has been posted around. Uh-huh. I know the I do. Calder the Calder does go to the guy with the most points. That's that's how it goes. I do think I though that plus 1200 is crazy. Like. The fact that Faber's like I don't understand how he's plus twelve hundred because he's going to be a finalist. So like that, like it, it, I think everybody I have I have Brock Faber plus nine fifty in pocket. So I think everybody should have some Brock Faber in pocket because he could win this thing. It's not out of the realm. It's, it, it, I don't believe it's. I say it's ninety percent Bernard. Yes. So ten percent with a with a with an award like that, ten percent is enough to have something in pocket. Yes. Yeah, Bedard will win. Whether do I believe he should win? That's a completely different story. Right. But I'm I'm pretty sure he will win. I wish they had an over under on how many first place votes Faber gets. That would be an interesting market because he will yeah. get some first place votes. Yeah. There's, there, you you aren't alone on this island, Terry. That's a way of betting believe. Faber without actually him winning. Is you could take the mm-hmm. number of votes. If you can, if go you can over, find you number can of first the, place votes. Yeah. 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 It's a hard thing to quantify, though, because, yeah. you know, God, you could give all the votes to Bedard. You know what I mean? That, that's it, it's tough. But I, I, it, that's probably a smarter way to bet it closer to the award. If they have something like that pop up, I would look for that. So that's a big penalty kill, by the way, moments ago for Boston. You know, yeah. you're already down one nothing. You did not want to see Florida make it two with that power play chance they just had. So that's a big momentum uh, booster there for the Bruins that they needed early in this game or else you didn't want to see the game for their standpoint start sideways like that Uh, right now it's uh, scoreless in every other game right now Flyers and Rangers are about six minutes into the uh, first period Uh, Hurricanes on a power play but still scoreless against the Penguins and uh, Red Wings and Capitals uh, still scoreless uh, as well in that game five minutes in uh, although it looks like as far as that game goes, and I've been now uh, watching it here, uh, the uh, Red Wings are really controlling it and having a bunch of time in the offensive zone. Nothing to show for it yet, though. Oh, there's Justin Brazo throwing a hit. So he can do more than score, clearly. Uh, this I tailed, a, I tailed you on that. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. definitely. It's been... Uh, very uh, surprising, just based on the fact he's been down in the, uh, you know, the bottom uh, six forward group for the Boston Bruins. Yeah, he still managed to uh, make a difference, get on the score sheet, and then score in three straight games here for the uh, Boston Bruins. So it's been good to see that from uh, Justin Brazo here, giving them some depth scoring, which is when the Bruins become more dangerous. Is when they're starting to get all of a sudden the third and the fourth line chipping in, and they don't always have to rely on the likes of uh, Pasternak and Marchand. 
uh, every and DeBrusque every single night. Uh, we're getting to that point, by the way, where we're going to end up seeing the uh, video tribute for uh, for uh, Gensel because it's going to come up at the first uh, TV, TV time. Out. Out. Yeah. I think just about to uh, occur here for the uh, Hurricanes and the uh, Penguins game. So we'll keep an eye on that. Penalty kill, by the way, for Pittsburgh. So they killed off the uh, Carolina power play Uh just a moment ago flyers and rangers are scoreless but the flyers have had a couple of chances in the rangers zone uh definitely you can say that early in the game detroit's had the better of the play against washington but nothing yet there uh and uh we look we're looking at uh one nothing like i said for florida although boston has kind of settled the game down a little bit the next game off by the way off the board is devil's leafs that's coming up at 7 30 eastern uh, that game is not is 7.30. It's not Toronto's normal home game start time because of ESPN. Uh, it's an ESPN game in the States tonight. So Devils Leafs is uh, 7.30 because of that. Obviously got to adjust for the American uh, Eight, it's like 8.30. TV audience, like always, yeah. <laughs> and that's, a, that's, that's awfully late for, for a local start. 8.30 Eastern? No, it's actually 7.30. Oh, 7.30. 7 yeah. Oh, yeah. oh okay. right. It's oh, just Toronto home games are almost always 7 o'clock, but okay. 7.30. For yeah, they backed it off tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, for ESPN. Goose, what's yeah. going on? Hey, Goose. What's going on, boys? Good to see you, Alex. I'm glad to hear Mom's doing okay. Terry, oh, yeah. good fill-in, brother. Enjoyed all your stuff all week long, man. It was fantastic. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate that. No worries. I think that's actually oh, – My wife wants, was my wife wants to bit. say hi. Yeah. There we there go. We go. <laughs> this is Goose. How you doing? <laughs> no, you're okay for now because I'm cooking. You're good. <laughs> no. good stuff. What's Hang on the on menu tonight? Oh, didn't hear me there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about yeah, it's way that looks shaky early, Aaron. Yeah, I mean it's uh, yeah. it's amazing what happened. Uh, getting scored on in the first freaking minute of the game can do that to you. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Florida was getting a lot of good chances before the break there. Well, you were they a lot of good gotcha. They did. Yep. It's been a, look, and they're also bolstered by the fact that they're getting um they're getting both of uh, Forsling and um Barkov back tonight, which is huge. Yeah, there's yeah, the tribute. It's a long one too. It's still going for yeah. against so yeah. So in answer to your question, it's toasted westerns and hash brown patties tonight. Oh, there we go. A little breakfast for dinner. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, That's it's good. a favorite around here. Yeah, and I can get bacon for like three fifty a pack. So oh man, that's a great deal. <laughs> yeah, it's, one, it's, one, of the few, it's right one of the few. Things, yeah, yeah, it's one of the few yeah. things I can find on on a good deal out here. Yeah. It's not cheap living bacon. out in Western Alberta. Bacon's been high as hell in the states for three years now, at least. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got it. It's even a no name. Like some days it looks like it just got kicked out the door, kind of deal, and thrown in a bag. <laughs> but right. it's some of the best bacon I've ever had. So. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so other than that, uh, let's see here. Where are we looking at? Um, shit, I wanted to ask you. Oh, well, I've got you, Ian, real quick. Yeah. Um, do you know of a website where they show the player's stats in a bar graph form? Yeah. So I sent I sent Alex a, a screenshot. Yeah, I, I, I caught a guy today. Um, I can't remember his name now. But uh, you've got him as one of your followers. I'll have to look it up. It, but all the information... So it was all five major sports and right. even college. Right. And when you clicked on, say, goals, it would give yeah. you a list of all the players. And then when yeah. you clicked on a player, it would give you everything in a bar graph for your last five or six or seven games, whatever. Does that strike? Yeah. You're thinking any? of props.cash is the app slash website you're thinking of that has that. And it's a subscription okay. site. Props.cash. If you put that, that in, is. that's exactly what you're thinking of. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Yeah, because I see I saw it today and I'm like, oh, that's yeah. handy. Because yeah. he was he was just I use it. I don't subscribe to it. I use it. Of course. Yeah. You know, if, if you're gonna bet props, you gotta you got that's definitely a great tool. Yeah, because no he was wailing through like he wailed through five or six, seven players real oh, quick. Boom, I see. boom, 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 yep. boom. And I see it now. Right, I just, so. I just went to that site. Yeah, the same colors and everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, neat. yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. I'll yeah. uh, I'll definitely have yeah, that. It's out. actually worth the price. You know. Wait, Ian. I was gonna say, do you have a referral code on link? Um, 
I don't think at the moment I do. No. Okay. All right. I'll check it out. Now. All right. I'll keep an eye on it later. Yeah. Though later. So but no, it's, it's right, cool. For player props, it's just yeah. fantastic. Yeah, like I say, like he was, like he was, he was just wailing through guys. Like mm-hmm. he, he was putting a couple together, and he's like, "Oh, what about this one?" Boom, 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 boom. And I was like, "Holy shit!" Like he's he's showing it had to have been six games at least uh, in a in a micro, and then ten, and then I think he even had fifteen. I think he was able to focus it into. So yeah. it, it was like, wow, everything was right there. Boom, 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 boom. Like all the information, whether it's shots, you know, point or uh, points, goals, whatever. Take your pick. Right. So it looked really, really handy as as a website for for quick access. Yeah, no, it's uh, well, what, what props.cash is great. Like, if that, I know that's exactly once you said bar graphs, I've said he's talking about props.cash. And uh, yeah, every player, you know, you can just click the player and you can go goals, assists, points, power play, points, all that. It's just absolutely yep. outstanding. Uh, yeah, I mean, John, I'm sure hoping for that because I have a little flyers and draw. I went against some strong yeah, no, series history the there taking the flyers. Tonight say hi to the boys. Say hi. Say hi, guys. There we go. Hello. There's one of them. Yeah. There's one of them. That's Nala. That's that's my sons. And then here's the star of the show. Hey, bummers. There There's the boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good boy. There we go. <laughs> everybody's, made, everybody's made an appearance. That's good. No, they're so oh. cute, those dogs. Yeah. And then I got to, because, um, because TSN is carrying the game tonight, I don't get to watch the Leafs. Surprise, surprise. So oh I'll yeah, regional to, uh, restrictions. Yeah, leave. Yeah, region, so yeah. Yep. I've got a, I've got an in. We'll we'll call it an in, and we all know what I say when I've got an in. So yeah. I'll be able to watch it later. <laughs> I, I've had an in for years to get every game I could ever want. So there we go. Uh, no, no, no. Yep. Where are we here? What am I getting tonight, though? Cable and satellite. Um, yeah. I don't know how people still stick with it, but they do. You know, they're getting oh, yeah. totally ripped off. Totally. Oh, yeah. yeah. Loyal to totally all with off. that one. Yeah. <laughs> at least I get at least I'm getting the Boston game anyway. Yeah, that one's nationally Lovely. televised on uh, Sportsnet. They're picking up the uh, like I said, the Ness and Bruin broadcast. Yeah. Yeah. And then I get uh, and then I get Edmonton Winnipeg and then I get Calgary at Chicago. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Yikes! Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, if you like gold, if you like gold, you know, that's gonna be yeah, a exactly, really good right? And, yeah, yeah. Calgary, and Realistically, right? now we're cheering for we're cheering for Calgary to lose. Like, yeah, let's yeah. be honest, right? They're uh, yeah, they could have a shot in the in the lottery. Yeah, right? get a yep. yeah. Of they need uh, we need uh, oh shit! Seattle needs to win a couple. Oh. Um. Seattle needs to win a couple. There's somebody else that, that if they won a couple, we could end up in eight like really quick yeah. after about two games here. If if the Hawks couldn't get Celebrina, I wouldn't mind seeing them go to Calgary. Yeah. <sighs> they need something, right? That's for sure. Um one I'd thing you go did, to I'd... Calgary and then San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have a great tan in San Jose, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Did you well, know the Sharks know... need guys eventually, or else? Well, this is be, it, right? But like yeah. they, 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 like the Sharks could use them if anyone could. Oh, they could problem use them. Right. Problem is, though, they're in a worse spot than than even Chicago is because they're going to get Celebrini, and they've got nobody to put with them. Right. He'll go through his what is it, a four year yep. ELC or a three year ELC, and then he'll walk. Yep. So they'll be, they, they'll be they like get... us now. Basically. Yeah, right. So whereas Chicago, Chicago's got a little bit of a draw because it's Chicago. You'll probably be able to get some players in there and, and and be good in two years, maybe. Right? Depending and and you're gonna end up with what? Another top eight pick this year as well. Yep. Right? So nice. so um did we did we notice I you didn't mention it during the show today, but did you notice that the seven teams that are vying for the president's cup or president's trophy are all playing ah, you did that but terry did there you go <laughs> there you, you go pulled no, no. You pulled i did yeah because i because and i've been saying it all day i'm like oh the president's trophy yeah and i've been looking at like there's like two points between top seven top eight yeah. teams something like that yeah so yeah so it's an open market worth betting into but it's so random you know? well in this and it's such a like it's such a screwball situation right because everybody's got what 12 13 i think is the max yeah, yeah 12 or less and the thing but, is you who's gonna rest who in games 80 to 82 that's the exactly question you're out. right you know, so, yeah because that's that's the thing like like i don't see boston and i don't see florida 
I don't right. see Toronto or Carolina resting guys. They can't afford to. I, I see New York resting guys. So New York yes. would be. A yeah, New York's the one thought that the one team that I uh, thought they might rest some What's guys. Another team in that. Oh, Vancouver's got injuries. Vancouver. Well, some injury issues. I can see where they, maybe they would back off a little bit. You know. Do we honestly see Vancouver getting past the first round this year with the way they're playing right now? Uh, if Demko's not back, no. Right, but even like even the overall team, like I don't know what it is, but they just they don't seem to have it right now. And for a team that had it all year, that's that's a little scary, especially this seen. this time of the season. I think I think Colorado, and I mean, great win, you know, the other day we all cashed on it, but I think Colorado runs out of steam in the first round. And I think I think namely. Uh, Yorgiev runs out of the first round. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I think that's the issue there. It's not going to be the. It's not going to be the scoring. It's not going to be the defense. It, it's definitely going to be their goaltending. Yeah. They'll they'll only go as far as the goaltending takes them. Brett, how you doing, buddy? What's up, fellas? Hey, Brett. There he is. My our Monday Ice Guys guest, Brett Skalski, <laughs> on our the first Betcast he's been on with us this season. Uh, finally, could make it. Yes, sir. Obviously, I, which game are you keeping your club? Oh, as if I have to guess, maybe a certain Philadelphia Flyers uh, team. Yeah. <laughs> ironically, no, because I'm at my computer oh. and it's blacked out on ESPN Plus. Oh, geez. here we go again. <laughs> yeah. More bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but I got the Bruins up. I got Detroit up and Carolina. Yeah, I got the Detroit game on my screen here, and then uh, on my phone, I got I'll have a different game. Yeah. We just still have the one goal, by the way. That's why we've been talking yeah. because we've got nothing to update right now. It's score yeah, with no some... venues and still one nothing Florida. Yeah, uh, one nothing Florida with uh, seven fifty left to go in the first. Yeah. That's it there. Right. So, oh, I gotta say, I watched, I watched a Buffalo or a Boston game last week because it was the only one I could get, um, mm. on the radio. Surprisingly enough, mm. and. Uh, their radio broadcasters are the worst. Boston? Yeah. Whoa. Really don't like so no, no no so so just hear me out for a second. Right. So uh, McAvoy or somebody took a hooking penalty. Right. Right? Stick in the hands. The guy's like, oh wow, the stick was there, but that's a pretty chintzy penalty, oh, right? Yeah. Like it's right, you know, it's like, dude, yeah. right? Like you got a penalty. Oh, like come on, You're really? Like that goose. That's the thing. Wow, well, no, yeah, but, yeah. but they're not all like that. that. That's the yeah. thing. I li- I've listened to Chicago. I've listened to that jackass out of Tampa Bay. He's fun to <laughs> listen to, but you know what I mean. Like <laughs> certain teams are like, oh, that's a, that's a good call, right? Like that's sticking the hands. That's a call, yeah. right? You know better than that. Right. Whereas that boss, that Boston crew, they're and, like, uh, wow, that's such a chintzy call, and oh my lord. And I'm like, really, dude? Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. But mm, yeah, okay. I'm trying to think, Ian, who who does color for for Boston Radio? Because Bob Beers, Bob, Bob Beers, yeah, so. okay, yeah, right. And yeah, he will, yeah, he will be a little homerish, yeah, especially when going toward calls. But Judd Surratt's one of the absolute best. Judd Surratt's pretty good player. Yeah, no, it was de- it was definitely the color guy that that yeah. was okay. that. I'm yeah. like, I'm just shaking yeah. my head. I'm like, that's really, why dude? Alex was saying, oh, yeah, I'm like, that's why I'm like, wait, 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 yeah. Oh, the dogs are barking in Goose's home. Yep. No, Nala sees a shadow and she thinks that she has to alert the world. <laughs> oh, was it? It was the doorbell. Gotcha. Same thing. <laughs> That'll do it. Too, yeah. All right, uh, Devils and Leafs is about to start, Alex. Okay. Is there anything there you bet or anything you lead Nothing with? Any that, props? No, that's a, I'm looking for a first period uh, over in game because yeah. that number yep. was like, I think it opened like $1.50 and went higher. So I'm hoping yeah. that drops down to about $1.25, $1.30. All right, so maybe a live over target yeah. here for uh, Alex with the uh, Golden Knights and the, or not the Golden Knights, the Leafs and the Devils, which is about to begin. Uh, the, don't don't me for an assist. Someone's asking who the goalie is. It's not confirmed about Patera yet. We're waiting and we should oh, find really? out. In a few minutes, because they're going to they're about to take the uh, ice for pregame skate there in Music City. Um, Should find out. I think it'll be yeah, Patera, but it I'd wouldn't surprise me if they go back to Thompson. But I it want wouldn't shock me either. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't All shock right. me either. Yeah, get get your well, goalies yeah. battle tested right now. This is the time yeah. of year to play your goalies back to back. And it is a and team. Does, and doesn't right like you, the, yeah. doesn't Vegas have the next two days off after this game as well? Yeah, like don't they go home after this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'd be surprised if they wouldn't play Thompson. 
right? Like you almost have to. Too you, big of a you game. Can't afford, you, yeah, you can't afford to lose Although, points. Although, what if he gets hurt? Like he played last yeah. night, and if yeah, he gets you get, hurt, you gotta, tonight, you gotta run him though. Yep. Right? Like it's like this is this is this, and you guys have had this discussion. I agree with Alex on this. When did goalies stop being able to play back to backs? Right? This is horseshit. He's Thompson's what 24, 25? The young guy. Oh yeah. Very right? Young guy. He's mm-hmm. you know, like I get it. The game's faster, the game the game's not harder. No. Right? You go back <laughs> right. and look in the nineties and two thousands, goalies were getting run over. Guys were plowing them. They were playing four or five nights in a row kind mm-hmm. of deal. So but for Vegas, like they can't afford to lose. They sure as shit can't afford to lose to, to Nashville. Right. So I think choice. That's going to be an interesting call. It really is. Uh, we're going to, we're going to, again, we should find out in just a few moments here who it is, who's going to be the uh, goalie here tonight for uh, Vegas. All right. Just making sure we got everything that we need locked in. Oh, I like Alex That's Holtz, Hawk. actually. Oh, yeah. The, uh, uh, yeah, the New Jersey Devils. That actually is one of my favorite player props in that game. He's been good. He's been if Travis Green isn't burying him like uh, Lindy did, and he's on yeah. the second line. He's you getting. Think, out you think he's a guy that gets moved in the off season? Because I know you've been really high yep. on, on his offensive production and and the fact that like I said he's been buried in that third and fourth line. Be yeah, he might need a change of scenery. I do agree with that uh, at some point. But again, now with Travis Green in the fold, at least there's more opportunity, and I don't think he's going to feel like, wow, I really need this change of scenery. No, and but well, he, New Jersey, he's, Jersey does have a lot of offense. So if you can get, if you can get, if you can trade him for defensive help or goaltending help, that's certain, that's exactly it. That's the player going out the door to bring in either Allmark or Markstrom, yeah. whatever goaltender they decide to get. Because that's I'll tell you what, he, uh, yeah, he played well against a stiff as a board Islander team the other night and shut him out. I still can't believe it, but. If you tell me they have faith in Capo Cockin and Fitzgerald, he's lying. Yeah, no. That nose is getting bigger by the day. If that's what he's telling you, yeah. I was a firm believer of him when he was with Minnesota, and then yeah. it was right around the time he got traded. And I thought that trade was a little weird. And then once he was in San Jose, I'm like, nah, he yeah. ain't. All right, we have a couple of power plays here. Boston is on one. Capitals are on one. So there we go. We'll keep an eye on that. Those two situations. Speaking of, speaking of, keeping an eye on Oshi for another power play point tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, a couple and, of uh, uh, good. Uh, you mentioned a point parlay prop that meant 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 a, made a lot of sense. I think it was Gensel and Forsberg and Ben. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah Gensel, Gensel, Forsberg, Forsberg ben. ben. Those were good. And ones put in a what I threw, through. I threw one other guy in there. Ruan might have been for Colorado. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly who it was. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, who that it was. That was a pretty good one, actually. Yep. Yeah, that one yeah. made a lot of sense there. Just straightforward, high probability of, of a point from each of those guys tonight. Yep. Now, Gensel's off tra- the board, but you can still throw one together with Forsberg, with Ben, with Drew yeah. in the later there's, games. There's, lo- there's, lots yeah. of guys, there's lots of other guys there for yeah. that. Yeah. What I did, though, is I turned around, I looked at that for a point each, yeah. and then I turned around and did it all for two points each. Yeah. There you go. Right, so I kind of climbed the ladder on that one yeah. a little bit. Do a little ladder bet. Yep, exactly. Yeah. If you're going to do a point parlay, sprinkle small on the two points as well. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And then, yeah, in the Good Toronto point. game, I'm looking at uh, Domi and Tavares for assists and looking we at. We have confirmation. Uh, Yuri Patera in net for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. Wow. Yep. yep. That's a, that's a role. You know what it is? It's the workload. He got pelted in the third period by St. Louis. True. Yeah, 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 he did. True. Workload and I think and you can't weird, risk weird him weird. getting hurt. Yeah. Because you're already without Aiden Hill. If Logan yeah. Thompson right. gets hurt, yeah, then, well, then, then you run, then you run back. Your, yeah, well, true enough. Right? Like, then you're in deep, deep, deep trouble. Yeah. yeah. Then I would start getting my hopes up for the wild again if that happened. But then you know what? Here's the thing: it's the Vegas Golden Knights. Fuck around, and Yuri Batera ends up winning eight in a row or something stupid. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> this team has had the best luck with goaltenders in the yeah, world. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see the report out of Toronto that? Uh, um, Oh shit! What's his name? Is was skating and could see the ice before the end of the regular season. The goaltender. Oh. Um... With uh, shit, what's his name? We all laugh about it because he's got the brother down in Dallas. Um, 
Oh, what's Matt Murray? Name? Murray, Matt yeah, Murray. Right, right, not, not, yeah, no yeah, relation, yeah. No relation. No, no, no. no, no but I always say it's his brother, right? His brother. So, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Same <laughs> last name, same person, yeah. Yeah, same For name. Yeah. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh man, I got into a little bit of a Twitter fight with, uh, oh, the guy. Oh shit! I don't. I can't call it up on my phone. I'll have to find his name. His old man used to work out of um, Devilano. Devil oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. So I, I, I got into a little bit of a Twitter fight with him, and he, he comes on, he goes, you know, everybody's bitching him on about Vegas using LTIR. Look who the worst offender is in Toronto, right? He goes, oh, Toronto fans always screaming and yelling. Right. I'm like, dude, you're, you're cherry picking. Every team is in LTIR. It doesn't matter. You can look at them all. They're all in LTIR. Yeah. What the fans are screaming about is the way that Vegas, especially, and Tampa Bay seem to have these guys all year on LTIR, and then they show up for the first round of the playoffs. Good to go. Right. Magic hey, if medicine. Afford, right? If you can afford to stick them there for 80 games, have at it. All the power to you because that's what, well, that's what the rules allow. And he comes back with, well, that's not the right answer. So then I said, listen, I said, you as a member of the media, which you are, I said, your responsibility to inform these people that you don't just get to pe good pe put people on LTIR. Like you right. got to have a medical report that says they belong there. Yeah. He comes back with, yeah, you're right. And I'm like, well, then, dude, like leave school, leave school, Toronto, one, nothing. All right. Choosy. Yeah. Quickly, and I'm on the talk line, oh. first period, which uh, yeah. I mentioned on the show today. Good stuff. Ber and Bertuzzi? Up, I think it is, yep. Yeah, Bertuzzi. That's Everybody. a goal prop. There we go. So, yeah, so I, I accused him of cherry picking. He told me I was wrong, and then I'm like, well, no, you just – you told you told me I was right. So, dude, <laughs> so we've been going kind of back and forth. <laughs> what happened in, with us to, in Boston, Florida, happened to Alex just now with the Toronto game, looking for a live first period over, and well, and no. it was that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now the question is though does it do you look at over two and a half in the first yeah so quickly maybe i don't know because i thought about that for a second with the florida boston game and then all of a sudden it went cold and then so. it slowed right down yeah yeah this is the, the devils are like what you know the islanders are schizophrenic and the devils took advantage well the devils are fucking schizophrenic and maybe the <laughs> right, are gonna take them that's true yeah, yeah. 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 All right, where are we here? Okay, so all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, leave and I'll catch up with you guys uh, in probably about an hour, hour and a half. So we'll see you then. All right, see you, Goose. See you, see you, Goose. Yeah. All right, cheers. Goose. See you in a bit. There you go. Yeah. Penguins power play coming up. Yeah, that was a great goal. It was a breakaway too. Beautiful pass and Tuzzi put it away. And that's the thing too. Jake Allen, a brilliant start with the Devils until the last game when Ottawa put five past him. So, you know, he had this little run of I think it's just that new team bump. Sometimes yeah. goalies get it, and now you start to fade back and look like you did before. And maybe that's going to happen to Jake Allen here. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> you got anything in Flyers Rangers? It's locked up for me. Yeah. So. Power play, um, I think. Yeah, fl Flyers power play. Oh, okay. Yeah, Flyers are going on the man advantage. <laughs> Pittsburgh's on They're back to second straight man yeah. advantage for them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, over two and a half. Oh, it's the, minus 128 over two and a half of that uh, Toronto, New Jersey. So we got to wait for that yeah. to come down to plus money. At least. At least one thir plus 130 before we jump in on it. Rangers have actually played well in the period. They just haven't scored yet. They have chances, but I like both teams yeah. to score in that second period. That's something I'm going to be looking at. Well, that's what I actually was just about to mention in terms of tonight and uh, going into this uh, the swatch of second period games or second periods that are about to uh, appear. Florida, the Rangers, Pittsburgh are all on really strong second period overruns. Okay. And entering tonight, so again, that's Pittsburgh, that's Florida. And that's the uh, Rangers. Austin goal, McAvoy. Oh, okay. Yep, there it is. Bruins tie it up. Let's go. I got one one. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, Aaron, you got correct. Aaron uh, has correct score one one in the first yeah. game after the Let's first hold. Bruins hold the whole the time. Yep. <laughs> right. the last bet castle. Yeah, last time it was like ten seconds. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Everything's good here. Uh, man, there's a lot going on. It's coming fast and furious now. Yeah. Uh, good to be here. Absolutely. Always good. Uh, Pittsburgh, again, fails on the power play. What else is that power play this year just continues to just 
just be so utterly disappointing for what the talent is on that team. Yeah. If you look up, yeah, you had Carlson and you think it would get a lot. <laughs> yeah, <better>. exactly. Yep. <laughs> it just hasn't happened. Yeah. Only 10 million bucks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah right. But the thing One is, the if he's not going to help you offensively in the power play. What's he going to help you with? Nothing. Yeah. That's the th- Eric Carlson. Yeah. Cause that's what he does help you with. It doesn't help you with anything else. Perlo's here too. I forgot to see Perlo's in. Perlo, hey. what's up? Good. How are you guys, man? Good. This is a great card tonight. I mean, not oh, a sure great betting, yep. not the greatest yep. betting card, but a great watching card. For sure. True. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt about it. Oh yeah. boy. <clears throat> my my best bet tonight was the under in the Pittsburgh game. So I got it out of six and a half. I just think that if Carolina does get up, they'll like you know they'll shut it down. So that that's really what the they often do. Tonight. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Being said, Pittsburgh is that second period over team with Florida as well and with uh, with the Rangers. So I'm going to do a little, you know what I'm going to do is sprinkle on both teams to score now three games and we're going to look for our one and a half strike point. You know, that's the way we approach these now at minus 120 or better with the one and a half during the period. Yep. Let's I got go both two. teams to score already in uh, Philly, New York, plus 135 at Vandal. Yep. Let's go two to one. And uh, because I got Carolina as well, and then Carolina shuts it down, and we're all happy. And people might complain, you know what? We've been on the air for 40 minutes, very few, if any, live bets. Every single live bet I was thinking of hitting in this first period would have lost. I'll tell you that right now. Right. We've actually saved you money, not betting anything. Devil scored. Devil scored. Yeah. Oh, Devils. Yep. El Diablo. I would have won that. Oh, was it Reinhardt? Oh, Reinhardt. Nice. First go. winner of the night. There you oh, go. Sam Reinhardt, the uh, anytime nice. goal that just uh, that's now cash and that's two now two games, games yeah. in a row with him getting the first goal for Florida. Yep. That man. That, that was a weak Terry, goal. Was second no, second goal. Second was, goal. No, it was here. Before. Do you know the way to San Jose? He's <laughs> there. <laughs> San Jose, California, <laughs> A. Matt Robinson. Yep. That was a weak one for Wall, though. About to get ready to go over to uh, the Bar Street by the uh, arena. Have a couple, yep. couple drinks before the game. Nice. It's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be wild in there. So I need to calm down a little bit. There's gonna be too many people. It's gonna give me anxiety. You know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's just gonna be. You're gonna be claustrophobic in that building. People just oh. pushing shoulders left and right with people. I don't know yeah, how you're gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look and see what the cheapest ticket is right now. If someone were to buy it. Any guesses? Probably, probably 20 bucks to sit in that catwalk thing way up by the ceiling. Yeah. Eleven dollars. <laughs> oh, actually, no. Upper corner, you can go for nine bucks if you buy now. <laughs> Get a so, hot dog with that. And then and then when you add in the twenty-five dollars to park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that's like always a bad thing. When, when parking costs more than a game ticket, that's a bad thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Especially in like hockey or like basketball or football. Baseball, I get it sometimes. Oh, yeah, baseball, yeah. There's so many games. Like I went to a Mar- Mariners game like on a Wednesday afternoon, and it was like five dollars for a ticket. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but uh, they probably gave you a second one free, and you just didn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was in Seattle by myself. They probably knew. They're like, hey. Give this to a homeless person because <laughs> we need people yeah. in here. <laughs> we got to make like, make it look like the place is full. So yeah, just give it to someone just sitting there with a sign outside the yeah. on the street corner. I, I laugh and joke, but that's probably going to be White Sox games this season. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, oh, that <laughs> definitely is going to be. White I'm pretty. Sox. I, if I wanted to walk yeah. up there on Thursday, take the train up there, and get go to opening day, I'm pretty sure I could. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> and you know what's right. funny is their division is shite, and they still oh. probably are going to have a terrible year. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all bad. It's funny how, uh, how much tickets fluctuate with like success of team and, and things like that. Like, yeah, I'm guessing like in the uh, like 2016 when the Sharks were like a top team in the West, even a Tuesday night game, tickets were probably like 150. Oh, way more than that. No, when they were at, when they were at the height, like that should oh. even go back to like the 2000s, early 2000s. No, that was a hot ticket for a long right. time. You know what? We may not have to wait too long for that second period over with Carolina Pittsburgh because it's minus 180 right now before the period even starts, which means if we get like three, four minutes of scoreless hockey, you'll get a minus 120 or better. So it's the Pittsburgh game with Carolina, 
Boston, Florida, though, the one thing about the Boston, Florida, I'm a little leery of is that we had those late goals in the first period. So does it settle down? Um, we'll see on that. But I'm, I'll still take a look at it in the second period, given Florida. Florida's like on a 11 and 2 second period overrun. So it's still been pretty strong. And then the other game that I mentioned is Rangers and Flyers, where the Rangers have been a pretty big time second period over team lately. Yeah. Those are the three games I'm targeting. And uh, I'm going to do my usual drop out for about 20 minutes, get my uh, dinner in my system, and I will be uh, back for the uh, 20 minutes or so. Ian, I'll probably yeah. go when you get back, but uh, I'll pop in from inside the arena and just say hi. Give us a live shot. Oh, okay. Thanks. for. I appreciate you saying yeah. that because you're right. You might be gone before I get back. Good stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. gonna have have fun at the game. Bye, yeah, Becca. <laughs> yeah. Hi there. Have fun, hey, you guys. You like the jersey. Yeah. Nice jersey, yeah. Good Rupe stuff. Hands anytime goal tonight. Does Has she been. usually bring the stars good luck or not? You got to be honest with that. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, you want the last time? But, uh, whoop, one the last time. Down. Yeah, one one there, New Jersey and draw. All right, guys, I'm, I'll be back in okay. a little bit. Maddie, since you'll be gone when I get back, enjoy the game, and we'll see you from the tra- from the tank. Sounds good. Yeah. See you later. Uh, All righty. So we got, yeah, two. Who scored that second goal for Florida? Did you guys see that? Because that Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Oh, that was the, Reinhardt. okay. That wasn't Reinhardt. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, so that's in the first period. Everything is at the end of the period now. Yeah. And uh, like I said, I'm seeing 152s on the open at Bet Online for that second period over with uh, New York and, and Philly. So that's a good sign. I mean, we only got to wait about maybe two minutes into the period before we can start getting out of the striking range. Dollar twenty is kind of the, the range for me. I know Ian's probably going to want to wait for plus money, but I'm just going to The Toronto-New Jersey game, I'm going to bet both teams to score a second period when I can get a number on it. Yeah. I, yeah, that's like an easy one there, pretty much. The way they're playing, like, there's no there's no defense going on in that game at all. That Toronto goal, Domi's already got his assist. Yeah, something that I, you know, I haven't done that. I'm gonna do it tonight because I'm here and can actually use my fan duel directly. I'm gonna, uh, I can get like you know, live player props for goals and assists. So that's something that I'll be diving in a little bit more than usual. What I use, I can just do goals. But yeah, that's nice. If you oh yeah, well, that's the, the the plus of being here the last two weeks is this. Oh, I have BetMGM and FanDuel and Circa, and I can go through and use all these things, and I have to proxy it. You know, like I like I usually do. So that's nice when you get a little, you know, bonus. Yeah. For being, bonus for being good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yo, Maddie, what are you on for Dallas bets tonight? Uh, I sort of like. Uh, Sunday night, I feel like, you know, hope it wasn't quite as good, but I did have a Ben goal, a Duchesne goal, and a Sagan goal, okay. which kind of covered the rest of them. But, you know, again, it's – I know I'm biased, but it's one of those spots where you hope Dallas puts up eight tonight or something crazy just because they're playing such a bad team. So, I mean, I think that Duchesne, Sagan, Marchman line's heating up, so I think all of them are a good play. And then – rest- Sagan, though? Is he playing tonight? Yeah, Sagan's out. Oh, I, just, out. Yeah, I did see they were going to give him the night off. Um, who came in for that? Uh, Delandria? Delandria. Yeah. Yeah, because Ian took it. That makes sense. Um, but the other, I really, I'm still going to keep betting it, and it hasn't hit in like four games because he's snake bitten. But once Rupe Hens scores, I think he scores too. Um, like he's getting tons of chances, like every game. So, I, I think I'm on him goal assist and point. And I I don't remember if point was plus money. It was like right around even money, but the other two are plus money. So, you know, if he gets a goal or an assist, you end up in a good spot. But uh but yeah, I think he's gotta heat up. I mean, Wyatt Johnson's been a little quiet despite, yeah. you know, the heater. So I think, you know, he's a good option. But uh and then like against these teams, it's always, you know, it's never a bad play to throw a little on like Harley or uh, um, Miro, you know, if any D gets a goal, it's like they're going to go for it. Uh, I'm uh, going to add natural team total over three and a half. Now that we have Patera, 
confirmed. Right. I'm an I'm an odd Nashville team total over three and a half. That's a good call. That was a late stream plus one hundred. Yeah, it makes sense. I may I may add that too because I mean, it scared the hell out of me. I had the draw in that game already, but yeah, we can get four four. Do you guys have any uh, any early bets that hit, like for spirit overs on those four o'clock games or anything? No, I, w- I was looking for Tampa and New Jersey, and then the goal came so fast I couldn't grab a uh, couldn't grab that in, in time live. So, yeah. <laughs> Alex could do it again. Yeah, maybe he's switching. Switch switch back. Over. Oh, Leafs almost scored there. They're getting good chances. Yeah, there's no defense at all being played in that game. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, guys. Well, I got to jump, but uh, good luck with these next couple games. And we'll in a little bit. Enjoy good your luck, evening. Right? Yeah. Look forward to yeah, you know, the game. game. Yeah. Cheers, guys. I keep. I kept hitting my like. I don't know. My, I had to switch my cables around. I kept hitting something. I keep getting knocked off. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we got less than ha- – oh, yeah, we're halfway through the first with that Devils and Toronto game tied 1-1. Everything else is on the break. Yeah, but I'm going to add that Nashville uh, team total with you guys too. Let's play it small. But that uh, – yeah, Patera, I get it. I get – like you said, you know, you, you don't want to risk having Thompson out back-to-back and hang out the dry because all you need is for him to get hurt. And now you're in a world of trouble. So play Patera, roll the dice. It's not like you're you know, battling Nashville specifically. You, you're trying to keep pace with L.A. So, you know. The only thing yeah, especially concerned. after last night's win, too. Yeah. Like, for me, if I was a coach, like, that's such a tough decision. Because if you put Patera, if you, or sorry, if you put Thompson in and he mm. gets hurt, everyone oh. is just going to rip you to shreds. Yep. All the media everywhere is going to rip you to shreds for playing him back-to-back. So. I think- both both teams to score in the first period interests me a little bit. The only thing I have with no. that uh, Patera being in net is that um, Nashville has never played him before. I don't think, and he's not a bad goaltender actually. And if True. you don't have a no, if no. you don't have a read on a goaltender, sometimes they it can be a little difficult. So um, that is that's true. why I, I just took Nashville to win. Um, so they'll figure him out over. Over, but I'm not so sure that it's going to be like easy to score on him in the first period. That being said, this is a huge game and he's just a rookie, so you know maybe they light him up. But I was uh, curious to see. Sometimes with AHL goalies, I will look and see how they did against that opposing team's affiliate. So let's see, like how like how his numbers against Milwaukee. I mean, that's not it's not going to tell you a story, but it, maybe you know it might give you a little. Plus, curious. Milwaukee has the best team in the league. Yeah. The I think if they want to like this long ass streak, so like eighteen or nineteen, <laughs> those numbers might be inflated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, Milwaukee's. Yeah, unfortunately, I hate to say that as a Wolves fan, but Milwaukee's a beast this year. So, oh, he he won he won his last. Well, no, that's that's early. Oh, so he, yeah, interesting. He was one, two, and one. His last three starts. In Henderson before getting called up, so. I like to look at that sometimes. That for because that was the thing I was on. Um, I was on Calgary with Dustin Wolf a couple of games ago because he had he had like a six game win streak with the Wranglers and then got called up when Markson got that that injury. So I was trying to ride him, but he ended up winning one and then losing like two after that. So. Yeah, Kelsey, it's been kind of quiet just in general. We. we we, not really much. It's only been what th- four goals. Well, five goals if you include the two one in Boston. So twenty five goals so far in the uh, these early games. And then all the the like three of the goals came at once too. Yeah, it's like 
Florida and Toronto scored right at once, and like the rest of the time, there's nothing. Right, Florida's first goal was literally like as we were start, like you literally jumped on Terry, and then you were like Florida, <laughs> Florida goal. Like, yeah. So, <laughs> or even say hello, Florida scored. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Two seconds. Oh, Leafs just got a good chance. They're 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 pushing here. All right. Juggling screens here, watching stuff. I noticed in the Canes Pittsburgh scores previous games that it's always super close. Like I think only one game was decided by two goals. Yeah, they're they're all like one goal. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna throw a tiny bit here for the last eight minutes for uh, just to go over three and a half in the first period. It's plus three hundred. And I haven't seen any defense being played at all. So plus three hundred, I'm going to just toss a little tiny bit on that. Which I game is that again? For Toronto, Toronto, New Jersey. Oh, okay. Toronto, New Jersey. There's no defense being played here at all. And it's a shooting gallery, yeah. Yeah, it's a shooting gallery. So two and a half yeah. is minus one forty three right now. Oh, even that's not bad. For yeah. Sure. So I may wait and grab a little. Let's see one one. 130, 125. Wait this out. A for, for, for at least one goal to be scored? Yeah. That, yeah. that seems like. I already put one, it on. I th- 130, I yeah, 132, gonna, I'm in. I, I'm going to take the plus 300. I think there's going to be two goals before the end of this period by either team. I already got it on there. It's just uh, pizza money. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, I got that. I, laid, I, laid, I laid a dollar 30. So over, yeah, over two and a half first period live, dollar 32. That's probably the better bet, actually. <laughs> That's probably the better bet. Just need yeah. one from either one of them. But. Yeah, yeah. And I, I grabbed draw plus 310 uh, for Carolina Pittsburgh. That's that's a great price for it almost being, I mean, being already being scoreless after 20. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that. That is a good price. Yeah. yeah. I got big on the under, though. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Because I got it at a six and a half almost at opening, so I took the under on that game. <clears throat> yeah, and I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that was going to be a game with a lot of goals, even though it's Pittsburgh. But I just figured, yeah, it would be kind of a, you know, it'll be sporadic with the with the goals. We might see a flurry of goals in the second, and then that just calms down in the third. And go the well, the way I saw it was that the only way Carolina is losing that game is if they go running gun with Pittsburgh. You know, yeah, that's the only way they're losing it. So why would they? Right, yeah. So they're just gonna keep it tight, and and then probably open it up a bit in the second, and, and score a couple, and especially it's old team coming off of a Eastern road trip, so they're not gonna have their legs in the third. Yeah. So. Jumping on the. Leafs Ooh, point. that was close. <laughs> At least to score the next goal. <laughs> right oh yeah, they're just destroying. Seventeen to seven here. shots is for Toronto. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And the so Leafs then, jersey is like. Leafs but then we got. This is the Massey too, though, right? This is when New Jersey will score. In the fall. Yeah, true. Here it is. Oh. Oh. Score? oh. You're ahead of me a little bit. Yeah. Toronto next goal is worse odds than over two and a half. So. <laughs> oh, okay. So then, yeah. I just jumped on Leafs the like half of the first period. It was plus two thirty. Oh, that's not bad. Let's see, Leafs. I might look at that too. Leafs first period puck line. Hmm. That might be lost from there. Plus three twenty, you know. Oh, I get over one and a half for Leafs team total plus two forty. I'll do that. Yeah, that's even better. Yeah. So I got over two and a half for the first period, and then Leafs over one and a half team total. So yeah, we need at least goal now. Right, let's get that game on the screen. Thing Allen's playing really well though. That's yeah. Let's see how long that. Hold on, that yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. This isn't a temporary illusion. It will not last. Enjoy, <laughs> yeah. enjoy it. 
<laughs> for the moment. <laughs> I, I'm going to put a little more on Toronto puck line second period than I because I, I, I think I think New Jersey I think New Jersey like Toronto looks like they're pretty engaged to win this. Fan, the way FanDuel boosts things live is crazy. I bet two forty. I think went the plus three twenty in like seconds. Like, all right, I should just oh, wait. Yeah. That's the thing. They make it. They they give you an emphasis. Like just keep waiting, keep waiting. But then you know you wait too long. So. Well, it probably they get a bunch of bets. It's probably like an algorithm, and they get a yeah. bunch of bets on it, so they just drive just, it up right away. Just kicks it to another number. Yeah. Oh, Jersey almost had one there. Man, oh man, is this pond hockey though? I'm surprised there's only two goals in this first. Like, <coughs> Yeah, draw with the Canes and and, and Pittsburgh. Yeah, that was plus three ten that I uh, grabbed that uh, right before the period started. It would be lethal for the Devils to score. Oh, certainly, certainly <laughs> would. <laughs> Definitely would count that out. Just give us one. We're not picky. If anything, I would probably if they do get this goal and we catch all these, I'd probably turn right back around and go Devils to score first goal of the second period. Oh. Allen's playing freaking. This should be 3 1 easy. Second period about to start in Florida. Yep. And oh! Second period has started in Flyers Rangers. Oh yeah, that for over one and a half second period minus one twenty eight right now. So I'm in on that. I can't come Flyers to I want an under. Pittsburgh. I want Philly. Pittsburgh scored. Pittsburgh yeah. goal. Oh wow. Yep. Let's see what we got here. Who are you passing that to? Oh, Pulley Arby with that. That's a oh, for, against his former team briefly, right? I mean, wasn't Pulley Arby in Carolina for like a hot second? Yeah, I think so. Last year. Yeah. End of the year. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is Third is Did only his third. Uh, Did it's only his third goal of the season. I'm like, damn. Yeah, and he got the other one just last week. He really fell off. He was like a, he was like seemed like he was gonna be consistent 15, 20 goal guy every year, and then just kind of disappeared. <laughs> yeah, Flyers Rangers back back with the uh, no still no score in that. What are you gonna say, uh, Rich? Oh, just. Um... A sense of entitlement and attitude is where the rumors I always heard. Was That's right, yeah. yeah. That. Not willing to do the work. Yeah. Gold Knights Preds are underway. Oh, Jesse Pugliarvi. Uh, he just like oh. he seemed like he was going to be a like a decent kind of second line, third line forward, and then just kind of just vanished. There's a reason why he's called Pool Party. Because uh, he. No. He had, he did lots he, he he did like pool parties. The guy was a partier. Oh, okay. But that's that's yeah. why. In Edmonton, okay. it was pretty well known that he was. Okay. That's the reason why it's called pool party. Yeah. So it makes sense. But I didn't know that. I mean, his analytics were fantastic, but he couldn't keep up to the play, and that's right. Kind of explains why. Uh, Philly's out shooting the Rangers seventeen to ten, but then they they shoot from everywhere too. So right, I, ha I haven't been watching them, either, so I'm not sure how many of those were actually quality shots. Or Red Wings Capitals are back in action as well. So we got six games rolling now, and then uh, Oilers Jets, which I have the Oilers minus a dollar twenty. That and that moved to one thirty five. I've seen it in some spots. That's uh, the only bet I had of that game. Oilers money line. I got money. Yeah, I'm on the Oilers with you, and then Evan Bouchard assists. Okay. 
He's been on a huge assist uh, run, I think, seven, six or seven games now. Uh, Brett, what do you have for that that game, that Oilers and uh, Jets? I got a draw. I got a draw and a couple player props. Okay. If that price keeps going up, I might lean Winnipeg actually. Oh, okay. All right. What about you, Pearl? Jets and uh, and I have the Oilers too. I got him at minus one twenty as well. Okay. Yeah. And Aaron, Aaron, what do you have in that game, if anything? Edmonton. I got a uh, Oilers first period and uh, Oilers full for the full game. And okay. failed Terry on that assist prop. Uh, I have a Bouchard assist. I might grab yeah. some of that uh, Bouchard assist too if I have time. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe if I get that in now. Yeah, seven games in a row for him for with the Fern assist. Oh, okay. Good stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Need some scoring. Give me money. So, uh, Two on one for the Devils, and he sure scores. Damn. There we go. All right. Well, we split. We got the over two and a half. That guy cashes. Uh, but uh, two cap- one. Cap- Capitals just scored. Oh. Yep. Nice. Someone tell me it's Ovi. Someone tell me it's it was not, not Ovi. Not, no, it's uh, not. He didn't have a down goal property. You kidding me? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, Nick Dow, ninth of the year. With a, a Jensen assist. So if, that might be even more random if you had a That's a serious exactor. <laughs> Just like the leaves to be pouring it on for 10 minutes and then. Oh, know, yeah. Yeah, we said it. We did say I that. Hate I that. said it was be so leafy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many more minutes we got in that game? Because I need one more goal. You already got yours, Alex. I yeah, think. I got my over two and a half. Yeah, but then gave a teeny bit back in that uh, going with Leafs over one and a half. I mean, that's still that's still actually alive. It's not dead in the water yet. They right. can another goal. Yeah, which which actually Pearl had the, the whole three one look. So you, Toronto, we really need a Toronto goal now if you think about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you got a minute left. Yeah, I, I oh, Flyers go. Flyers scored. Flyers scored. Right. Nice. Yep. I got the Flyers. I got so the Flyers. Me now, too. Now one nothing. So got the both teams to score there. So need a Ranger goal to even that up. Might look for a draw there now that that's a one nothing game. Might grab a little piece of that. I got that pregame. Scott Lawton. Yeah, Scott Lawton. Yeah. My bad if I didn't mention that. Uh, oh, New Jersey t- is taking a penalty with around 57 mm, seconds left. Okay. Perfect. Right. Let's get if There's it. any team that can score quick on a power play. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew's time. Indeed. Plus 300. All right. I'm not going to cry if I miss it. Oh, oh so it. close. Devils Let's touch see. it. 38.9 seconds left. Um, what can you get on the Florida Boston draw right now? I think the Boston's going to come. Let's back. see. Florida Boston draw on FanDuel is. I'll look it up on uh, Betway. Plus three thirty. Yeah, Good price. I'll take that. I'm going to do that. Good price. Yeah, I'll do that. What is it? Plus three thirty. Florida Plus three thirty. Florida Boston draw. Draw. Did you have the draw to begin with? I did not in that game. I, I was I was looking to wait for some live draw plays tonight, actually. So it's kind of working out. Yeah, that's probably about what the price was for the draw to be before the game started. Yeah, it was prob- probably a little bit less than that, honestly. Uh, it draw- could have been three hundred five or three ten at, at certain, especially like MGM's been dealing short lines on draws for since the All Star break. They uh, probably had two ninety or something hanging around. 
they move off division. If they see a division matchup, they're gonna they're gonna go below uh, three to one. Well, I want to see what how the pace goes with this Winnipeg Edmonton game because I want to do a live over. Well, first period's over in Toronto. How about Cousin yep. playing all that great? Good one. Yeah, two one. So we'll, we'll take the over two and a half. Mm-hmm. Detroit tied it up. Oh, okay. So that's oh, both shit. teams to score there in a second. I have that draw, so I'm happy with that. I, I got Washington. Up. I got Washington money line on that one. Okay. But I I know it was going to be a tight one. So. Alex DeBrinket with the goal there to tie it up for the the wings. DeBrinket scored a goal. Wow. Yeah. Good good thing I didn't play my DeBrinket under .5 points. <laughs> I've, I've been making tons on that. He had a good game the last time these two teams played. Yeah. He's that's streaky. why I didn't. That's why I didn't play it. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen minutes before uh Hawks and Flames. Anybody have anything else? Wow. Let's start with you. No. What about you, no, Brett? Bennett with a big scrap. Hawks um, money line. Oh I got okay. the Hawks. I got the All Hawks right. too. Who had All the right. Hawks? Aaron? I did. Brett. Oh, Brett. Brett, Brett. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I like the, the Hawks over too. I like the over too. Over yeah, I, I got first period over and that's actually my best bet. Uh Rich, you got anything in that? Flames and Hawks? Um, not much. Okay. I'll probably add both teams to score in that too, because I saw Ian grab that at plus one eighty. So I need—I'm sure that's around that fan duel. So. That's a pretty good price. Yeah, I think just yeah. the first period. First period. <laughs> and I oh Ryan Donato is my my bargain bin tonight plus four ten. He moved up to the top line, hoping he can come through. Funny, Ian specifically mentioned Bennett liking a physical game, mm-hmm. and he totally ragdolls Lindholm and then scraps him. Like, yeah, that's pretty accurate. That was pretty, pretty <laughs> good. Uh, the Jets are pre-game, you know. The yeah. Jets are all over the Oilers to start it. Holy crap! Vegas goal. Yeah, that's big for them. Is anyone Bullshit. watching the Carolina game? Because I'm seeing Hurricanes game. money line plus one ten, and yes, all in my name. Because yeah, Pittsburgh is... just yeah, what is that? I'm they're seeing that gonna, too. They're going to blow yeah. it eventually. Oh yeah, Pittsburgh, okay, yeah. Right. Pittsburgh will fade down the stretch. Wait till it's two nothing, you'll get a better number. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But will it get to? 2-0? I don't think it'll get to two nothing. Yeah, I probably not. If you want to get be real bold, second period money line Canes plus three ninety five. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, if you think they're gonna get to get to here and, and take get out of the second of the lead. That's, I don't know. They've been playing so many games. I was that's the thing. They, yeah. Like their schedule. Oh, yeah. oh, I know. Yes, but seven seven game in eleven days. Yeah, seven eleven. Yeah. They're due for a clunker. That's why that Toronto loss was. Brutal. That's why I like the draw on that the live draw now at three thirty. That's a good bet. That Toronto loss was brutal. Like you can't yeah, lose. That's it was, horrible. Yeah. And I think yeah, every other game is like after yeah, eight yeah, all the eight, eight Eastern and then or sorry, yeah, nine Eastern, ten Eastern, ten thirty. Okay. Although Winnipeg has been running the pace here, I uh, I still think this is going to go over. Yeah, last call for over one and a half. You get plus one sixty five at Bet Online on that. That's on the first do. period, I mean, full game, you might be able to get oh, about yeah. five and five and a half plus one hundred four. Yeah, I might wait for that to drop or or go up a little more. We gotta we gotta get the Oilers getting their legs a little bit here. My gosh, Winnipeg is just destroying them though. But I think they will, and they're not gonna play defensive now. Right. After just getting hosed for the first freaking half of the game. If Anyone liking gonna, uh, Rangers money line down one nothing? No. 
No. <laughs> I, got, I got Phil you in line for the game. So uh, I oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that game, I stay away from Philly sides and totals. I know, yes. That's what I'm saying. Philly, Philly. Because they're just they're scary. Sometimes. That one team what? that just. I Plus 140, though. That's. I also got the under in that game too. So at home, but plus one sixty-five for Philly and a Rangers team that doesn't need the wind all that wind all that much. Like, yeah. Also, also they were missing like Truba. They were missing like three good Gustafson. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot to get Gustafson. So it's three blue liners out. And yeah. Lindgren, yeah. Yeah, Lindgren, yeah. Yeah, cluster injuries. And, and, well, Philly's got Guinea in and a bunch of guys, too, that aren't that great. But I'll trust Tortorella to get them come correct for one game against the Rangers. Yeah. I'll just stay. Pat. I have I have a little draw, and I have both teams to score in the second, so we just need a Ranger goal. Yeah, Rangers are shooting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Rangers are, are shooting the puck a little bit, so. Hmm. I, I just didn't think the Rangers wanted to go to war tonight. I, Philly is going to be more in that yeah. mode, so that's why I took Philly up. Like, like it's what plus one sixty five. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to take that value, and especially the way they've been playing the last four games. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I freaking took them to bubble. Like I got the over points in the beginning. Oh, the gold knights goal. Oh no! Oh, no. I don't know who scored. It was two nothing. Fuck! I had the Preds. I had game. a feeling, but so many people were on Nashville. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I, I was. Ball, I, just, I, 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 I was. I was like, it's, yeah. it's early. It's early. It is. Yeah. Vegas played last night. We'll see how they do in the third. Yeah. Yeah. See where their legs are at. When you, it, it did make some sense that it could be the dead a dead spot for Nashville too because they've been winning like crazy. Right now. It, yeah, yeah, it's bound to bound to have a night where you're just not gonna. It's not all gonna come together. Yeah, Miss Letty in the chat. So the best draw spots right now live. Uh, I, I'm on Carolina Pittsburgh, and I also grabbed Rangers Flyers draw. And I already had Detroit, Washington in pocket. So. Well, we got Boston, Florida draw too, don't we? Oh yeah, Boston, yeah. Florida draw. So, yeah, so I have a little piece of everything that's going on, except except Toronto, New Jersey. So, I don't know what's going to happen in that game. I think Toronto's going to take it over. I, I think. Yeah, it still could be time to grab a draw later. Yeah, Sorrow's having an off night. That's something I don't think most people expected that to happen. Panthers are on the power play. Yep. Vegas has who tomorrow? Oh, oh they got nobody. No, yeah. They played last night. Yeah, they played last night. They yeah. played last night, though. Panthers on the power play, and then when Leafs come back with the uh, Devils at the intermission, that's about eight minutes left at intermission, then they will be on the power play as well. So I might look at Leafs' first goal, second period. I, I, I'm just going to take Leafs' puck line, second period. I, I think okay. the Leafs are going to run that one now. <clears throat> Let's see what that price is. And, yeah. In fact, you probably get a better price at Leafs over one and a half team total second period. I think they'll score two. That's true. Second, second and you get at least just second. even money three way line to win the second period. Oh, uh, okay. That's good. I'll do that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Play is suspended in the Florida Boston game. Uh, another penalty. Yeah. 
Oh, people are saying Kane's goal in the chat. That game is suspended. Oh, it is a Kane's goal. Oh, okay. Wow, Good. see? Need that yeah. one. Pesci? Tell me it's Jarvis. Tell me it's Jarvis. No, it's it's the defenseman. Oh, it's a defenseman? Yeah. Orlov. He scored a bunch lately, too. Yeah, I've been laying off props lately. I caught quite cold, but I'm going to start. I got to start start to uh, start playing them a little more now. But this time of year, it's hard to know. It's hard to because there's not many as many goals being scored. So. Yeah, I do. I do have Kane over two and a half shots. Really juicy, but I mean he's been over his shots like every single game pretty much. So it's a good but, scrap in Winnipeg. Stanley and Perry went at it. Oh, that's a good scrap. Yeah, that's a good scrap. Yeah, yeah, two tough guys. Stanley's trying to. Fight yeah, that's going to be Orlov's goal. Went in off a of Carolina. Actually, went in off Pittsburgh player. It was Pedersen. He got hurt there. So it's one-one in that game. There's the. Uh, well, there's both teams to score for Carolina Pittsburgh. I didn't get a chance to bet any of these over one and a half live, though. They all got that first goal before I could oh. get my minus 120. So I'm only on the over two pre period plus both teams to score with those it's three. On games. Flyers, Rangers, Hurricanes, Penguins, and Bruins, Panthers. Yeah. I stayed off Detroit, Washington, and that game's already had two goals and both teams to score. <laughs> one one in the second for Capitals and. Red Wings. 2-1 still for Florida. Bruins are on the power play, though. one nothing Flyers, and they're going back to the power play. Like I said, now it's 1-1 for uh, Carolina against Pittsburgh. And I was it's funny. I was just starting to get consideration for Carolina money line before that goal. but So was I. Was too so late. Was I. Yeah, Terry was too saying. late. <laughs> That Not Bruins the start I was hoping for out of the Nashville Predators, but there's a long way to go down 2 nothing already. Get credit to Vegas. They're riding the adrenaline of last night. But I'm, uh, they got to get I'm the next goal. If Nashville gets the next goal, they're fine. I'm going to drop a bit on the Oilers Winnipeg over 5.5. Yeah. This game isn't being played in it. That one to me looks like it's going to be a tight game, tight low-scoring game, Oilers and Jets. At this moment, I don't see it, actually. I don't see too much defense being played here, but – you know, maybe they try to. Both teams are trying to get. You up also have goalies games. that are trying to rectify themselves after bad games. Keep that in mind. Yeah, Hellebuck and uh, Skinner. Hellebuck, um, it's more than just one bad game, though. Yeah, Hellebuck small. hasn't been playing for a while. Yeah. By the way, we got the over trifecta coming up in the game that's just about to start here Calgary versus Chicago. Just a reminder there. Oh, Washington. I love the amount of fights we're seeing, though. You're right. It's just one after another here. It's true, yeah. The emotions are running high at this time of year. Boston, Florida, another one just a moment ago, yeah. Who had who had who had Nico Mikola and Brad Marchand getting into it in the uh, before this game? Yeah, not many. That's what you get when you have two teams that have significant disdain for one another, and we've got that now. And Mikola doesn't really have all that much of a history with Marchand either. Yeah, the over trifecta, Miss Letty. That's I like that name, Miss Letty. <laughs> over trifecta is first period over, one and a half. Both teams to score first period and the full game over. That's essentially what the over trifecta is. Oh, Flyers, power play oh, goal. There we go. Let's go. They lead the there range. There we I go. Flyers now because there's we got games that are not going my way here early on. That's that is one of them. Yep. Oh. No faith, Ian. 
No, I've I've got faith in uh, Toronto to come back. They should be up two to one. Or actually, I I shouldn't say I, I don't I I only have a small bit of Toronto full game. I not enough to really be that worried. I'm, I want to add more though, and I'm probably going to at some point. Like twenty five seven are the shots in that first period. Yeah. I mean, it's just shocking to me that the Devils actually have the lead there. It's one of those games where the period make, makes no sense. New Jersey's up two to one in that game because it was a shooting gallery on Jake Allen. Oh well, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. So there's the there's the uh, over. Well, I push on over two. I couldn't get over one and a half at minus one twenty on any of these games because the first Flyers goal came before I got minus one twenty on the live second period over. Same with the Carolina game. Same with the what's the other game that I was interested in there. Yeah, Flyers game and the Penguins game. Oh, Bruins Panthers. That's the one that's actually scoreless in the uh, second so far. Another scrap in that game. Yep. It's just, uh, well, bad blood. And you know what's great, Rich? They play each other later this year on a, in Boston, I believe, on an ABC game on a Saturday afternoon, I believe, like in a couple of weeks. So they're not done in the regular season, Boston and Florida. Yeah. That may be a very important game. Like that, that could be a very important to game to the standings. No. Yeah. Seedings, yeah. Wow, Juan says in the chat, Gensel has six shots on goal. Nice. That's wow. That was probably an excellent bet, Gensel over shots on goal. If I had trust in the shot on goal market, I might have been on that too. <laughs> but it was probably a good bet tonight going against uh, – Pittsburgh for the first time. Oh, we got that first. I just got back in and saw the uh, second period over cash. Bill. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Need, still need both teams to score, though. I still have a little bit. Of, I have plus for Flyers, five. Rangers, yes. Yeah. Need, need a Ranger goal. Yep. Need a Ranger goal there. But uh, so far, we're looking good for pregame for me there. Flyers and the draw I have in that Flyers oh, okay. Rangers game. Yep. I like to draw. I grabbed draw live, but I didn't grab uh, I didn't grab your Rangers yet. So I was looking at Rangers. I got flyers in the under, so I'm looking not too bad there. Yeah. I think if the flyer, if I thought the flyers were going to win, I had to take the under. They're not winning an over against the Rangers. And I also have the draw pregame in Boston, Florida, and Detroit, Washington. So those are still very much alive. That's a pretty tight game right now. By the way, Alex's bargain bin, he wasn't on the show. Uh, today it's Ryan Donato and the uh, yeah. game coming out. I mentioned Chicago. it. Yeah. I mentioned it when you were on uh, dinner break. Yeah, plus four ten. So yeah. if you want to get in on that, you can. Uh, <clears throat> in a game that I think should see goals, because I know it's Morozik and Markstrom, and when they're on their game, they're capable of being three to one. But Morozik suddenly given up. He's fatigued goals lately. Fatigued. Yeah. I think he's tiring out. Yeah. You could even say that about Markstrom too. Not to mention Markstrom's got a weaker blue line and defensive crew in front of him now, yeah. and he's given up mostly three, four, five goals. Uh, the last uh, few starts. So that's why I'm on the over trifecta there in uh, the Windy City. I end up grabbing, I have uh, my best bet is first period over the Flames Hawks, but I also did grab both teams to score. I got plus 174. Yeah. That's right. First period, a uh, best bet uh, for today for Alex is that uh, first period over. It's actually funny. You didn't specify which one was the best bet. I just you took the uh, onus to <laughs> make it Chicago Calgary first. You figured that over, out. I said, yeah. of course. I can figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> you knew it wouldn't be Edmonton. No. Edmonton was my other Well, you like that there. one, but I said they're both. He's got one star, and I'm like, nah, I'm going with the first period <laughs> over every yeah. single time. Best yeah. bet over the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every much. single time. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, by the way, let's do another toast. Cheers to oh, everyone. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we're back in the uh, saddle now for the duration. I can't um, this up. Feel much better now after having some food. Uh, good you... stuff. Cheers to everyone. Aaron, Brett, yes. Rich, Perlo, Terry, uh, everyone that's on the stream, everyone in the chat. Salute. Cheers. Whew. This old granddad's rough. I haven't drank this in years. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have some live betting targets. Yep. If Pittsburgh somehow gets the lead again on Carolina, we're going to get a really good Carolina price this time if Pittsburgh gets the lead. So we're going to bet Carolina live at some point if Pittsburgh takes the lead. I will be jumping in on Toronto at some point against New Jersey, but I'm waiting for the price 
to improve a little bit. It's not tempting yet enough at plus 145. Predators first goal, second period, something I might be keying in on. And remember with that Vegas start, even though they're up two zip, their legs will give out more in the second than in the first and more in the third than in the second. You would think that on the back-to-back. So that's why the longer the game goes, as long as Nashville doesn't bury themselves here in the first period, which I'm hoping they don't, and fall down like a 4 nothing or 5 nothing spot like that last disastrous home game they had before this streak started against Dallas, as long as they can avoid that, they're going to have a chance to come back in this game. Yeah. I was looking at Nashville to score the next goal, but it's minus 138. Yeah, it's not it's like, wow. Oh, yeah, no, not next goal in this period, but the first goal in the second first period. First goal the second, you'll get yeah. better odds. Uh, yeah. I think BetMGM is like the only place that does that. Yeah. You can bet them to get the first goal in the period? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know that. That's an MGM bet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Primarily, yeah. Yeah. This is just such an intense game, this Bruins and Panthers. It's been phenomenal. It's just been – just you can see it here. The playoff playoff style hockey. Yep. Detroit-Washington has been pretty good. Those are the main two games I'm focusing on here at the uh, current slate. Of yeah. the, the Leafs game is on the smaller screen, but the two main screens in front of me are the Red Wing game and the Bruin game. Washington power play coming up. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, Leafs have tied it. There it is. 2-2. Two, two. That's what I get for waiting. But I, I didn't like plus 145, so I'm not that mad. I'm not that angry. <laughs> I think it was, yeah, I think it was Nylander. Yeah. <laughs> So there's hey! my second there cash of the night. Nylander plus 115. Nice. There you go. go. Nylander goal prop. That's a big goal for Toronto because you get the sense the longer it stays two to one. New Jersey. And like they're they're like at 30. They're at 30 fucking shots already, Toronto. And we're barely into the second period <laughs> yet. I think there's oh, an absolute was... shooting gallery on Jake Allen. They're very yeah. fortunate Jake Allen played out of his skull good in the first period. Um, my bargain bin, by the way, it's like right out there. It's Keller over uh, two and a half points at plus 650. That's, uh, well, three points for Keller tonight. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Plus 650. I, do, do you see how he lost his shit the last game against Dallas? Like, He's a mild mannered yeah. kid, and he broke his stick over the freaking ice and freaking went off on everybody. Just freaking lost his mind. Yeah, he was I angry. Think, I saw that. Yeah, he was. I, I, I think he's going to come correct here tonight, and he's he's going to. Yeah, you can't do that and not come. You know what I mean? Like you better come. Correct. Not come back strong with a good game. I I hear you. Yeah, yeah. you need yeah. to have like you got to take it all over. You got to take the game over. So, I had six fifty. After seeing something like that, I think it's worth a shot if you're going to get some two and a half points on it. All right, here's our chance with this both teams to score coming up in the second period yeah. of Flyers Rangers because the Rangers are going on a power play right now. All Penguins it. have taken the lead. Oh, here we uh, go. here's our chance. Oh, All right. Shit. Two to one. I don't like that. Go a little Stop heavier on here. Yeah, I'm already on plus 110, but I'll go a little heavy on, on yeah. uh, Canes. We know this team can't be trusted with a lead. No. Oh, yeah. Well, I do like that because I'm going to add more on the Canes now. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's a good... I'll add more on the Canes for sure. Let me do that right now because there's no way Pittsburgh's going to hold this lead. Not a chance. No. But the, o- the only argument I guess you could make is the Canes. There it is. Lead. Rangers. Power play <laughs> goal. Let's yep. go. Oh, there it's you a go. power nice. play goal. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Both teams to score plus 135 caches. Yeah. The only problem is maybe maybe oh, the Bruins game. Bruins just tied it. Oh, nice. oh the draw. Tie it two two. The draw. The draw. 
Pasternak finally, Pasternak. finally uh, got on the board again. Yep. Side of pasta. Yep. Yep. Kane well, I think did he break team. a point record or a goal? Is that his? I think he, there was, or not a record. There was a milestone for this year he was at. Oh, another Toronto goal. <laughs> oh. Three oh, two wow. leads. Hmm. Yeah. Jake Allen. Oh, it was Matthews this time. The barrage is faded. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's got he's a lot of shots. He, the workload in that first period was ridiculous. That's 25 right. shots, 27 shots in the first period. Chip away at well, the wall. Pace for 108 shots down. in the game. Or, 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 <laughs> yeah. or no, 81. Sorry. Did wrong math. 81. Yeah. We get, yeah. <laughs> Something tells me Travis Green might not get the job. He might not. No. <laughs> Probably not. No. 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 Adam hey. Fox assists. Cash is as well. Did he? Yeah, Adam we, Fox got an assist. So who scored the winner it? there? Adam Fox assist. Yep. It's a sweet parlay piece. Oops. Zabanajad. Yeah, Zabanajad got the uh, Ranger power play goal. Yep. Canes and regulation is plus five hundred. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I, went, I I grabbed a little plus two tens. I got plus one ten, plus two ten with with Canes to just uh, money. I'm, just, I'm gonna wait this out a little more. Plus one sixty. I'm not there yet at plus one sixty. Oh yeah, no. Carolina. Vandal had Vandal had, had had two ten and it went down to one ninety fast. So. Yeah. The Oilers are finding their legs here too. It's uh, yeah, definitely might look at that. Five teams four. Little team score second period. Yeah, that would be a good one, I think. Oh wow, Timo Meyer just tied it. So there's it's the cool. over halfway through the game. Both teams to score. Oh yeah, yeah. New Jersey. Yeah. Did, wow, right back three three. Mm-hmm. There's a very quick over for the full game for anyone that had that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We could be looking at double digits. Yeah. Now, do we take the live over nine and a half? That's what I'm saying. How high do we think this is going to go? I don't know. I think it'll go. I think that's a good bet. Oh, and they're showing it um, that Matthews might have been offside. And I think uh, Alan was saying that. They just showed it on the the thing. And it wasn't challenged? He looked offside, yeah. But they didn't challenge. Oh, Keith is giving it to them on the bench. He is not happy. Chicago, Chicago's coming out pretty good in the first period. For- yeah, they're coming off a road trip, too. And they've got an yeah. uh, early power play right now. Yep. Uh, get that game. I'm looking to live over this. I wanted to get a better number than six. Yeah, I'm, I have I have first period and, and both teams to score first period, but I'm, I want to get in the trifecta, but I want that number to come down to $1.43. Yeah, I had the first period, too. Actually, I tailed you on oh, the first Red period. Wings just t- took the lead. Oh, oh shit. Damn. Damn. Oh, like Everything's that. just, like, freezing up here. Edmonton's frozen. Vegas. Oh, Hawks just froze. Yeah, Hawks, national yeah. game is frozen. The Edmonton games are frozen for a bit. So I don't know yeah, what's actually, going on yeah. Uh, is that intermission? No, it's a minute. I'm minute a minute. Now. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a big one for Detroit. A late second period goal there against the uh, Capitals. I hope that's the Nino that just scored. Was, was the wow, it looks like it's 3 nothing Vegas. The yep. chat, they say. 3 yeah. nothing Golden wow. Knights. Holy wow. back. Yeah. I did not see that coming. Getting lucky. Flat oh, breakaway for the Devils. Hughes. Oh, he didn't score. That's the last guy you want to give a breakaway is Jack Hughes. Yeah, true. Yep. <laughs> okay, Hawks five on three coming up. That's oh, there we go. There's a chance. Yeah. All right. Still scoreless Oilers Jets, by the way. They're in the final minute of the period. 2 2 Boston, Florida. 2 1 Detroit. That's now at the end of the second. 2 1 Pittsburgh, end of second. 3-3 three, three with the Devils and the Leafs. 2-1 Flyers. That's where we're at right now. If uh, there's no goal in this power play, I am gonna, I might throw a little bit more on the Hawks here. Calgary looks like they just don't give a flying fuck. 
They don't care at all. They look like they're depre they're depressed and ready to go on the golf course. Uh, we have a devil's power play coming up, by the way. Yep. Yep. Five on three Chicago for you know right now. Well, it's actually the five on three parts only got fifteen seconds, but five on four after that. Yep, Devil's power play in that game. I think we're at the end of the second now with Boston, Florida. Yep, 2-2. Two, two. Flyers, Rangers at the end of the second oh as well. 2-1 Flyers. Markstrom is the only reason why there's not a goal in this game. My gosh, he's just going off. Yeah, he made a great save just a moment ago on the 5-on-3. Yeah. There we go, Blackhawks. One nothing. And I just grabbed plus one thirty five before that goal. Won the money. Oh, that would have been an early downer. Five on three early in the game, not cash in with it. We got it. Was it Donato? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seth Jones. Oh, okay. Yeah, Seth. She's been all of a sudden lighting hey, it up here up. lately. Yeah. About time. Yeah, Seth Jones from Kurashev, and I think Bedard's going to – yeah, they'll get the assists, yeah. I believe, on that. Another yeah. Bedard point? Yep. I got Bedard over one and a half at plus 260. Yeah, yeah I, I took Bedard point. I'm still getting in on Nashville first goal in the second period. I have MGM, so I'm going to bet it there. Definitely, yeah, I'm definitely game. betting. Yeah, I am definitely. going to get it because now they they're in a position where they definitely have to get the next goal. Four nothing, even with Vegas on the back to back, you're not coming back. And who's the, yeah? Who's to say that Nashville couldn't rattle off you know three or four goals and and still cash the team total over and still get this game to OT with Patera and, uh, and he had, Patera hasn't seen any, anything yet you know no. heavy yet uh, lately so. I don't know how that wasn't a penalty on uh on the Leafs there on Holmberg. Oh, because the Devils are on the power play. That's why. <laughs> yeah, they're always that, that's that's actually a, a, a something in this league that's frustrating. The penalty is always a penalty, regardless of when it takes place. And too often, you know, there's just but you know what? It's like all there is day. penalty they to put a team the down five on three. They right. call those in the playoffs. Yeah. They don't call them the regular season that often, no. but they will. They won't hesitate to do that in the playoffs. Now, remember, Gary Bettman says the NHL has the best officials in the world. So, remember that. Well, who else has better officials? High school sports here in Illinois. <laughs> do you know what's funny? All these bets that I made pregame tonight were pretty small. Like the Flyers in the draw, the Red Wings draw, the the Leaf bets were pretty small. The uh, Carolina Pittsburgh, even those I kept smaller because I was waiting for the bet cast. Nashville's the one that's hurting me here. That the one was the more substantial bet for me here tonight. 
That uh, and the and the 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 bifecta or the trifecta here with the Chicago games, pretty. I was about to say Chicago, Chicago, Chicago uh, first period over, and yeah. Edmonton money line with my my. Hand. And the Arizona team total over. I really, really thought that was one of the better bets on the board today too. Merzlik has given up six in his last two starts, and Arizona, I think, can get four tonight. Josh Doan's debut. They do play well at Mullet Arena. It's crazy, but they do. Like uh, even with the loss to Dallas in the last game, Dallas is a good team, but they definitely prefer playing there. And Vimelka is Carter Hutton's pick last week on the show for a goalie on the upward trajectory, and it's true. Vimelka has played a little bit better lately for Arizona, he's quite a, a bit. He's elite. <laughs> Perlo's old uh, favorite goalie right there, Garel Hermelka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, so see. we are targeting Carolina against uh, Pittsburgh. We're just waiting for a better price. I don't want to jump in yet. I'm yeah, that, yeah, I grabbed two ten right after the goal. I know. Yes, yeah, so you're trying to. Are you looking for, for plus two hundred in that range? Or? Yeah, for Carolina Hurricanes, it's plus one sixty or so right now. Oh man, Calgary looks absolutely like horrible. Wow. Like I took Chicago kind of as like, ah, you might as well take it at the money, but I'm right. Not thinking it was I like, yeah, no, I didn't think it was. Uh, Alex and I, Mel, were both on Nashville for the first goal of the second period. Yep. I didn't bet plus two and a half. I, I, I went that road instead, the first goal, the second. Oh, you watch. This is the Massey again. Calgary will come and score the next goal. That's fine. I'll take it. Yeah, the first yeah he, we need the over. Uh, I'd rather have Chicago win 2 nothing in the first. True. But. Yes. Well, yeah, me now, too, especially since I got Hawks money line. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, plus, oh, yeah, plus 100. On Nashville, I just grabbed them. Yeah, Nashville, like I said, they should show some fight. That's why we like the first period or first goal in the second period. But I don't know about. Grab the money line just yet or anything that crazy. If they if they can show some speed and fight right after they score that first goal in the second period, they catch that and and show you know keep that momentum rolling. Then we can start talking about that. Florida is straight up shutting down Boston right now, but. Just as I say that, no, no, oh, sorry, that's. Uh... All right, I got a plus eight hundred uh, point parlay coming up for Montreal, Colorado, oh. and pretty much it includes everybody we talked about today: Alex Newhook, Uri Slavkovsky, Jonathan Drouin, Arturi Lekkinen. Those four plus eight hundred. Oh yeah, Drouin against his old team. Why didn't I not get Newhook? Him? Former team, and he's in good form actually. Alex Newhook. So he's in that parlay, one point. Uri Slavkovsky has been great with Suzuki and Caulfield. One point out of him. Drew Ann, it goes without saying. He's not only in great form, but acts to grind with uh, Montreal. Um, and Plus, he's from Quebec. He'll want to play well. And Arturi Lekkonen, again, a former Montreal Canadian. There you go. For plus eight hundred, I like the probability of that. And all we need, and all we need, we're not uh, jazzying up this parlay either. Just simple, cut and dried, straightforward. One point from each player. That's all we need. New hook, Slavkovsky, Drew Ant, Lekkinen. Are any of them on the same lines? Uh, who? I said, are they on the any of those teammates on the same lines, or 
Uh, New Hook is on the second line center spot. Slapkovsky's on the top line right wing for Montreal. Drew ends on the second line and Lekkonen. I actually think they're on the same line because it's Big Val, McKinnon, and Rantanen on the top line. So it's <coughs> Lekkonen on the left side of the second line, uh, Drew Ann on the right side of the second line for Colorado. I'm tailing you on that, Ian. Because you've been like really them. good with your same game parlay. I, I like them all individually, you know, in props tonight. So. Yeah. Yeah, plus five seventy five at Bet Online if, if you do that. Yeah. So, can't do that. Uh, I got it at seven hundred at DraftKings. Yeah, prices vary as we say. Yeah, yeah. the eight hundred was at three six five. Yep. Yeah. Probably do one for Dallas San Jose later too, because there's some good ones in that game, especially for the Stars. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Um, a uh, King Boog is right in the chat. They moved Drew into the top line with McKinnon and Rantanen. Oh, they did. Huh? Let me just uh. Yeah, yeah Drew is up in the top line and Lekkonen in the middle spot in the Shushkin. Oh, I love Pinch my Drew and props even more now. Pinch his old team. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna add more Drew and McKinnon, Rantanen, and and now Big Val's on the second line with Middlestat and Lekkonen. So it's Big Val down to the second line, Drew and up to the top line. Yeah. Yeah, I think Drew to score a goal plus 320 at FanDuel. Yeah, I'm already on that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Drew and goal prop. Yeah. I have that yeah. One. Drew and goal prop. Let me see what it was when I bet it. Uh, that's a good prop game coming up, we think. Hopefully it is. Montreal and uh, Colorado. Yeah. But yeah, Drew to get a goal for me. Got it at uh, plus 330. So it's actually bargain bin uh, mm -hmm. worthy price. Yeah. Yeah, then my bargain bin was over one and a half points plus three forty. And I do have, yeah, I do have a couple over one and a half points in that game. I have Lackanen at plus two fifty, and Drew Ann at plus three forty, um, over one and a half points. And the Drew Ann one is Terry's bargain bin oh, okay. special nice. from the show today. Drew Ann over one and a half points plus three forty. Which now that he's on the top line, you know. Oh yeah, more. I love that even more. Yeah, I love chances even increase more. just a little bit now that you're playing. Yeah. With I'm I'm gonna add a great. little yeah. yeah I'm gonna add a little bit more to that because I really like that. Actually, you know what I would like if you can add it now that you guys mention it because I wasn't even thinking about props today. Duran to score the first goal. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you want to get uh, yeah. The problem is Colorado's yeah. given up the first goal lately, especially right. at home. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. why I like Montreal. Why, better. by the way, if you missed the show, I'm on Montreal money line and I'm on Montreal. Team total first period just oh, to get a geez. goal. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, Alex, you on the draw on this? Are you in the draw in uh, Montreal, Colorado? Plus no. 500. <laughs> I saw that, but it's there for a reason. I don't think it's going to be. I, I I think Colorado could pull away late. I know. I know a lot, actually, a lot of actually, late. okay. Then, El Diablo okay, up 4 3. Nice. Actually, the let's go. So it, it works for everybody here. Duran to score the last goal. There you go. That would be yeah. actually not a bad thing. That would be a bit. Oh, that would be a storybook. Uh, yeah. Especially <laughs> if it goes to overtime and then Druin mm -hmm. wins. Or if it Which just if we give him back to back winners, too. Oh, oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't be a bad storyline there. That would work better for for Ian's players. To do so. Don't want to go. I don't want to take that energy away. Yeah. <laughs> I just like the over. I just think there's going to be lots of goals. Yeah, I'm on the over, too. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't expect a cash a plus 500 draw. But with both teams going overtime so much recently yeah, and in the past, I had to – you don't see plus 500 draws really That's very true. often. I think I cashed a plus 505 last year. I can't remember, remember what teams there were, but – it was something. It was some favorite that was crazy high. Uh, I just got this feeling that the way Colorado is playing as a team right now, with Duran being there, they're going to come balls out in this game. I, like they, the way they're playing yeah. as a team right now, I think that they're going to ruin Montreal. Honestly, I really do. Yeah, and I think the way they started against Pittsburgh, that ain't happening again. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
little nervous with Crosby, all that stuff, yo. Nobody ever talks it when, well, maybe they shouldn't because they got such great players there, but I don't think Bednar gets enough credit for how good of a coach he is. He, he doesn't. Is. No, he doesn't. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but then at the same time, you know, he's doing stuff like playing Yorgiev way too often. And I don't think that's, that's not so much his fault. I think that's Sockets' fault for not getting to the goalie. Yeah. Like who can play Annan in? How often are you going to play him? I mean, yeah. There's not much to play there. And not only that, Gorgiev is like one of those like type A kind of personalities that wants to go right. there. You know, like he's just going to push it, push it, push it, push it. That's why he struggled so much with the Rangers because just Sturkin was the number one and he wanted to prove it and they wouldn't give it to him. And, you know, he's a very competitive dude. So, yeah. But that being said, it, it's, it's, it might not serve them well come the playoffs at playing him that much, that's for sure. Maybe they were afraid to get another goaltender because Gorgiev is like just seems like he's got a, he's a little weak minded when it comes to competition to, for his for his crease. Maybe that's all, that's the big skeleton in the closet right now for Colorado. It's like uh, Yorgiev and Onanen, man. These are your goalies right now in the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs. Yeah, you gotta hope if he that, goes uh, down, like, Yorgiev can be really good, really, really good, but. You also have to make sure. I think he's got to be on some kind of load management plan here in this down the stretch. He has to be, I think, if you want to maximize how good he can be come playoff time. Yeah, I heard that they were heavy in on Allen, but um, Allen wanted to go somewhere where he would play. Right, like they're going to play Georgiev, Georgiev quite a bit. And not only, <laughs> not only. Not only that, he had a very difficult time with fitting to him <laughs> in St. Louis. King Boog's right. I think you're referring to Max Willman, who got the go-ahead goal for the Devils. Yeah, players with no profile picture scoring goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That might be one Max Willman, who got the 4-3 uh, go-ahead goal just now for the Devils. NHL.com's got a, got a, a picture for him, though. All right, plus 700, little sprinkle. Seven on plus seven hundred two team parlay live in game with Toronto and Carolina. Right. Yeah, Crazy thing in the world. Plus seven hundred. Just uh, took a small piece of that. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I am going to finally live bet Carolina now. Plus one sixty five. Yeah, I'm probably going to bet each one individually too, but I just wanted to get in yeah. the price now at the two teamer. A plus one sixty five. Yes, you got to do it. Just hope their legs hold up yeah. after all that. But I mean, the Penguins will drop. Their their legs are going to hold up after an Eastern road trip. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, and the Penguins did just come from Colorado too. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, they're back from a road trip. Carolina, though, we've talked about it. Though this is you know a team that's also battling their own fatigue. You know, ninth game in 11 nights, or not ninth game in, uh, no, seventh game in 11 nights is what this is for Carolina. Silly me to think that Bet Online would be able to parlay yeah. live money lines together. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, here's that's a sad a, thing. That's Panthers to win by two goals or more is what that is. Yeah. P Panthers minus one and a half. Yeah. Panthers minus 1.5. Yep. Win by two or more. Here's a sad thing, or maybe it's not, because at least I do this for a living. I knew Wilman got drafted in the fifth round by the Buffalo Sabres, played for Philadelphia, and went to New Jersey. That's a human being shouldn't know that. Yeah. I don't think that's, that's sad necessarily. <laughs> well, we don't because we're hockey. Blackhawks again, <laughs> two nothing yes. Chicago. Hell yes. yeah. Is it there we go. Go. First period there over. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Who got it? Who scored? And a two nothing Who Chicago scored? lead. Yep. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, Dickinson. Perfect. Jay Dick. Trooper. Yeah, Mr. Right. Dick. Jay Dickinson. Yeah. Sweet. Jason Dickinson with the goal. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Goal. Man, Calgary looks terrible. What are they going to fire their coach again? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. There's um no. 
the, the both teams to score in the first period is always the smallest bet of the three. Yeah. But the main legs are always the over one and a half and the over six in this case, full game. Yeah. So I'd love to see Calgary score, but if not, you know, as long as the full game over hits two, it's profit. Oh, yeah. As long as the over one and a half and over six legs of the two th- of the trifecta come through, if with the, each each time I take one of these, it's profit. That's that's the one bet I have at four different books was over over one and a half in the first period. So yeah, that's that's definitely one of the nights so far. That helps. Wonder, that helps exactly. Yeah. I wonder if Calgary yeah. starts feeling embarrassed here and actually scores the next goal. That'd be nice. Like, I'll take that. Washington goal. Think there's got to be some kind of a jump. Washington, yes, thank you. Did they tie it up? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Two two. That's good. We got draw. Draw and play for me and yeah. Alex there. Red Wings and Capitals. And of course, Bruins Panthers also on the draw there. Plus three thirty. We took it live. We've got yeah. potential here with both of those. Keep it up. Did you take draw. a pregame pregame in? Did you take the draw pregame, pre-game draw? I have pregame draw on Flyers Rangers. Bruins Panthers, Red Wings Capitals. Yeah. And I got um, there's one more. Wait, I oh, have, yeah. Montreal, Colorado, Colorado on that crazy little small shot plus 500. Plus 500, <laughs> yeah. That is good value considering the whole emotion that's going on with that game. Sure. And I got Carolina, Pittsburgh, Boston, Florida, Detroit, Washington. Connor McMichael. I believe gets the goal for Washington. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rico, Rico, Rico got a goal prop there. He's been a good yeah. player prop guy lately too, McMichael. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he had McMichael. I'm pretty positive. Of it. I don't know if he's coming on tonight or not. He said he might. Yeah, Debrinkit got the goal for Detroit, assisted by Comfer and Petrie for the assists on that goal. Braun from Larkin and Comfer. And then, yes, McMichael just scored a moment ago for the... Uh, Come on, McMichael Washington. scored just now for the uh, Washington uh, Capitals. Sam G, what's up? Oh, boys. I can't believe it. <laughs> on with the fucking there, eh? How's it going, man? Yeah, good. Glad you got finally got on, and you're, you're trying to get the link forever. So, <laughs> yeah, dude, listen, long time listener, first time caller. Ah, oh, great to have listen. you on board, man. We appreciate yeah. it. Two two, by the way. Rangers have just tied the Flyers. Hey. Oh no! Don't like that. Draw. Oh, see, I'm like, draw draw season. This is a, this is a big one for me. Yeah, it's yeah. about time, Sam. Great to have you. How many? Yeah. Uh, how long have you been watching and listening to the show? About three years. Uh, oh, I was wow. there for Alex's 4-0 uh, bet on the Lightning like a few years ago. So I definitely nice. that. that's right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, dude, it's been a long time. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Well, glad glad for you to join us. Now better late than never. So yeah, I got some of the classics on here. We got Perlo. Who else is in here? Brett, Rich yeah. H. Yep. I just wish Cheshire Cat was in the house, but he's in the chat, so maybe he'll jump in at some point. Yeah, Cheshire's in, all... the, uh, in the chat. Yep. You're always in the chat, Sam, right? I'm, I, I try to make it out as much as I can, dude. Yeah, you guys have seen me yeah. on there. Yeah. 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 I unfortunately haven't been able to be on the chat lately. I'm always listening, but I, 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 I'm doing some stuff during the day now. But uh, I always see you on there. Wish I could get Listen, on the chat. I owe, I owe Leaks you guys are on the power money. play, by the way. I should point that out as well. Hey, on the power play. hey Melissa's here. Hey, Melissa. What's up? Melissa. I made it. Hi, guys. <laughs> nice. What's up? A lot more enjoyable not penguins. being in a loud casino, I'm sure, this hey, time. Yeah. I know. Going? I'm not in, in Vegas this time. Back in the <laughs> comfort of home. Yep. Way yeah, to go. exactly. Yeah, how's everyone doing? Good. Yeah. Good. All right. Always fun. Always a good night with the bet cast. The the betting's been up and down, but that's okay. Lots of night left. How yep. about you? How, what what do you what have you been on tonight? I did not have any time today to I haven't been having much time lately, so 
anytime I ever make a bet, honestly, it's your tweets, Ian. <laughs> it's go. just tailing that. Or if Alex sends me a DM, I get lucky. <laughs> then what I just tail when you become a mother, on. man. It takes over your life. I, I swear it does, but it's great. Yeah. If I was a stay-at-home mom, then sure, my life would be <laughs> capping NHL. But now I feel like I'm just a fan again. You know, you go through That's phases. Good. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. There are some days I wish I was still a fan, and I know I'm ripping <laughs> for the reason. Not for any other, not, not for yeah. any other reason. <laughs> This yeah. past weekend, I wish I was just a fan. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we all have a creep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've been doing lots of traveling. What's it been like with all this travel you've been doing for work? I know. It's crazy. I hate traveling, too, for work because it's just annoying. But I had a conference in Vegas, and then I was in Georgia for a week. I was in Iowa last week, so I'm going to states where you can't legally gamble too. So it's like well, Iowa, Vegas Iowa different, legal. I was, is Iowa I, legal? And Iowa has bet three six five. I'm like, I've been trying to find an in oh. in Iowa. Wow, three two Rangers. Wow, that changed. That's kind of cool. Right? That's the only thing cool about Iowa. They like that's that's all you can do there is, is drink and gamble. You can't smoke. Yeah, weed. it was like there was like nothing there in Iowa. <laughs> was like, why am I here? A lot of corn. Yes, lots of corn. <laughs> Well, Ian, Iowa is sort of like the Saskatchewan of the United States. Am I right? Like, have you? That's what I. <laughs> that's about right. That's pretty much that's it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Saskatchewan, Canada is like Iowa is like Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. Canada. <laughs> yep. Nothing but farmland. Nothing but just. Uh, it's Flat. like you're driving on the highway two hours, and it's like you're seeing the same shit yeah. left and right of you. Yeah. <laughs> Colorado scores already. Yeah, Did they? Wow. One nothing. Who was it? That's see. why I split it up with Montreal to score a goal. It's McKinnon. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. It was Rant, ranting and assist. Yeah. See, I couldn't bet it. I wasn't going to bet it because it was yeah. minus, he's minus 140. No, five at some spots to score, and it's like, oh my god! It took forty-three seconds for what his home point streak to go to what thirty-six now or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. So the NHL oh. record by now, right? Yeah, it's got to be home point streak, home game consecutive point streak for McKinnon. Yeah. Uh, Wait a minute, no, there had to be a season where Gretzky got a, a point in every home game with the Oilers, right? There's no way you go 212 points. Gretzky's in record in sight is chasing down Gretzky. He is, okay, yeah. that's what I was about to say. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is 35. Yeah. yeah, this is 35. This this goal he just scored moments ago. It was 34. It's 35. Gretzky's record is 40. Uh oh, oh, it's oh, okay. I was about to say, I'm like, I'm yeah. sure Gretzky. I was thinking Gretzky might have had one that went past the yeah. season. But all right, so 40. he might get it though. He actually might get it. That would be impressive if he, get, yeah. if he can yeah. get 41. He can score yeah. a, a point in every home game in the season. That's that's, yeah. yeah, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. pretty crazy. I do have over by uh, over trifecta in this game too, though. So I have over trifecta in this game. I'm drawing this game. Montreal money line first period and Montreal team total just to score a goal. Basically, it's Montreal to score a goal minus one twenty. Team total zero point five minus one twenty. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, here's a oh, cool. Oh, oh, there it is. One one. Montreal wow. ties it. Let's go. Nice. There's, there's the first period team total already. <laughs> first period, both teams to score. First, first period, period over. both teams to score already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Great stuff. Suzuki. Wow. And Mason oh, Adams maybe. scores for Winnipeg. One nothing Jets. Oh, take the lead. Yeah. yeah. Something had to happen. Boys, I'm pretty sure if you take every team that's out of the playoffs this time of year to go over, you're going to be a winning man. Yeah. This has been a thing with the abs at home yeah. lately. Give up a goal. They did it just now. Mm -hmm. the, the, yeah, the Habs, uh, Blackhawks, any any of these teams are going on. Flames. Pretty much yeah. Flames, yeah, exactly. All these teams are just flying. The Blue Jackets, just, yeah. it, you know, Penguins, just throwing down. It, it's, it's crazy. So, we always say it, rolling out the puck late in the season. Yep. And no one's playing defense right now, yeah. Especially the teams that are out of it, like a Calgary. Yeah. That's why I target Calgary, Calgary, Chicago. Yeah, it's like, like every team, blocking this shots. Time of year, this time of year, every team that's out of the playoffs just go over every single but, time. But then you say that, and then you see then you see Andres of Tennessee and Luke Coonan fighting in the Hawks and Sharks. Yeah, well, not, like, what are you doing? Yeah, I was about to say, not the Sharks, not the Sharks, not the Sharks. Washington goal. 
Oh, oh Capitals with yeah. the lead. Yep. Let's go. Three, two, Washington. Washington. Yep. Finally Washington. gave the Cavs some props. You, you, for months, you were, you know, and respectfully. Shitting on sense. them? You can say it. Shitting on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, look, yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm a Cavs fan, and we're in like a weird situation where it's like, do we rebuild? Do we not? It's like disrespectful to Ovi, like to rebuild in front of his face. It's a weird situation as a Cavs fan, but we have been overachieving. And now, like, it feels like we actually might have a chance. I don't know. I mean, no. and hey, team ain't going nowhere for quite a while now. No, that's got true. That. I mean, I was reading that a couple of days ago. <laughs> I don't know how that thing got like, bungled, but good thing. Yeah, I, our management's not great, but. It feels like the boys are actually rallying around for a potential run here. I mean, a, a, a last ditch effort. I'm not sure Spencer Carvey's getting enough love for the Adams there, too. I mean, that's actually he is. I haven't seen his number rise at FanDuel. Oh, is that he's, right? He's, he's right? higher up than Andrew Burnett, who should be getting some way more love for the well, that's yeah. true, too. Yeah, but I wanted to give you a good talk. It's huh? winning. I'm pretty sure talk it's going to win in the it's end, be but talk, yeah. It, well, oh. honorable mention to both of them, Brunette and Carver. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Those two should be the finalists. Yeah. How is not Tortorella? Nobody had Philadelphia. And, oh, Tor- no, you're right. Tor- no, Torts has to be a finalist too. So, yeah. so it's Carberry, Carberry or Brunette should be the third finalist. Yeah. 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 But okay, I got a cool stat for you for Wayne Gretzky. How yeah. many goals? How many overtime goals did Wayne Gretzky score in his career? And I'll tell you the answer because I it's I, all right. Hard so. To, so, it's just so, you gotta, it's so you gotta take so into consideration he didn't have any overtime. What he probably didn't have any overtime goals in the first what few years of his career. Yeah, he well, I mean, after '83, and the Oilers didn't go to overtime very often because they yeah just they were, they were wild. everybody, and there was no three on three. But right. this still will be surprising. Yeah, two. Ten goals. Two. Okay, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, two, wow. Two over- he had four in the playoffs and only two in the regular season. Yeah, I was surprised to hear that. I heard that in Sirius Radio today. Huh. Oh, wow. I was just like, what? Really? What? Two? Yeah, really. My gosh. Well, how, many, right? how many assists does he have in overtime? <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that would be uh, really interesting. Actually, they said that too. It was like seven or eight or something. I wasn't on Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. But oh, that's really I, interesting. I was surprised to hear only two. Yeah. Like I know it was a different era and they didn't go to overtime. There was a lot of ties and stuff like that, but really too. Now now it's, I'm curious to see crazy. um what does Lemieux have for overtime goals? That would be good to know. I, I don't know. That's a good that's yeah, good good fun fact. Oh. Like Matt working working on is supposed to be his night off, apparently, because he's posted some uh bets for tonight. Even though he wasn't on the show, he felt bad he wasn't on the show. I'm like, don't worry about it, man. You're in San Jose for a hockey game. It's not that bad. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't. Oh, take Flyers in. tie it. Hey. Nice. Philadelphia. Yo. Use, baby. That's big. Yo. Come on, boys. We need, we need to get something out of this game. Draw, yeah. Flyers, anything. Draw. At least the draw. Yeah, draw. Yeah, we need draw. Three. Yeah, that would be huge. And and a ra- another Red Wing goal would be nice too. Uh oh, Goose back in the hospital. What happened to you? <laughs> Got fed, did the laundry. The wife's in the bath with a couple glasses of wine. I get yeah. to relax on the bed. Boom. There you go. <laughs> How was you your go. breakfast life, for dinner? <laughs> breakfast for dinner. Yeah, exactly. Nice and quick. I nice heard nice earlier and... you were talking about that. <laughs> What do you think? Do this, this is this is kind of insanity. What's happening to your Leafs tonight? Because they're they're yeah, outplaying the Devils, yes. yet they're Where's losing Mom? right now. Winnipeg's up one. Yes. Winnipeg's up one. Yep, one nothing. Jets. Calgary's yep. down one. They're getting outshot two to one. Apparently, last time I looked. Yep, they're down two zip to uh, Chicago. There. Yep. Nice. Go Calgary. Nashville had a power play, got nothing out of it, so we're still waiting anxiously to see if they get this first goal in the second period. Still three zip there for Vegas. Oh. That's not a good. Sign. Oh, Ryan Hart oh, again. Oh, or sorry for Hagee. For Hagee. Oh, for Hagee. Oh, for Hagee. For goal, Hagee. Florida. Yep, just yeah, now. Go right. ahead, goal for the yeah, Panthers. I got, three I two. Got Flor- I got Florida in my team. So All right, bro. I need to draw there. Terry, yeah. do was... you have Kane tonight in your goal score no. prop? 
No, you're not writing. No, I that haven't anymore. Him for a while. You love Kane now, though. <laughs> no, he, he was yes, he was on the hot truth there, and I made Go some money on him it. when he was hot. <laughs> no, I grabbed him on a point. Once, once, once a player leaves Chicago, I don't hate them as much. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> the Penguins are still winning, probably because Jari's not in net tonight. Yeah, that makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm just so in, in, in just amazement that and now every time I see a Florida home game, the place is packed. Like it's just oh, that's big save, yeah. yeah, big save in Winnipeg. Yeah. yeah, Oilers and Jets. Jets have come to play tonight. Jets have played a good game so far. Yeah. So uh, Rick Bonus is back behind the bench. No fucking around anymore. That's it's, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't like so hearing that when I heard that in today's show. It's like, uh... yeah. <laughs> being on Edmonton, I really wanted Bonus not to be there. But... No, I don't know why I didn't even think about it with Terry and Alex, the rivalry there, Minnesota and Chicago. I forgot yep. about that. Good. How are you, buddy? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in a while. <laughs> it has been a while. Doing well. It has been. Yeah. What else we got going? Two nothing. Avalanche Life is good. One. Yeah. So so. Winter decided to drop. Uh, what they? Winter dropped nine inches on us in two days last week. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah Winter in March. Me. Not good. I I avoided the snowstorm in St. Paul. It's been rain here in Chicago. So rain and wind, I'd, like usual. I'd rather have the rain. Yeah. I really would at this point. I played yeah. winds off again in snow blowing yeah. next. Yeah, the winds, the winds, but it's been nutty wind, like like yeah, yeah like forty five hour gusts. Like uh, ma- amazing, we didn't get oh, rained here on. Here clock clean. Oh. Oh. Bruins power play coming up here. Here's right. a chance. There Tie it up here. Yeah, we yeah. We got uh, Nurse and Dylan having a fight in uh, Winnipeg. Oh, oh now I'll switch to that game just to see that. Yeah, let's see. It's still going on. Yeah. I Ian, I thought you had a screen of all the games on. At no, all I time. can't put all of them on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good takedown. Three at one. Like, that's about it. Yeah. For March Madness, they let you put like four on at once. And I'm like, we need this for hockey. Like, that's that right. would be yeah. so Especially cool. In, yeah, exactly. Especially a night like tonight with so many good games. Yeah, this would have been a good night for ESPN News to do that uh, face off frenzy. Yeah. Like. yeah, they didn't even do that again. That was so fun. Yeah, that was a good battle there by uh, Nurse and Dylan. Yeah, good scrap. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm just seeing it. Yeah. yeah. Nurse didn't like a hit Dylan threw along the boards. I think it looked pretty clean, but yeah, it was. It, it was, was pretty rough, though. <laughs> yeah, the finish was rough, but yeah. Do we not have a Genzel point yet? I don't think so because oh, yeah, he didn't no. get a point on the no. first Carolina goal. Yeah, we need him. We need him to score to tie the game up. Yeah. That's no, we game. don't. Oh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, oh, yeah. you, should, you should be cheering for the Penguins to lose. It helps them in the draft now. Yeah, that's yeah. the concern yeah. now. Yep. Wait, they don't have their first round pick. That's they're going to be. Yes. Or right, well, they yeah. don't have any of them. How much time is left in the Carolina that's game? Carolina, eight thirty-seven. Bailey, there's like eight left. Yeah. 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 They're pushing Good. though. I've been watching it. Yeah. Uh, we've got 10 minutes left to go in uh, Detroit, Washington. Washington's up 3 2. Tie game. And how is the tie? How is it a tie game with Flyers and Rangers? Flyers are going to the power play, by the yeah. way, too. Yeah. yeah. Savannah Jed, Brzezinski, left. Masterful timeout by Torts. He took a timeout after those two quick goals by the Rangers to turn it from 2 1 to 3 2. And ever since he took that timeout, Philly settled the game down again. Yeah. The guy who gets can only imagine what he said. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Chomping, <laughs> chewing their ass. Hopefully, out. we got a, a yeah. clip of that later. <laughs> no, he wasn't like yelling and screaming, but I saw it. He was, but he was very demonstrative. He's like, "No, let's go," and he's like, you know, yeah, to, you know like settle down here. Yep. <laughs> he's great. I think yep. he's hilarious. Some people don't yeah. like him, but I think he's funny. I've well, it's obvious Sandstrom play. didn't play well against Florida the other night yeah. in that loss. Oh, I don't blame him about Sandstrom. He said he didn't play well. A couple of what did you see from him? And he just goes, yeah. smacks the uh, table okay. in silence. Yeah. yeah. If, if, we, if he's well, like, Marsh Andrews tonight, then I'm, I'm done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Marsh oh, took a penalty, uh, and he's 
He's yeah. not happy about it. Yeah. Power play in Florida. Yep. Get on the box then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just yelling and screaming and he's smashing. Been taking all oh my gosh, Rangers shorthanded goal. Mm. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Nice. I Good. wish I was not serious, yeah, but I am. Uh, so what did you get wow. the penalty for? Okay, so Marsh hand. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just they're showing. Oh, he's the not, there's a splash like, there. Oh. That was a splash. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good. That was a good. Yeah, I don't know what he's what he's freaking out about. That was a slash. Yeah, clear as day. He, he was about yeah. he was above the bottom that, hand. They're gonna call that every time. Well, Montgomery's yeah. yelling too. That takes them off the power it. play. Yep. 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 Man, Rangers. That's a question. Well, Flyers got to tie it up on the power play that's still going. <laughs> yeah. How much time they got left on that one? Like a minute. Oh, yeah, wait a wait, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> he's very animated. Yeah, I don't know what he's saying, but he's in a big conversation with them. Yeah, oh, now he's, he's yelling. And yeah. All he's, all, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's swearing at them and everything. Oh, there's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. You don't want to get a game but misconduct it, like towards it. No, exactly. Right. You don't. You don't want a bench minor. No. But yeah, again, right. like, oh, I don't yeah. know what I don't know what he's complaining about. They took the penalty. The penalty was a good call. The, the faceoff has to go all the way down. It's four on four. Like it, that's that's as basic as it gets. So I'm I'm not exactly sure why he was losing his mind. Yeah, I know that there's game. been a lot of people upset with Freddie Lacouier lately, uh, and he's mm -hmm. the one of the referees in that game. Is he? Uh, there's been a lot of people not happy with his officiating, and multiple oh. Leafs were pissed with a couple calls against Carolina the other night. He was officiated that game. How they missed the Tavares slash in that Toronto Carolina game Crazy. in that is ridiculous. And he officiated. They were standing oh, there, right there and he didn't even call it. So this Freddie Lacouier, look, these referees never have to answer for their bad, horrible performances. Or, you know, they either have to answer the media or answer questions or suspend them for a few games. I was about to say, maybe, maybe we won't see him in the playoffs if it yeah. had been an issue. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, it, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh uh, Ian, uh, Mel in the well, chat says Alex Newhook tribute video. What, what do you think about the Alex oh, Newhook geez. tribute video? That's actually not the worst, but it's, yeah, so it's still not. <laughs> that's still I could do without that. It's not nauseating like Engvall, but that's that's Early. the worst one ever. Yeah. Early on here. All right, so we're four on four now in the Bruins Panthers game with seven minutes left. What a hockey game this has been! Unbelievable hockey game. Yeah, I agree, Rocco. Anger. If Ovi doesn't have a goal yet, I need him for a goal tonight. Yep. Toronto and Reg. Oh, that's a that's a brave call, John. At this point, I wouldn't bet him in Reg. Yeah, Toronto. That's Toronto. I like Toronto. Already. I've already, I've actually just now bet Toronto plus 200, 240 draw, and I might add a little Leafs and Reg. Why not? Yeah, I don't. Do you I don't trust the Devils that. right now? Giving up shots of plenty tonight. No, not but I don't trust three. Toronto either. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, you're right. But I trust them. <laughs> Who do you trust more? Oh, 4-4. Four, four. Flyers tie it. Yes! Oh, wow, we've got a crazy one here in the third period at oh. MSG. Love to see that. This was a clear spot for the Rangers to play down a little bit, in my opinion, coming off Boston and Florida back-to-back. -back. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought too. And they are, but they still might escape because they're playing they not good right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, but once it goes OT, I would I would look only Rangers. Yeah. One one I would, I would, Oilers tied it. Nice. I wish I would have took my lean on the Fion. over though, over there with the defense that both of those guys have. Oh yeah. All right. You convinced me. You guys feel like like this year these teams are more vulnerable than ever? Like there's the 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 upset potential is higher than any other previous year in terms of these good teams losing, right? It is now. I mean, if you asked me right at the All Star break, I was thinking every wild card team would probably get swept out of the first round. But no, now, now. There's no got team I feel safe betting right now. Oh, yeah. You know? No. Series wise, Florida, uh, it's more of like what teams would I fade? Like, I feel like fading right. Colorado first round. I feel like Florida fading just Boston. Just found it. Yep, Jets. ruins power plate. Here we go. Another Let's chance go. for them down 3 2. Well, like we say, I don't know about fading them, but I definitely, I just think 
uh, Colorado is going to run Gorgiev right into the ground. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Like that's the thing. They got, they got that's the drum it. Alex has been banging for three months at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, going to grab a quick beer refill. Back in two minutes. It depends on who they play. I think I think they got a lot Ooh. of beasts up front there to, to beat the first round. If, if yeah. Dallas can take that home ice spot with the second in the central, and they have to play Colorado, yeah, I think Dallas wins that series. Dallas wins yeah. that six. Yeah. Do you think if Dallas takes against Colorado, you mean? Yeah. Dallas with home ice against Colorado, Dallas wins that series of six. Really yeah, but their goaltending suspect too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Has it is. Having a great right? So, no. I mean, yeah. the no, is, second, it, second it, round. I see second, second round is where Dallas gets bounced against whoever they play. Bro, I just feel like everyone's so vulnerable this year, man. Everyone's so vulnerable this year. Yeah. That would be one hell of a series. Uh, okay, the Preds are nice. where are they? Preds are down three nothing with uh, six minutes left to go in the second. Yeah, they're pretty much close. Oh, there's a good puck in the face. That was the popular yeah. bet tonight, wasn't it, Preds? Yeah. yeah. Everybody went to Faye Patera. The auto they man. just needed that, though. They need that game bad. Yeah. I do. took it, but my worry was that yeah. they had never played Patera before. So. Yeah, right. if the Preds would have won that, oh, they would have been Lord. tied with they would have been tied with Vegas in points, but they would have they would have got the tiebreaker with the win tonight. Or so score again. Yeah, right. So it was a game. It was worth oh, it. Was a for both teams. It was a way important game for both teams, but more yeah. so for the Preds than than Vegas. Yeah. Uh, score again. The I Preds wish have surprised me. Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. Like the Preds would have really went on a run there. <laughs> yeah. Shocked. I I'm so stunned by that. I thought talk about a team that I was kind of shitting on most of the year yeah, in Nashville, absolutely. and all of a sudden they turned around. So now I like them. You know, for you know financial purposes. <laughs> Yeah. You know who scored the goal for the Oilers? I'm sure. I'm looking that up right now. Brown. Who? Oh, it looks like Nashville. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. He's on fire. Exactly. You know, two people saying Preds just scored, so there you go. Yeah. Three one. Brown. Well, they'll probably come back and win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These Jankowski. teams always yeah. blow leads. I this entire so. season has been blown leads when it's like three nothing. I swear. Yeah. I love that ovation that Brown got when he finally scored his first goal. Yeah. yeah. The crowd just like, you know, everybody knew, right? It was that was cool. Yeah. Took a year. Money money line for Nashville right now is plus four fifty. No, I don't mind that. I would take it. Remember when we were talking before? We were talking about how yeah. it might t- it might take him a while to figure out Patera. And maybe think- maybe Patera pulls a Devin Cooley and just forgets how to play goalie in the third. Oh yeah, he could, he could <laughs> easily. I just I just grabbed grab the Fred's money line. Yeah, I'm jumping in. Plus four fifty. I grab a low of that too. Plus four fifty. Oh my! I'm goodness. already on there. Bounced over the goal. <laughs> Nashville next goal seems legit. Yeah, Nashville next goal too. That's something else. If, if they score the next goal, Vegas is going to be all nervous and shit. Yep. And they can just yep. Pick yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. What is next let's goal? Do let's it. go again. Preds minus. Ooh, yes! Minus one, let's right? go! There we go. Boston. Oh, no. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Made me nervous there for the a turn. second. Huh? I, like that. I thought happened. you were cheering for the Canes, and I'm always behind. I'm like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was a snipe. Three, three. Who, who scored for Boston? Mike Trent Frederick is going to get the goal. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Two on okay. Oilers, by the way. And there's Nashville yep. for us. Yep, there's that mm-hmm. uh, first goal of the second period, Cash. Yeah, everyone just live bet them, Ian. There we go. Yeah. We all just live bet them to oh, win. Oh, you did? Oh, you yeah. I was going to say, I'm getting <laughs> interested you? now, I must say. Oh, they want this. Goal, I yeah. no, Remember, this is the point streak on the line. I know they've got the franchise record already, but you still want to try to keep the streak Keep going. it going. Yeah, right. I also got plus 160 for the Flames to not win a period plus 500 Ooh, nashville oh, plus 475 bet. draw both locked in <laughs> where the fact, that, the fact that it's still plus 160 halfway through the second yeah i had to grab it yeah. there we go so nashville and draw we're on that i'm on toronto in the draw right now as well oh, yeah. against uh Jersey. do you have the Jersey. penguins draw too or no i do no, i don't i, I have you not okay. add to carolina yeah. i i grabbed that before i even grabbed kane's money line 
Because that was yeah, three like a minutes slow, left. Slow so. Oh, Detroit tied right? it. Yes. There you go. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. Let's go. No. Dry season. No. I know ice Rangers, must just Rangers be. Rangers are winning. Ice too. must be in shambles no, right now. All these goddamn games are so tied up. Very, very <laughs> slim, uh, uh, Peter. I think it was oh, Peter. The, the Rangers are up now. Five, four, fuck. Ah, five, four Rangers. How much is left in that one, yeah. Harry? Uh, Six minutes. Oh, that's lots of time. Cheshire oh, Cat, just seeing your comment from ages ago. Yeah, people are shit on the Cavs. My boys are fucking riding, honestly. I love it, dude. Yeah, people Peter's are legit. Yeah, yeah, they do. It's it's by awesome. the numbers, they do. But they I need love to win. The they have to win out and they need help. I think it's I got Caps uh, minus one and a half. Biggest bet of the night. Caps, Caps are going to need to uh, get have Boston win that Atlantic division. Yeah. Because if you draw Florida, that's yeah, <laughs> that's not going to happen. That's <laughs> not going to happen. Boston's <laughs> winning. Boston's Boston just scored. 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 Yep, four three Bruins. Yep. Wow. wow. Just wow. Turn around. Holy mackerel. Quick goals. Oh my and that was Zaka, too. Yep. Pavel Zaka. Wow. What a right. what a turn of events in these last two minutes. No need to panic. If, if it's back and forth, like, this is just like we saw Carolina Washington tonight. No need to panic. Yep. Still more goals. Oh, this Cavs game's tied. Dude, dude, what the fuck? Winnipeg, Winnipeg either had a double minor or a five-minute power play. There are three minutes left to go in the power play. Mm. Wow. Oh. Yeah, so it must be yeah. yeah. So it's either a double minor or a five. Wait, which game again? Uh, Winnipeg. Uh, Winnipeg, Edmonton. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm looking. What up a now. friggin' pass that was by Pasternak. He knocked the puck down. It was kept in. What a keep in at the blue line too to even allow that goal. It was a double minor. Boston. Connor Brown double minor. Was that Connor? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Where's the goal? And then he takes a double minor right <laughs> after. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Nashville money line plus four. We at least get oh, Detroit and Washington. I know. We need to yes. hang on for yes, the draw. Please, here. please, because that's a bigger yeah. one for me. Yeah. So. But we're not Nashville. ruling out the Flyers yet, and we're not ruling out the Panthers just yet. Well, the, well, the well Penguins, I do have a piece Penguins of Boston, came. but I'd like the draw too. I'd like Boston. And Rangers are Boston. Rangers are leading five four. Ah, it's four one yeah. Vegas. They just added to their lead. Yeah. yeah. Wow, the most ah. dangerous lead in hockey, though. Yeah. Boo. Yeah, we can get all these Rain's early games. Past yeah, Carolina games. tired is not totally shot. That's why I didn't. Go, I, I took my little parlay with Carolina. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to add on. They do look a little like again. They've, this is nine, seven games in eleven days. Yeah, yeah. When you go back further, it's eleven games in eighteen days. So brutal. Yeah, eleven and eighteen. Yeah, the grinder with their back to backs, like yeah. three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Oh. Oh. All right, Brobski oh, is out of the net. Extra attacker for the Panthers. The under six and a half makes my night, no matter what happens for the rest. But that was that was my big bet. So. Devil's power play, by the way, coming up in the uh, that game. Yep. Nothing happening so far. Hawks and Flames. Oh my gosh! <laughs> five five. I can't believe it. The Flyers are oh, hey. again. Let's what go. the fuck is yeah. going yeah. on yeah. Here in New it's York? It's, crazy. It's, Metro, it's Metropolitan Madness. We saw the same thing with Kane and, and Caps on, on Friday. Metro Madness. Yeah, that game. Well, Flyers aren't giving in because they need every point they can yeah. get. So, oh, Does anything Washington needed the Don't points? Don't tell me, Toronto? Terry. Don't tell me. Oh, no. Well, empty net goal. Washington. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, damn. Three one <laughs> so far behind. Pens are going to win. Uh, looks look like at that. It. Looks like it now. Was yeah. it Sid? No, maybe. Unbelievable. Probably, probably bunting here. Oh, he hit the post too. Oh, it was it was O'Connor. No. How the fuck they would dump that in is beyond me. No. Oh, it was Pride Night. That's why the Penguins won. Oh, he whiffs there. <laughs> Woo wow. All right, now I got to put on this Flyers game. We got to let go. Uh, Carolina gets some days off before we uh, back yeah. them again. They, they, they yeah, they need Can to the get Panthers their get one late. Come on, Panthers. Panthers timeout. By the way, forty-five seconds. Here yeah. we go. Yeah, let's draw something up. Keep the uh, top uh, players up out on the ice here to try to tie it. Off the icing, yeah. 
No, can, no, for the fuck's sakes, Flyers, just hang in there for three minutes, would you? Yep. Please? Come on. Make a save. Yeah. Come on, Arison. Just get, just get control. And sit <laughs> hang in there and then win in overtime. Just, you don't give two shits if the Rangers get a point. Just dumb this thing down for three minutes and get the damn game to overtime. Simple. <laughs> Same thing in D.C. too, and just yeah. slow, it, slow it the fuck down. Oh, we're down inside a minute oh, left oh, there. Yep. Been, oh, man. Oof. That should have been a penalty, though, I think. All, All right. right, we got uh, 44 seconds left in Boston, Florida. Yeah. Come on, Coming out of the timeout here, Panthers one last chance. And just an insane game. What a, a, yep. what a phenomenal game Bruins and Panthers. Uh, I, I'm on board for them in the playoffs again if, if it happens, that's for sure. Well, yeah, it was and Barkov is in tonight too, right? Yeah, it's Detroit oh, Capital. Yep. Just hasn't had the animosity Detroit Washington as much as Boston, Florida. But it's been a good hockey game too. Anyone like it Leafs plus two ninety live on the money line? I'm already on it. I'm not adding more with them. That's enough. Yeah, me. no, that's I'm I'm content enough with mine what I got. I'm putting a bunch of money on the under Edmonton Jets. Oh, right, Washington. Under, under five and a half. I know you guys are under betters, but. Get the icing? No icing. 30 seconds under left in Florida. Florida. Yep, there running out of time here. Yep. Last rush. They got a man out. There's two men out of the play now. Cool. There you go. Nope, that's game. That's it. Yeah. Bruins, baby. Four three Bruins. What a victory by them. Big Outstanding them. comeback. Big win for them. Great win for them. Huge win for them. And after Montgomery ran them through the fucking mm -hmm. you know Holy smoke. gauntlet yesterday in practice. Yep. Yeah. yeah, apparently he bag skated them for like ten. Now minutes. we have the draw. Detroit Washington. Detroit Washington. Yeah, that was a big, big draw, and I added more on to that. So there we go. Draw season lives. We got one in the bank oh, at least. Islanders yeah, fans are really 220 in now. New York with that Flyers Rangers. <laughs> no, yeah. well, that's too many men. Winnipeg we only know took... one, Terry. <laughs> well, well, but I'm saying that Islanders that fans in general, their <laughs> hearts are broken with that draw because that really hurts. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Poor Nick. Well, <laughs> the worst thing for the Islanders and the Devils, for that matter, anybody trailing those two teams, is Buffalo yeah. too, Detroit. They almost have to, no cool, buddy. Anymore. They need the yeah. points. They need the points. They need the win. So you might see yep. another goalie pull in Detroit. Oh, yeah, I got to head out, guys. It was awesome talking right, to you. Good stuff, bro. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Fun times. Yep. Take care, everybody. See you. Bye. So long. Yep, a little bit of pushing and shoving after that Bruin Panther game. Ended. Naturally. Nothing. Naturally. Nothing. Uh, That's fine. Serious. Yeah. Exchanging they can, emails. They can brew that up. <laughs> yeah. They'll meet again in Boston. Oh, Montreal again. Two to one oh. Canadians. Hmm. No way. Yes. Is that first period still? Still first wow. period. Yeah. How is it still the first period? Yeah, That's I was going to say. Yeah. No. <laughs> that, that first period's been going on for like an hour? It seems like they took a long I've time with that new hook video. Yeah. How much time? Oh, that? Slavkovsky got a point. Awesome. That's a winner. Yeah. We got like, that parlay wrong. Yeah, too. Guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, pie guy. There we go. How are you? Good to see you in the chat. Another penguin goal, so it's 4 1 now. Yeah. I was going to say, with. Uh, yeah, another with entry. Montreal up, it should be time yeah. to jump. Wow. Uh, Colorado is still Colorado. buying a spot 90 on the other line. <laughs> yeah, Slavkovsky got the assist, primary assist on the Suzuki okay. goal. Okay. Yeah. So there's the point. Halfway, halfway home, it, wasn't, it wasn't there earlier, so they changed it. They yeah, added it because I checked earlier. Yep. But they must have added it. A Drew and Tire would be nice. Yeah. Drew and the Tire. And plus, it's Marty San Luis returned to the bench tonight. Mm -hmm. So you knew they'd come out with a little fire and brimstone, Montreal. So that's why I like them to score a goal. I didn't know if they'd score two, but they have. On and in, folks. On and in is just, you know, wild card. Yeah. They just re-signed him today, too. Yes. <laughs> it's a death. Really? Yeah. To yeah. how long? Two years. Two yeah, years. they gave him a two-year. Wow. They gave him so a two-year extension. Zach's done a lot of good things, but he's bungled goaltending there. Let's oh, be honest. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my god. Let's run your gear for damn near 70 games and then sign on it in yeah. two more yeah. years. Back to back seasons. Yeah. <laughs> that won't end well. No. Two year contract sitting on his ass most of the season. And now all of a sudden, two year contract. And if you think you're going to play him as a 1A, 1B next season, no. <laughs> oh my God. It's... Oh, that's funny. Oh, Calgary Alex Newhook got a point. Yeah. So that's another winner. Oh, Alex nice. New Hook. New Hook? Okay. Uh, plus 130 for a point. Yeah, New Hook got an assist on the Armia goal. Yeah. And yes, Miss Letty, I'm on the draw in Montreal, Colorado, plus 500. You know what that means? We're halfway home with that parlay. That's right. We've got New Oak and Slapkovsky. We we need Drew and Lekkonen now for that. Wait, parlay. I thought we had Lekkonen already with a, a point. Did he get a point? On on uh, McKinnon's goal. Did he? Mm -hmm. No. No, Ranton and Taves. Ranton and Taves got assists. No, I was pretty sure he didn't oh, okay. get in on that. Yeah. Oh, we my. Got the, yeah. Okay. Still lots of game left, though. Yeah. Yeah, we have we do we did bet Josh Doan plus uh, I got plus four fifty on oh, Josh Doan to score in his debut for Arizona tonight. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, I'm on that's, it as well. That was just too perfect of a scenario, though. Yeah. yeah, why not? Let's have the fairy tale story tonight. He scores in his debut for the team that Dad played for all his career. Yeah, he literally literally grew up around that franchise. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. I went. Oh, there it is. There. Okay. Yeah. Come on, one more minute at Madison Square Garden. Let's go. One more fucking minute here. Can someone wake up elephant hands and tell them to get a goal? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Bailey, you can find it on Betway. Or. So, Ian, uh, since you liked uh, Montreal first period, I, I like the over. So I was like, oh, I'll do a little correct score with Montreal winning the first period. I did Montreal 2 1. I only threw like 10 bucks on it, but. Plus eighteen hundred. Holy shit, man! Oh, let's, man. Let's, let's keep our fucking fingers crossed here. We get through the next uh, what? Five minutes? Four minutes? I'm like, Still why four I minutes? More on it? Yep. Oh no, they're down to two and a half now. It's been a quick That's moving insane. portion of the period here. Yeah. That would be a they lot of coffee away, money for the week. Seriously. They, they took away New Hooks Point. Oh, sure. And now oh. they say it's unassisted. Oh, Daily, you can find That's it on mean. that way. Plus four oh five on uh, bet ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, Flyers Rangers, is it finally in the third? Aaron, period. how do you come up with those perfect score games? Like, come how do you here. cap that? Is it just like you're watching the games and you do it, or you do it beforehand? So the first periods, I do basically like what I feel total in who I like as a side, but the games I go through like the team yeah games. overtime now. Yes, Flyers Rangers. I'll go there through like go. the team totals. And see like what what the books are shaded shaded to, and then I kind of will combine. Oh, that. Capitals <laughs> win in overtime, four three. Be <laughs> scores, big win. Uh, Let's uh, go, uh, boys. There it is, because I feel like you're yeah. always winning those. Like I always I'm see you dumb. cashing them. That's insane. That's awesome. <laughs> I lose my fingers here too. The improbable dream, but they're fun. Like they're fun. Like, they're fun still best moving. Place. Yep. And I love the fact that Detroit keeps losing. That's always great. Yeah. Yo, we won. <laughs> I, I took plus 900 to make the playoffs like two Dylan weeks Strom ago. Dylan Strome again. Oh, way, nice. The, uh, OT nice. winner. Great. Yep. Holy shit. I was thinking we win the cup, but that was, um, you know. It's just a, I think it was a three-on-two rush to Washington, and it was a great passing play, and Strome finishes it. So yeah, Ovi's streak this comes place to an is end. rocking big win. Yay, but I got, comes to yeah. an end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> voice faintly, Craig Lachlan. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, where does Lachlan rank on your top? Uh, what I your got list? check win for the caps tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love their announcer. Is that who you're mocking right now? Yeah. Their oh, yeah I love good. their announcer. Listen to Craig no, Lachlan, a teammate of his, and that's the voice you hear every day. What's up, guys? Great game tonight here for the caps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two. Locker. Oh, Locker. So, Where's the... Well, that's just the boys. Oh, he's a great guy. Yeah, he is. His voice just cracks me up. Yep. Where does Locker rank in your list, Ian? <laughs> well, we are getting down to it. What, the broadcaster's list? Yeah, yeah. Where's Locker in there? They're like in the top half. They're like just beyond top midway. Half. 
just yeah, just the, right. uh, like there, if, if there's 32 teams there, I think they I had them around 13, 14. All right, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, dude, Locker is come on, he's a gem. No, they're good. They're good. Ben and Naughty's pretty good. Although he does say it for a million times during a game. You're watching Caps Hockey Monumental Sports Network. It's, and it was, it's Will Beninati, Craig Lachlan. He does say that like eight times every game. He's like, we, we get it. We know who you guys are. You're talking yeah, to the Capitals so fans. They know who you yeah, are. That's so, funny. Yeah. that's so funny that you said that, man. That, they say that shit all the time. Yeah. 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 They know who you are. Trust me. They're fans. They're watching most games, if not every game. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun when you did that segment, yeah. Ian. I yeah. love that. I know station Sports. identification and that's important, but that's that's overdoing it. Yeah. No, you're right. His voice is still just like so electric. Yeah. Oh, well, Joe B is good. Yeah. But then there's Lachlan. It's just yeah, I hear that voice. It's just hey, they got. I didn't know that. Not that I have the Caps post game on very often, but Bruce Boudreaux's <laughs> in the studio for them right now. Yeah. Nice. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce is good on television, though. And we knew he would be. Yep. Yeah. Rangers in overtime, 6 5. Yeah. Flyers can't beat them. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. Tough How loss. For the they got a point, and it didn't look like they were going to get that. Uh, that was a good goal, though. Yeah. Gross. Are we at intermission in that Habs game yet? The fact that that was the Rangers spot to lose and they didn't, that's, that's, I, I give the Rangers credit for that. Yes. Yeah, 2-1. Uh, uh, end of the first. Yep. Nice catch. There it is, Aaron. 2-1 Montreal. Oh, correct score. I didn't lose it in the last one. minute. That's a miracle. Wow. Great call. Oh, that's, that's the worst. Crystal ball shit. <laughs> Yeah, like the Boston game earlier. I love it. Uh, Lucas, yeah, we were looking at uh, both teams to score in the Anaheim game, and I think over one and a half in the first period of the Dallas-San Jose game. So I'm going 2-1 end of the first in the Stars game. It's plus 900. Okay. There we go. Great. Congrats, Aaron. What a what a great bet. Montreal 2-1. Correct score. Plus 1,800. First period. Great stuff. Wow. I'm burnt out after this last 10 minutes, man. <laughs> Just insanity here with the overtimes oh. in Washington and in New York and the thrilling finish in Florida, which was nuts. <laughs> Seriously, Ice made up. X is in the chat. <laughs> Isaac had the pens on the puck line tonight. Congrats he to you. The, puck, the reverse puck line. Oh, I think he did, yeah. Well, he's got a couple of just uh, sick Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, so, good. yeah. So, Kate, we were looking at uh, first period over one and a half in the Dallas game, and Anaheim was both teams to score in the first period. Actually, the Anaheim game, if I'm not mistaken, I think we had, we had looked at the trifecta on the over in the Anaheim game. Is that correct? <laughs> Yeah, over trifecta in Arizona and uh, and Columbus. No, right? no, in the Anaheim game. Oh, in that game, no, just Anaheim money line for me. Oh, okay. plus one seventy five. Right. Just Seattle can't be laying that; they just can't. And I'll take my chances with even Anaheim's flight flighty, but Seattle minus two ten right now. That team's completely just would, flat line. I wouldn't bet Monopoly money on that game. Yeah, it is Anaheim. <laughs> it's not like Anaheim is trustworthy either. I get it, but. People were telling yeah. me, hey, you can't trust Montreal. And Montreal went in there and 5 1. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm heading out. Uh, but thanks for having me. Hey, Melissa, good for you to check in. We love it. Love having you here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for doing your show, too, to keep me. Hey, hi to Carter. No doubt. Yes, I exactly. will. He's actually sleeping good now. So <laughs> that helps. But good luck, everyone, with your. No, we might turn over the ice, guys. Well, we're ready to spit the bit, Alex and I. We might turn it over to him. Yeah. Or so. <laughs> 40, 40, years now. 40 years from now. Yeah. 40 years from now. That'd be great. <laughs> All right. Night, everyone. All right. See you, yeah. Melissa. Take, Take care. You. See you soon. There we go. Uh, and somebody was asking what the Toronto game's doing. It's four three Devils, five oh eight to go in the third. I mean, I I I start thinking about morbid shit like that sometimes. Like, what, what what's going to happen to this when I'm gone? Or Alex is gone? Like, yeah. what the hell is going to happen to this great 
product we have here. Yeah. 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 Plans. yeah. <laughs> You guys need to have some kids. Have them take it oh, off. Yeah, oh, that, that's, that's oh. the problem. Yeah, we, <laughs> there's no <laughs> Iron Eagle and uh, and and uh, and Noah Eagle and uh, Jack Collinsworth and uh, and Nick Olchek to you know leave the business to or follow in my footsteps right now. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos taking over. Gonna, maybe, maybe I got Richie. 15 years on you, and you're going to be around for a long time. Don't you worry, big guy. No. I'm taking the draw in Toronto, you know New yeah. Jersey. Yeah, to the <laughs> plus two seventy-five. If, if I can make it to fifty-five, anybody can. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Mary. Would you take two seventy-five? Plus two eighty. It just went up. I think. I think Toronto's going to tie it. Yeah, it's go to That's plus four fifty right now. Leafs uh, money line. If you're interested, still four three, but there's five minutes left. Yep. Actually, I could no. Toronto plus five hundred on the money line right now. Maybe I'll sprinkle on the money line too. Draw I, and at least money line. I don't know if it's the that bad. Plus three hundred now. Ice yeah, X, I got three hundred. Yeah, Ice X is overtime record. It may not be that bad, but I've seen the uh, losses he's been on in overtime. It's 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 pretty bad. I don't think it's that bad, but it's not. Um, good. Yeah. Up there, so he's right there. It's yeah. He's had a lot of bad, oh, bad, 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 bad overtime luck. <laughs> Still, Will would like to uh, revisit any Dallas bets anybody has. Oh, I, I don't hardly know that. Point. Yeah, I got. I just better uh, make sure I, I got everything uh, locked in in those two. I took Dallas games. on the puck line on the yep. full game. Dallas on the puck line first period. Uh, first period over one and a half, and then same as always, wait for a couple minutes in in the second period, and bet the over one and a half there as well. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'll wait in game when that first period over. Oh, uh, you're gonna wait on the first. I already grabbed. I got it. I got it at a decent one thirty two this morning, so I grabbed a little bit. Unless fan, wait, 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 let me see. If, I'll shop Fanduel now, but one forty five is about online. Fanduel. Yeah, you can be jumped to KO. KAO. Why not? It, it, oh, it no. Breakaway it. for uh, Devil's Score. Devil's Score. Doc Hughes breakaway. I'm yeah. glad, glad I didn't bet draw. Yeah. And Jake yeah. Allen just made a huge save like right before that, honestly. To keep it That's the three. only early game I didn't I didn't take a, a live draw in. So. Yeah. Now, that, that should sink. Oh, yeah. Up. And a bend point. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, even, I can't even rip the Leafs because look, they played like forty-four to twenty-three are the shots. Yeah. Like Allen's just been ridiculous tonight. They could have eight goals. Yeah, you, you can't you can't turn the puck over to Jack Hughes. No. No. And because they're cheating for offense, they're giving up just these beautiful unbelievable looks the other way in transition on the counterattack. And yep. this is one team that can burn you with that. Oh, 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 here comes Bedard. So on a side note, um, my work started a did a hockey cool at the start of the year. Picked twelve guys, right? Best player at the end of the best best score at the end of the year wins you uh, jersey of your choice. Player yes. number the whole bit. So I I run into one of the girls today. She goes, "Hey, you're doing pretty good in the pool." I'm like, "Am I? I haven't even looked." She goes, "Oh yeah, you're ahead, you're ahead by thirty five points." I'm like, "Shit, no." <laughs> nice. <laughs> There you go. Uh, I said, she goes, what are you going to get? And I said, I'm going to get me a Bedard jersey, and I'm going to get the original Blackhawks before nice. it goes away. <laughs> well, I got three Leaf jerseys, so I got enough of them, and I got a, uh, I got a Flames jersey. So so you're getting it red or white? Uh, I was thinking the red. Okay. Yeah, I got the red one. I'm waiting for, a, hopefully, a black one next year. Hopefully, they bring that back. Nice. Yeah. I'm supposed to do it this year, but I don't know. It was a whole hold up, and I guess they're waiting for fanatics too, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, good old fanatics. Yeah, actually, I'm next year I'm getting myself one of the blasty jerseys, the horse head from uh here in Calgary. I want one of those black ones. I want you know, I got the one that was the reverse retro, but I want the alternate one with the flame detail on the sleeves. Yeah, I might, I might get that. I might get that when the Adidas jerseys are going to go on sale in the summer because they're going to be cleared out. So that's what I'm doing. Yep, yeah, exactly. It's about to be a shopping spree uh, for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Take advantage. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 I start seeing 25, 30% off, 40% off jerseys. Yeah. That'll, that'll be nice. Yeah. And they're going to be motivated because they're not going to want that stock out. Yes. When where's my over? Right. And they want to figure it out. Your, your product. So, like, <laughs> The Hawks uh, last reverse retro jersey, like that didn't sell well. I'm like, I might get one of those for like 60 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it I makes it easy at that price point. Mm -hmm. I keep trying to find that one of the peyote, again. Peyote, 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 no. no. Empty netter, six the green uh, peyote. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's a hard one to find. I had to go on eBay and I paid yeah. 160 for mine. Yeah, I've seen something that was high as like five hundred. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, that's awesome. But like Mooderus, I know Ian hates Mooderus, but you look online, that jersey is worth a fortune. <laughs> like five, well, in some way, people pay pennies for that. More than so, that, obviously. And yeah. you know what? It was so it was so disliked when it came out. I think yeah. I don't think many people bought, uh, you know, like off you know replicas or any version of it. So it's just like once it was gone from the team, it was just gone. Right. Zach Phillips, who uh, Alex, you work with him on Edgeworks, right? Yeah. He uh, had tweeted out after the uh, Edmonton win uh, something to the effect of, I'm ready to be heard again. I trust the Leafs. <laughs> he knows that team well. I watch him post like, Don't do it. Don't do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. I have to see how he feels after tonight's game. Well, like every other Leaf fan, he's pissed. Yeah. Right. You just got to. You, you, you can't do the. You can't do the. You can't do the highs and lows, man. You just got a nice, simple, straight line. Yeah. He's got the best Leaf post game on YouTube, and he and he has oh, had yeah. it for a while, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he'll be live tonight. He will be. I'm yeah. sure he's going to start in a few minutes and get some uh, grievances out there. Yeah. Well, they've, they've, they've now got him on the Nation Network. Doing I know. Yeah, yeah, Goose, yeah. And well deserved yeah. because they wanted yeah. a post game, and there's no better play person online to choose for that right now than Zach Phillips. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Two thirds of the way through when it my... comes to the leaps, yeah. especially, and his takes are a thousand percent spot on. Like I've, I don't think I've ever disagreed with him on any leaf take he has. I don't think I've ever disagreed with him on anything he said. Just like the other day, what the hell are you doing just bringing Brody back so quickly? Like, he was pissed about that after the Carolina game. You gave Samsonov all weeks and weeks to get this shit together mentally. You give him, what, one game, two games, and you put him back in again, and he screws later, up right away. Guy. The first oh, goal. Skull, brother. Yep. Yeah, Pie Guy, good Good luck with your paper. Oh, boy. I see. Uh, as soon as I hear writing my paper and it brings back uh, bad memories, I hated yeah, doing man. that shit. <laughs> but yet we write for a living. I'm a, <laughs> I, know, but cool AI is for I, I can write about betting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Smoke a giant, plug it in AI, and let her go. <laughs> Bring back <laughs> <all material. laughs> Yeah, too bad they didn't have AI when I was in school. Oh, yeah. I would have yeah. did a lot better. That's that that would have been that would have been fun. The amount of money I would have made writing papers for other people because I did that already. Yeah. I would have made yeah, it a lot <laughs> My phone is banging off like no tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna step outside for a minute. Uh -huh. right. What Vancouver fans gotta go inside to cry these days? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the no smoking apartment. Oh, no, okay. I, 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 said, no. I said you said I, I gotta go outside for a second. I said what? Trolling poor Rich go here. Cry these that days. I looked great. up. You were gone already. That was great. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we're still first in the division. That ain't right. Me. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't even supposed to make the playoffs. This is all gravy. Yep. That's there. Everything's a reroll from here, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. House money, head of schedule, all that good stuff. All right, are you done, Goose? <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll save them till you get back. No worries. All right. Yeah. Good. Perfect. <laughs> uh, uh, little needling doesn't hurt. Mm. Uh, let's see here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, where are we? 
I would, yeah, I would think uh, pull body's asking anything on the second period. I would think over one and a half. This, I worry that this is Boston, Florida repeat, though, where we don't get we get a settling down a little bit at yeah. least in the Montreal, Colorado game after the three goals in the first. I don't hate it, but I'm, I'm personally not for me. It's, it's hilarious. Like, Colorado's still minus 190. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, at any given time, they can just wake up. Especially at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, you know what? If if you want to pull, buddy, you can get uh, – Colorado Avalanche. Puck That's line. a good approach by John. If you if you like over one and a half, maybe Avs team total over one and a half specifically. Yeah, Second that's period. what I was looking for. Mm, yeah, because they did they did get two goals in the second against uh, Pittsburgh on Sunday. Yeah, after trailing in the first. That's not bad. I could see that. Yeah, because if you well, it all depends on how you want to go at it. You can get. Yeah. Uh, Colorado Avalanche total goals over one and a half at minus 105. If you're feeling lucky, you can take exact goals for two at plus 235. I think I can kiss Nashville goodbye. I just don't see it happening for them tonight. They're still down 4 1 early in the third. Yeah. And I don't know if this full game over is going to hit with Calgary, Chicago, because it's still two nothing after two. Yep. Yeah, nothing, nothing going on there. Calgary just dead as a doornail right now. That's okay, and they can me. stay that way. Yeah, I got, I got them to not win a period. So once that second period, that second period's over, I just need uh, Chicago to score them in the third, and I'm happy. Yep. Team total, yeah, it's 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 a lot. It's a lot. Uh, Juiced subhuman. I'm just looking at everything. Even money plus a hundred, by the way, for that. Um, yep. Colorado, uh, Colorado team total. total. Yep. Yeah, over one and a half even money. I grabbed up. Yeah, I actually should. I, I will just for the sake of look. I've got Montreal. Uh, I, I actually I've, I did for, totally forgot I had Montreal first period money line. Mm-hmm. Nice hit. Great. Totally forgot that too. Just a moment. Wow, I'm very happy now. So it makes more sense now. I've got that money to play with. Let's put a little Colorado second period team total. Yep, plus a hundred. I did not take full game with with Montreal though. I don't trust Montreal for full game. We Colorado said this a million times. I'm Four grabbing three and three coals in the second at plus three 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 thirty five. Yep, that's what I'm grabbing. Yeah, Montreal. Oh, but plus two fifty six. I'm just seeing it in my account now. Plus two fifty six. That was Montreal first period money line. Nice. That's that's the way you fade Colorado at home. You do it early. Early. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's been their pattern. Columbus game, Pittsburgh game, and again tonight. Oh, Brett, we, who has been pretty quiet. Brett, uh, your Flyers, man. It's heartbreaking yeah. tonight for them. Got got a point. Uh, got a point good. though. Yeah. Got a point. Oh no, you're you're allowed to laugh at uh, dangle ice X. I do all the time. Glass half full yeah. bread as they got a point tonight. Yeah. yeah. The only bad thing is uh Wash well, Washington won, so that keeps Detroit back. So yes. no harm, no foul for the Flyers. Yeah. No, that race is gonna be um pretty tight. It's gonna you know, come April sixteenth. It's gonna come down to that game. That, oh, is that will not get oh, anything to make Chris scream me all over the place. Predators. Four two. Any chance I got an Oshi power play? All right, point? four two. Predators. Ah, that's huge now, but they got to get the next one. Now, Vegas, you know, we're ta- we are talking back to back now. You know, sixth period and two nights. They, so might, they, they might be able to, this is where they might be able to catch them. Yeah. I, I already took them live, though, so I'm not adding on more Nashville. Sticking with what? That being said, I did not take the draw last time. I might, do I sprinkle at plus nine hundred the draw right now? Fucking McMichael, which man? Vegas, Nashville. Now that it's four two. Oh, I already have it in pocket. Yeah, plus nine hundred is not the craziest dart. Oh, all. Jordan the Rose says new hook assist got counted. So they there we go. So there we go. We do have two two. We're halfway home with the uh, point yeah. parlay in that Colorado game. Is it going to stay though, or are they going to take it away again? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's listed yeah, there again. If, okay, if you're cool. looking for a decent yeah. capper to, to listen to, um, once the season starts, I go to uh, uh, Call to the Pen on YouTube. The guy's yeah. name is John Legaza out of uh, New York. He's fantastic on Major League Baseball. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
man, I'm telling you, you want to see a guy with more stats and, and numbers coming out the wazoo every day? John. Yeah, that's what baseball is, numbers and stats. Yeah. 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 So, like I say, call to the pen, John Legaza. Uh, every morning for me, it's 8.30, 8 o'clock. Yeah. So uh, Terry's going to be doing MLB. Yeah. Does MLB watch yeah, his show? Yeah, ten o'clock, ten thirty on the Eastern on the Eastern time yep. zone. So, yep. I yeah. leisurely, I don't want to say lazily because I want to do well and win, but I don't intensely handicap baseball quite as intensely as I do football, hockey, and even I, basketball. I don't, I don't bet it at all. I at just, all. I go. wallow in misery with my White Sox. That's all. Yeah. There we go. That's good enough. That's good enough for Alex. Actually, I, John goes through all the numbers and he and he lays it all out for you. He does just as good a job in baseball as, as Alex and Ian do in hockey. He's fantastic. There's no doubt. If you're gonna, if you love a love love backing a particular starting pitcher, you've got to start looking for even go a step further. First five innings, not just that. First three innings. They're yanking yeah. these starters out. You know, even after four point two innings these days. Yeah, that's correct, Jordan. Yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Actually, here, let me double check, seeing as how I'm. Okay, the Jackets uh, and the uh, Coyotes are underway. The um, Ducks and the Kraken are underway. And I'm going to form a parlay for the last game that starts in half an hour, the Matt Robinson special in uh, San Jose. And I'm going to probably put Michael Granlin for San Jose in that parlay because he's actually on like a six-game point streak, I think, for San Jose, believe it or not. Where are we here? If they made right that Ducks Kraken game 11 p.m. Eastern, that'd be some great sleep material. Okay, <laughs> yeah, call the pen. Yeah, from the hand. Yeah. Hey, Scott. Yeah. yeah, it would be. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like I say, John's really good. He's uh, his numbers is fantastic. He breaks everything down. He he lets you know you know what the streaks are, what what the what the numbers are telling you. He just doesn't throw the numbers at you and, and let you figure it out. He really does break it down really good. So. For a baseball for a baseball capper, I highly recommend them. Yeah, there's a lot of good baseball people. There's no doubt. Yep, you just gotta find them. Yeah, like I say, John's really good. I like I really do like his because he, he he like you guys. He doesn't treat people like they're idiots. Pretty good, right? Like if you've been if you know baseball inside and out, or if you don't know a thing about baseball, he tells right. you what he's talking about. He explains it. Insightful, right? right. right. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. Beginners yeah. and advanced betters, right. exactly. Yeah. yeah, right. And his thing, his Lynn, thing is the same as you guys. Is locked, yeah. dude. I don't know about Lynn. In the in the chat, we got Lindy's lock, dude. And I don't know about that shit, honestly. Yeah, actually, and there's also uh, prop prop savant, prop savant, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's decent too. Okay, twelve to one. We're locked in for San Jose Dallas. What is it? All right. What's up? Twelve to one point parlay. Just one point from all these guys. Hints. Johnston. Ben. Stankoven. And Granland. Granland's the only shark I have in that. Okay. Well, look what we have here. Live from San Jose. You are looking live. <laughs> Connection's good, Matt. Admit. Coming in loud and clear. Especially Back. loud. <laughs> what? Let's go, Shark. <laughs> Packed house. Look at those. Look at it. No, no, nowhere to sit. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really hear the boys, but uh, there you go. <laughs> Nowhere to sit, but Warm uh, up. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. There we go. <laughs> Little cameo right there from the arena. Yeah. yeah, it's good. He shuts it off if he can't hear us. Yeah, it's not surprising. I know what the music's like in that in that place. Oh yeah, especially for yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I said I better wave because I, I have a feeling it's going to have a hard time hearing us. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's part of the game for the Sharks is warm-ups. Yep. Yeah, right. can't, lose, can't lose those. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, Edmonton scored, by the way. Oilers oh, just yeah. now. Yep. 
three one Oilers. Nice. And it was on a double minor. So yes. still have two minutes. And who else? And John Massey looking like one of those convicted felons now with the blurred facial, uh, blurred face right there. Yeah. Oh, you got the bag. There we go. We got him back. Witness yeah. protection background. Yeah. We, yeah, that's it. yeah. <laughs> How's it going, John? <laughs> Good evening. No, no Bouchard assist yet, Jordan. Yeah. Last in the chat. How you doing, John? Uh, I'm all right. Uh, I do always enjoy the Rangers beating the Flyers. That's good. Tortorella. Little, I don't like seeing everybody lose their bets, but if you had the draw, you got the draw. Got the draw at least, yeah. I can't complain uh, too much, yep. The draw was important. Sorry, not sorry, Brett. Um, yeah. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. There you go, yeah. Yeah, we have a Ranger and a Flyer fan in the uh, bet cast here, so yeah, everybody just be... Nice uh, and on. and I'm just gonna say with the Rangers going to Colorado for Thursday, uh, gotta look to Arizona on Saturday night because this this has been a stretch. I mean, one of the reasons why you backed the Flyers uh, with this spot, you had the Avalanche, and that really ends the teeth of this schedule. I don't know if you have Winberg on thursday making the trip depends on i don't think his wife's given birth yet that was the reason why he missed tonight so that's something to look for in the lineup uh don't know about uh the three defensemen that are out so i mean colorado is going to be a challenge and uh then it's just been a real grind of a schedule for the rangers for the last three four weeks so that's a tough one. They got the Avs Thursday night now coming off this big time. Tough test. Yeah, and with the way the Avs are looking tonight, I think I'd look first period Avs puck line. Um, I think they're going to come out fast and heavy for that and step up the contest. Yeah. They, they, remember, there's been a little bit of a lackadaisical sleepwalk here. Three nights in a row at home against Columbus, Pittsburgh, and now Montreal. Yeah. I mean, really, their bottom six sucks. So if you have a decent first pairing, and you're not taking penalties, especially early in the game, and you're matching their speed because they're not skating, you can slow them down. Yep. I mean, and you can take advantage of mistakes. They're not flawless. And Georgiev and goal, eh, it's okay. Right. But there's been a lot of lot of tread off the tire. So, I mean, I think Colorado is extremely vulnerable. Um, yep. So, I mean, this isn't to say they don't have great top-end talent. I know they do. I'm not saying they're bad, but I'm saying they're vulnerable because they can get worn down if series get extended and they don't get to take a break. And goaltending, I don't. I, I think it's a hole for them, especially compared with some of the goalies that they'll face in the Western Conference. You're Ian, right about the bottom six. It could be a lot better for the Abs. I 100% agree there. Ian, what was your parlay again with Dallas? The Dallas players, I got Granlund and I had uh, Stank open. Who were the others? Granlund, Stank open, Ben, Wyatt, Johnston, Rope Hints in that okay. game. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, thank you. And I, I threw Rope Hints in there because Matt Robinson, the Dallas fan, likes Rope Hints tonight. So who am I to argue with that? What was that? <laughs> This really could be a mom's trip spot for the Dallas Stars tonight because they've kind of been spinning their tires recently, especially against the soft underbelly of the schedule, and I wouldn't be surprised if they come out on a hassle. Wait a minute. Just... Mom's trip, they did that already, the mom's trip. No, no, no. I mean, but like similar spot in which they have the motivation there. And they oh, I the got energy, the same kind of result support. when they just the same, And the same goal. kind of result, and they just yeah. come out and – Curb stomp San Jose. Yeah. Jet scored. Yep. Jets 3 2. Uh, maybe I'm still maybe never used from. to that phrase because as a Jet fan, I, I just never hear that. <laughs> the other Jets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard score consistently since Joe Namath. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that's – I was going to say boomer. They had some good – they had – Vinny Testaverde, they scored. He was all right. Yeah, Vinny had a couple of good years there. Yeah, Vinny. He had a good year. Yeah. He blew out his knee in week yeah. one of the 1999 season when there was hope. There we go. Brendan Dillon with that 3-2 Jets goal. I, I would really appreciate a – 
a Kurashev goal for the Chicago third. I'm I'm looking like what the hell is even going on in the West side right now? Like this yeah. is still do nothing. Well, it's still, still do period nothing. Coming nothing. Up. Yep. Oh, it's the Blackhawks okay. are sitting on their lead. Yep. No third period yet because Calgary just doesn't give a shit anymore. That's why they were nope. able to sit on it so far. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. That second period went by so slow as well. It did. Like, yep. <laughs> with no action. Yep. And it, you know, that's usually my Nashville reaction of like, oh, that game's happening. And it's gone. Like, I thought about it for a moment, but nothing's yep. happened. And then you don't look at it for an hour. Yeah. Because nothing happens. <laughs> Chicago is looking to take the season series from Calgary. Yeah. They're going to. Well, Nice. Chicago's been kicking the piss out of, out of Calgary now for two and a half seasons. Yeah, it's actually been a good matchup for Chicago. You're right against it Calgary. has been tons, yep. of success. tons of success. Yep, imagine the like mid 2000s where we always beat Calgary. Yes, but struggle with Edmonton, even the awful Edmonton teams. <laughs> Edmonton was to Chicago like uh, Buffalo was to San Jose. Mm -hmm. Just these like inexplicable matchups that they. I mean, the problem for Chicago was that they were in the same conference. Yeah. But, like, yeah. you're like, these Buffalo teams suck. And San Jose's a minus 420 favorite. And Buffalo wins, what, 15 in a row against them? Yeah. yeah. And considering how Edmonton has beat the Hawks, like, throughout history, yeah. that's why it was amazing that the Hawks actually beat them in that whole bubble series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right, Bailey. Baseball never stay morning, I think. Like never first, forget. Yeah, I will get in. I'll get excited for that. It's always fun. Opening, opening day. day. Winnipeg yep. tied it. Wow. 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Oh, and I said I like Actually, if I'm not mistaken, that. this is the first year that Cincinnati will not start the season, the entire Major League Baseball season. Whoa. It's like ever, right? That's got to be a record. Yeah. Like a record. yeah. They, always, they always had the opening. They always had the very first game first on the game. schedule. Yeah, right. Because they're the first team. I, yeah. Rob Rob Manfred needs to pay for all of his war crimes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I thought that was the Braves winning the World Series after they stole the All Star game from Atlanta. <laughs> well, that was part of it, but yes, yeah, there's a lot more that needs to be atoned for. I mean, Maybe. I agree that it's a very ugly trophy, but to call it what a hunk of metal—that's a bit much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that is. laughs> Yeah, what a turnaround in this Oilers Jets game. Three one to three. We've had some insane, yeah, insane, just insane oh. third periods tonight. No way. Ian, did you no grab that plus nine hundred? I no, I did a little sprinkle plus oh, nine hundred. Okay. I've already had, took the plus five hundred on Nashville earlier in the game. Okay. Yep. We're still alive here, folks. Four three. Oh, now. it's Forsberg. Forsberg. Here we go, Forsberg. There we go. Yep. And did, and did we all hear uh, just uh, while well, we had a second on baseball? Did we all hear Otani's two minute presser yesterday where he literally didn't say anything but said a lot no. at the same time? Yeah. I mean, that's what was going to happen because yeah. it's an open investigation now. Yeah. And yeah. No, I realize that, right? But it's, it's it, like what it, they did with the hockey Canada stuff. As far stuff. as yeah. I was concerned. Yeah. Does, does anyone here actually believe that Otani might be a puppet for the Yakuza? I mean, I think I did joke that. Yeah, I think I think that was my Quentin Tarantino Impossible. plot. It was, yeah. and yeah. and his marriage uh, announcement is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Yes, yeah. What is marriage that? Marriage announcement. <laughs> See, exactly. I, I don't know. No one I knew he was dating anybody, and now all of a sudden he just goes on Twitter and says, "Hey, guess what? During the offseason, I got married." What? What? It was, it was to Manti Teo's girlfriend. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> and she gets around. Yes, <laughs> but is unseen, seen but unseen. Nashville was getting challenged. They had Stevie Wonder officiate the wedding too, so that helped. Yeah. <laughs> and then, did you hear about the uh, basketball player out of Toronto? Yeah, with the he's a bench player, but like everybody's yeah. hammering his under. <laughs> yeah. Yes. J John T. He, Porter. Yeah. 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 He'd he get in the game, and uh, he he get himself pulled, and then they were fucking they were wailing his unders on his shots and everything else on his props. So it happened the one game, right? And of course, it raises flags through the through the through the industry. It happened the second game, and that's when everybody went nuts because it, it was just like, like really, like come on. So there goes bargain bin segment for the NBA. Yep. All those bench guys will never be on there again. No, exactly. 
right? Exactly. But yeah, so they, because because he's a bench, because he's like a third, you know, third level player. Uh, if he's guilty, they they fig- uh, I was listening to a couple of stations today. They figure they'll throw the book right at him, right? Kick him out of the league, the whole bit. Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. <laughs> what so. I what I heard was uh, that they would normally expect to see bets around a thousand dollars, and several accounts attempted to make twenty thousand dollar bets yes. on his under. Yes. Oh, and, yes. Okay. and then so they just kind of were like okay let's see if this happens again and it did yeah and and he kept on you know like either getting uh did not finish the game or did not make an attempt yeah that was the oh, my, one. no i aggravated something pull me out of the game right yeah so cracking so, yeah, all, sorts, all, all sorts of little stuff going on yeah. yeah, it's like there's cameras everywhere. Don't think you're gonna get away with that shit. It's just no, not exactly. Not <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so we just started the third in Chicago. Yep. Looking for no goals by Calgary here in the third for me. That'd be great. Where are we in Edmonton? Tie game in Edmonton. Okay. I got the draw there, so. Tolvanen being here. Is that Seattle game started already? Yeah, and Tolvanen got the first goal in there. one nothing. Oh, crap. shit. Ten minutes in already. Okay. And for, and for the Blackhawks, if... Jonathan Drew wants to score tonight. I'd actually hit a rich H like parlay because I have Slavkovsky a point, a half point, New Hook a half point, Montreal over a goal and a half, and Drew to score a goal. You mean Colorado? Yeah, I was gonna say like if Drew scores oh. the Blackhawks, that'd be <laughs> big news to me because <laughs> the Nashville goal Colorado is Chicago. Goal. What's the difference? Oh well, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> A lot, a lot in both ways, if you think about it. <laughs> At least 40 points in the standings in a playoff spot. Yeah, Nashville, <laughs> now Nashville goal is a good goal. Nashville, Nashville gets well. the goal and the power play. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And Blue nice. Jackets on a power play at the mullet. So, Yuri Patera did, in fact, pull a Devin Cooley in his mouth. I need, a, I need Arizona to show up tonight. Oh boy. Raising Arizona. I got to jump off for a little bit, guys. I'll be back in a little bit. It's All right, John. Let's see you later, Johnny. Trip to Lake. See, I didn't like that Nashville. Yeah. Those are famous Same last words, Goots. I need Arizona right? to do something. <laughs> All right, you need draw. You have... Five and a half in that Arizona game, I feel like. Oh, Edmonton draw. Right okay, I got you. Okay. Yeah, which I should have grabbed when it was three two. Five and a half. I grabbed I grabbed it early today. Arizona? <laughs> Pull body. <sighs> I mean, I'm seeing plus one twenty. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. I think it was Nashville's Nashville's uh, schedule I was looking at. Yeah, it was Nashville. I said, I was looking at Nashville's four, schedule. Four, Nashville today. tied it. Wow. Oh, Preds team total over three and a wow. half. Wow. Nice. Yep. Nashville, nice four, four. Wow. 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 Woo, baby. That's amazing. This could One, swing the night right yeah. here. I wonder, I wonder four, what was challenged. Five, wow. Six. Was it, was, it, was it offside or goalie it interference? Was it was offside. It was offside. Who, whoever, offside. Whatever that challenge yeah. was, it was a mistake. That was yeah. a mistake. Well, yeah, that's where you have to rely on your video people if you're um, Bruce Cassidy, and apparently uh, they, oh. they failed him there. Jordan says it's it was offside, and yeah. those are usually always right. <laughs> this Nashville I team has got some kind of fucking magic going right now. It's it's insane. Like they were down four nothing, like at one point tonight. Yeah, this is right up there with the Colorado Pittsburgh Sunday game. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, 
And we got uh, six minutes left in uh, Winnipeg, Edmonton, still tied. So I have, wow. That's, that's the best. Just need a Yossi point. I didn't add oh, Nashville, though. Right, I only Jordan, took the draw. Plus, plus, right, I, I have right the there. Nashville plus 500 earlier that I placed in the second period. I only took the draw like 10 minutes ago. I didn't take Nashville. I just took the draw when it got to 4-2. God, I wish I should have would taken Nashville. I, took, I got Nashville plus five eighty. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. Unbelievable. I didn't think here. they were going to do it, so I didn't live bet them. But I got them pregame and the team totals. So. Yeah, team total cashes, and I had that pregame yeah. over three and a half. Yep. And remember, uh, this is my show best bet now that it suddenly has life again. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's good because I was going to hunt you down on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it Fred Mundelman? Nobody oh, asked jackets, me about my way, jackets. Just scored one nothing. <laughs> oh, three nothing Chicago. There we go, this Black game's Hawks. Nice. Yep. Nice. This Coyotes Dragons game is going to start flying. I'm pretty sure. There we go. I think so. It should. Yeah, the goals will, fl will flow pretty soon. Yeah. Dickinson. Dickinson scored for Chicago. Dickinson again. Holy man, Jim. Yep. Dickskin. Yeah. yeah. Dickskin. <laughs> <laughs> From Letterkenny. Yeah. There's Wierenski with the point. Perfect. Oh, man. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. And and Goudreau. Both, now, if both. you're Nashville, look, you want the point at yes. least to keep the point streak going. So don't be foolish here. Don't no risky plays, so you don't lose the point here. Eighteen. This would be if this gets to overtime. Eighteen game point streak. Yeah. It's a wicked run. I'm just reminded, too, with that tying goal, how loud that building can be when they're playing well. Nashville. Oh, fuck yeah. 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 Actually, I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to take Calgary Flames total goals under, under a half at plus 120. Oh, they just had a good shot. They just had a good chance. Oh, they're getting some good chances, Calgary, right now. That's okay. They can get good chances all night. They yeah. can get Calgary Sternums. It's Calgary Sternums back in play right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One goal is not going to get you anything in the third period. No. <laughs> That's the worst. You know, it's the most meaning meaningless goal. No. Actually, if I, if I can get one more Chicago goal, I'll be a happy camper. We did caution people earlier that, you know, even though we didn't love the way it was going for Nashville, this is back-to-back -back road legs maybe starting to show up a bit, too, for Vegas. 60 minutes. Yep. And the goalie. Yep. Yep. Put the two together. And Sorrow, give him credit. That was not a great start for him, and he's kind of... No. But then the streak lives, right? Like it starts to like you start to believe again. Yep. You're sitting on the bench and you're like, Let, it's gonna happen. Yep. And then it just Actually, takes off. It just it's it, however you got to fifteen, you get you know, it's oh, yeah. for Hawks? I don't know about that, Bailey. It's you not a good contract. Oh, okay. yep. Not, not even watch. close. Patrick watch for Jason Dickinson. Mm -hmm. That is true, yeah. Like, Somebody was railing him in that chat today. Turning around, you get him scoring. He streaky as hell. Seventy points in yeah. the next out of the next four seasons, right? Each season, it's not a bad contract. The Darnell Nurse contract at nine point one two five is a way shittier contract, yeah. in my opinion. That or the whoever was, contract. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever it was said they were tired of waiting for him to score. And I was like, well, I was almost tempted to be like, well, you keep waiting or, you know, get comfortable. Yeah. But yeah, oh, you got it. I hope you bet it. Yeah, it Huber, I would love for Huberto. I would love for the Hawks to get Huberto. Yeah. Yeah. He, that, that, I think that'd be a good change of scenery for him. Isn't Hubes getting over 10? Yeah, he's getting over 10. Uh, like I say, it's not the worst contract, but to me, the, the when they paid, uh, when they paid nurse in Edmonton, at 9.125 for one set of playoff games, that's a way worse contract because now it's showing, yeah. right? The contract to Carlson, way shittier contract. Anybody want games. Eric Carlson? Yeah. Yeah, right. Right? Pittsburgh's yeah. going to pay for that one. Actually, if you want to talk they got contracts, 
the one to the one to Malkin and the one to Latang. Those are those are just as bad, if not worse. Chris Latang, that's the worst with the worst contract in the league. Right? You're paying you're paying him what till he's 40? 42. 42. Fuck me. Actually, speaking of paying guys till till they're dead in the it was uh who's the goalie? That used to play for the Islanders that got bought out. He's still making money. Di Pietro. Uh, Di Pietro. They're paying him one point one point seven five for the next four fucking years. He committed the same kind of robbery like that Brock years, Osweiler yeah. did in the NFL. I mean, well, that's now he's crazy. a, comment- now he's a uh, shitty commentator Bobby. for Pac-12 After Dark. Well, he's like paying a running back. Bobby, yeah, Bobby like Bonilla a, Day. Like paying a running back. You know, right. look, look at fucking Vasilevsky. Yeah, I mean, any minute now, I could just end. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. No, no, no. Vasilevsky's earned every dollar he has. The dude's well, already true. damn near a Hall of Famer. <laughs> like, right, right. Been, you know what I mean? Two cups and a consomme in like five years. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I mean, look, look how many goalies have gone through all these teams. In Carolina, Florida, all these teams have gone, like all these great teams, you know, Goalies go quick, like running backs. Like paying a bunch of money for a long term contract for a goalie to me is like paying a long term contract for a running back. I don't yeah, know. If it's a I mean, class goal. I mean Actually, I anything, be, over, uh, anything over anything over three years, you're really rolling the dice when it when it comes to a goalie in my, my mind. Oh, for maybe, sure. Maybe. Well, yeah. There's only there's Actually, only four goalies. There's, what, there's maybe four goalies in the league you give that money to, Shosturkin. Vasilevsky. Look, Vasilevsky was, yeah, yeah. Vasilevsky was a bad like, example, maybe, but even uh yeah. oh Soros. Soros is worth that kind of money. Uh yep. and Hellebuck. Yep. Yeah, those are your, those are your four guys yep. you get that kind of money. Anybody else? No, I, not even Ottinger. And I'm a big Ottinger fan. You don't give Ottinger a contract longer than two years. I don't I have to disagree with you there, Bailey. Carlson wasn't a good gamble. Wasn't no. even close. No. It was a bad concept close. from the onset. Right from the start. Yeah. Made no sense. No, no. <laughs> yeah, just the Jack, math. Jack Campbell is a is a bad contract, but it's bare. Oh, I realize. Yeah. I know he was a Norris last year, Bailey. That's that's not the point. The point is, is what are you going to do forward for me for the next four years when you're still paying them? What is it? Nine nine and change. They're still paying them. Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yep. Right. You're you're not you're not going to get out from underneath that contract. Like you're just not, and it's going to get worse. It's going to get way fucking worse. I think you try and trade him. And giving up draft. Who's going to take him though? Right. Even even if you get down to hell, you are trying to get rid of a bad contract. You got to find a suitor willing to take the bad contract off your hands. Right. That's the thing. Blackhawk skull. Oh, four zip opening up a can here on the flames. Flame broiled tonight, Calgary. Uh, Yeah. And and that's the worst part about about Pittsburgh is now they have four bad contracts on the books. That mm-hmm. are four years, yeah. and, and and three of them be yeah. older players. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, like it's just yeah. don't make sense. Well, it might have been Poe, buddy, but it's still Dubas had to still make the decision. If you're listening to players about about the players you're bringing in, at a mm-hmm. point that's a that's yeah. let, that's letting the inmates run the asylum. The asylum. That's yep. not a good way of that's, running a team. That's why <laughs> our Timmy Panarin wasn't a career Blackhawk, and he's in New York because. Kane and Tave said, "Hey, let's bring our old friend Brandon Sod back." And Stan Bowman listened. So, but they already had somebody for the power play, Bailey. They already had Latang. That's part what of the we have ourselves. Maybe a first NHL goal for Chicago yeah. on that. Yeah, Landon Lager. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nice. Oh, we got four nothing. It looks Chicago like they're challenging under, it. Under challenge, yeah. Shit. So I yeah, just they're challenging it. The worst part is, is that 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 franchise Pittsburgh is just they're going to have probably a good five years of pain. Like just pure pain, and then and then five years of a rebuild after that, and five years of a rebuild. Yeah. Okay. So what do we got here? What's the issue? I don't think that was it. No goal. So. Yeah. No goal. But, but uh, okay. should you? But why should you listen to Crosby? Like, well, why let a player yet. tell yeah, you who's no signing? You're oh, not that's signing. unfortunate. That's why. Yeah, that's right. why they're paying him lie. seven right. million a year. Right. Like this is the thing. Like. So I don't know. It wasn't a good. I would have left him in San Jose. I would have. I wouldn't have even considered bringing. It. Fucking and Dubas wanted to bring him to Toronto. I'd have had to drive <laughs> to Toronto and kill him myself for fuck's sakes. Like shit. 
All right, it was never. It was put actually. And look at it this way: when San Jose signed that contract, nobody thought it was a good contract then either. The day they signed that, everybody said, "Oh, that's not that's not a good contract," and it wasn't. So that's unfortunate. Landon Slager denied of his first NHL. Yeah, for anybody. Right call. Actually, apparently now they're. It, it, it would it would be up to Crosby. He he might ask to be traded this summer. Like he really might. Yep. He should. It would be the best thing for him and the Penguins. Is to right. Go. Exactly. You, you, if you, if you get Crosby out of town, you you get rid of that Crosby okay. mystique. Right. Yeah. There you go. Ian. I would. Plus I would think Crosby would go to the. Go there we go. Yep. Yeah. 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 No. Well. Now give me Nashville, no, and it's no longer it's, than you, right? Full body. Yeah. It's it's now. Uh, um, uh, uh, I can't even remember the name of the company, but it, where like, would where would Crosby go though if he got traded? I, I would think the Avs. Seattle. I think he'd yeah. go. I think he'd go play with McKinnon and take you a mean, gigantic pay cut or something. Or how are they going to be able to even juggle that around? They're going to take care of him. Why wouldn't he? They'll be. They'll trust right. the management. Yeah. Yeah. He I should go be, to I Canada. Can, if he, he should if go, he to, go to the ads with it with the thought Vancouver. process that I could win another cup, why wouldn't he take a pay cut? It's how I get my cup. <laughs> right? Exactly. He will go maybe, to the Bruins. Maybe, oh, he maybe, maybe. The Bruins, I yeah. Just bring him to the Bruins. We'll take I was he say, will go to the he Bruins. Could, he could go to an original six team and maybe help a team, you know, rebuild a little faster in Chicago. You know what? You got to consider just betting Nashville draws every game moving forward because that's yeah. their first and foremost concern is keeping the point streak uh, going. I'll be looking at them to do that in the playoffs for sure. Yeah. A lot of OT yeah. with them. Yeah. So, but I think that's, there that's was a for agreeing. I don't know, Po Buddy, because that wasn't uh, that wasn't Dubas that made made those decisions, right? That was all no. of uh, uh, what's Hextall. his name, Ron Hextall. Hextall yeah. Right. And they ran him out of town on the Murphy. fucking on the first bus. Yeah, Two but, then, but, but wait, but then you had Dubas come in and give Tristan Jari five years. I mean, if we talk about not signing goalies for a long time, well, no, and that's, that's that's the other part, right? Like, yes. it's, no. it, it's, yeah. it's, it's I, rather, I can't it's rather, find anybody, so I'm just gonna sign the guy I got for five years. Like, that's makes sense, yeah, right? So we got overtime, I think, in Winnipeg, maybe Pittsburgh, as well. Pittsburgh's yeah. in a, Pittsburgh's in a little bit of a fucking blender, in, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I don't think it's going to look good when they're it's in a world of hurt. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be pain for many, many decade. years. Yeah, yeah. there's zero I'm heartbroken to hear that. Yeah, I know. I know. John <laughs> Mask is just totally heartbroken about the Pittsburgh issues for the next. Oh yeah, he, he definitely has a relationship with Mario, but yeah, like he's he's he. There's one thing about Crosby; he is a competitor, <laughs> and he's still playing good hockey. No. So a great season. If, if they go to him and say, like, do you want to be traded? He might go, Yeah, I do. I don't want to, I can't deal with this anymore. Like, and then really? let's 648 look at the people roster. on all platforms watching this betcast nice. right now. So oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's take Ooh. a shot. Yeah. 648 people. <laughs> my yeah. first betcast. Holy shit, boys. Uh Avalanche getting close to a live bet. I'm not sure. Where are we in that game? Unfortunately, no, it's still in the second period there. Me. Still 2 1 Montreal late second. Oh, yeah, and both teams early. Four, second know. period. Yeah, 1 Not nothing a... Jackets, 2 nothing Seattle. And we're 3 we're uh, 3 nothing still in Chicago with 10 minutes left yeah. to go. It has been a very low event second period, too. In Colorado, yes. Yeah. Colorado. Right. Oh, I, 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 I have been watching that because I bet it. I'm just like, this period is just. Sucks. Yeah, we're talking Colorado. <laughs> uh, Nashville wins it in overtime. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely Nashville best bet. Yeah, but wow. I, I'm back from the right, dead. If you're going to give me, if you're going to give me a choice to stay or get out, I'm yeah. going to get the fuck out, even if I help create That's it. Huge, right, right. Like, yeah, That's fucking huge. Those predators. Come back in wow. three years, send the one year, one day contract, and retire a pen, and everybody will love them. Right? Holy shit! That's what a goal. Cool. I love the Yossi. celebration of Nashville. Yossi? Yossi. 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 Yossi.
UOC Chosen point. Chosen. Yeah, that's right, Jordan. UOC Open point. Chat Look at the movie up. made too. Look at that power move to the net and just wrapped her right around Patera, who sprawled out and missed. By the him. way, can I, I'm just going to point this out why, on this game. Avalanche game. This is more of a reason I'm doubling down on the first period Avalanche puck line on Thursday night against the Rangers. Mm. Just seeing these first two periods. Way to go, Rocco. Good, call, good hit there. He got yeah, SGP call, out of that Nashville comeback, too. Yep. Oh, take it easy there, Matt. <laughs> You're starting to see what Barry Trott's vision was with this team now when he pieced it together. There's a nice mix of youth. There's the old vets that can still play. Forsberg, Yossi, O'Reilly. Luke Shen on the back end, he makes a difference. They're better, you know, in the in terms of physicality and defensively with him. You're starting to see there's pieces here that he's put. But I still don't think he was totally for sure that this is a playoff team when he put the team together. But he just wanted to think. grow the young kids. But now that they're at this point, like, they can give any fucking team they play in the first round a tough ass series simple yeah. as that it won't be like their last playoff appearance no. So, no so ian uh just to piggyback on what you said one of the key words that you had there though or key phrases was trots had a vision of what he wanted yeah which too many executives try to piecemeal and throw nice shit in a blender to see what it works right oh, did and, like he brought in pieces to Perfect. uh complement or supplement the pieces that were on the roster yeah so much of that speed down the wing you know you have sturdy in the back, so you know what? Get these young, fresh legs in the lineup and take chances with yeah. them because you have a solid blue line. It's pretty, and you're pretty solid in goal. So you know what? Take shots with the kids, and you have people. Hey, then, what's going on, buddy? Huh? Yeah. Ice guys, you. familia, que pasó? Yeah. Hey. 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 Good. Good. Just put the kids to bed. Now I can play a little bit and ready for the start. The crew. <laughs> Have a little set of base Our guy Matt that. Robinson's in San Jose at the game. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the yeah, sideline report. I don't know if I'd bring him back for the next segment, though, dude. No, he couldn't hear <laughs> shit. He couldn't hear us. Yeah. Not just joking. All love, love Matt Robinson. I want to know is what's the get in price for that game right now? We could have got in there. We could have probably set the whole Hyman. chat room. The, yeah. the parking is more expensive overtime. than the. Zach Hyman wins it. <laughs> Oilers in OT beat yes. Let's go. Did we mention that Blackhawk scoring that third goal? Because I'm very happy that the Blackhawks Dickinson scored the third to make it yeah. three now. Yes. Yep. You just need a fourth one. No. Yeah, need a f I need a fourth yeah. Blackhawks goal. I'll be a happy camper. Yeah. What a friggin' comeback by Nashville oh. though. Wow. Yeah, to you. And, 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 and no Calgary goal. Yeah. yeah. As long as Calgary don't score, I don't care what the fuck goes on anymore. Just need Donato to finish this one up. Elephant hands. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> they rang her off the post. Christ, they came close again. Sheesh. All right. Wow, I'm just looking at my account. Holy fuck. Preds <laughs> plus 500 live from the second period. And I didn't bet them when it was probably better mm -hmm. than that in the third. But plus 500 in, from the it second was period. And the that. draw, and the draw plus 900 with the nice. draw live. Yeah, It, 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 it was double it the plus 500 uh, the period. Good stuff. Ooh. That's good stuff. That that's a bank. I just saw the account shoot up that I would bet those mm -hmm. two in practically <laughs> cash. Wow. Blackhawk oh. scored. Oh. Oh shit. Now they go. Go. Puck don't lie. There you go. That's point. right. Although that was the right yeah. call, but still, puck don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I played that double chance around there, right when they were like they they scored Nashville scored that first goal. But you know, the double chance is regulation, you know, predators yeah. to win or draw. It was like plus 290, and okay. it helped cover up some transgressions oh, no, I made at that uh, OT of the Red Wings game. <laughs> I, I kind of went in heavy on the Red Wings, thinking they were really going to take that one oh. home and win an OT. But oh, the Washington You're a hockey fan. What a night. Calgary scored. Landed. Crazy. Yeah, Calgary. Yeah. Yep. Oh, God damn it. Love it. No, Shit. no good. 3 1. Weaker. Need. Uh... All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. Oh, Hi, okay, Terry. Appreciate you joining yeah. us. Great stuff. Great no job problem. on the show today as yeah. well. Thanks a lot. Best of luck tonight, guys. See you. You too, Terry. Good to see you, Thank Terry. You Take care, buddy. Thanks, Love guys. You uh, we like the first period over in the Stars game. Yeah, that's correct. Corona. Yeah, I'm on over by FECTA with uh, Stars and Sharks. Of course, I'm on that with the Blue Jackets, too. And I'm on Arizona team total. They've got nothing so far. So we need some. 
Arizona to get I their think, ass uh, in here a little bit. But it's still early. Columbus can fold like a cheap suit in the third period. That's always oh, been their yeah. worst period this year. So I Most might look at a live shows. Arizona team total at some point, and maybe Arizona. Oh yeah, shit. Live first period time. over in the Stars game. I was look, looking at that at one point, but nothing's happened so far. So no, no, you've That's still got a chance to get in at a good number here. Alive. All right, plus one stars on the PP. Which I just, <laughs> I just had a moment too. Where I looked at my account like, what the fuck did I just hit right now? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you forget what's in there. Oh, that happens. To oh, me. okay. Yeah, I know. I doubled up on that predators. I forgot. Oh, I had- don't forget. You just don't want to look at it the next morning. You're just like, I'll wait till I have lunch or something. Before. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So over <laughs> one and a half. We'll, we'll wait for one thirty-five. Uh, we'll get greedy. Here. I just got one thirty-five. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, one thirty. Yeah, that's what you can get with the over one and a half. All right. Oh yeah. Here we go. I, I got it now. Perfect. Stars power play right now. By the way. Oh, wonderful! Here, all right. Now we got to get all right. So first period over in stars yep. and sharks. Grab yep. that as soon as you can. Well, wow. Okay. That's, yeah, I see, same thing. I look at him like, hey, hang on. <laughs> five and a half. I feel like five and a half is a good luck full game. What do you think, Cheshire Cat? He's in the chat, maybe. We're, I'm thinking about it with the Avs live. Third period is their period on home ice. We know that. I'm waiting for a better price, just a little. Right, longer. Cheshire? Greedy. For what? <laughs> I want Avs plus 110 plus 115. Yeah. Over five and a half, dude. Over five and a half stars, dude. Take it with me. Come on, bud. I'll take the okay. Avs line. Yeah, full game stars with you. I, I'm feeling five and a half. I'm taking it because because the the you know sharks could go down to nothing and then say fuck it. So yeah. I think, I think it ends like four five to one. They lose, you know. Oh well, if you like that, then you should try and get stars team total over. That should be a better price. Last. I have stars I'm minus not one and a half. With you, Bailey, but I bet on Chicago, so I need a Chicago goal here for them to get ahead of uh, to get ahead of Calgary on the uh, period total. A little under six minutes left to go in Calgary and uh, Chicago. Are they are they even skating the first? Like what? I'm looking. I'm trying to find this game like solid because I don't have the TV on in this office. But uh, like what is the? I'm even looking at the lines. Like the first line is the top line been skating much for the Hawks? Goose. Has it been like Bedard Donato? Uh, They've been pretty good. Bernard, Bernard, uh, Bernard, oh, okay, Bernard yeah, yeah. Donato and. Um, Radish? Okay. I think it was Radish yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. They've been getting the most minutes. It's just he didn't even have a shot on goal. Unbelievable. I just need uh Chicago to score uh Calgary in the third period. Yeah. So Yeah, I'm well, gonna I'm gonna two goal lead, two goal lead when I get a point. empty net spot. Yeah. But I'm gonna wait just a little longer. Yeah, I'll be on Colorado too, but yeah. I want to get better than plus 210 with the draw, and I want to get better than plus 105 with uh, Colorado. This is what Colorado does. They can play one good third period at home and still win the hockey game. That's what they've done. How many times have we seen this over the years? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm going to hop on that double chance with the no, whack, free. whack, ducks. Go for on the go. Plus 400, why not? And go for it. See they can oh, no, game. sorry. Only two. I want to fade Seattle up 2 nothing. I thought you meant playing. I'm worried Anaheim's just too inept yeah. to do anything about it. <laughs> but I like your bravery, Landon. Good job. Yeah, yeah I'd call it degeneratism. <laughs> <laughs> I call it bravery. Let's call it something. <laughs> Ian always with a glass half bowl. <laughs> Hey, Alex, Ian, I wanted to ask you how the reception has been with the true TV shit. I, I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't heard anything. The first either. month. Um, yeah. you know, it's going to take some time to get the viewers. Uh, so where can you find it? Like, I don't even. Platform. It's so it's, it's, in, it's in Canada, mostly. Like, yeah. Mm. What I, yeah. Like, I tried to find the app on my, like, when I was, like, a couple of days ago, and I couldn't yeah. download yeah. it here. So yeah. it's, 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 it's Canada only, but that's still, yeah. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, we appreciate getting yeah. more eyeballs to the show. It's good. We'll see it. We'll, they, hopefully, they get people tuning in and using that app. Yeah. Yeah. Just bet Colorado in regulation at uh, 225. 
Oh. So yeah, if you're going to bet Colorado now, definitely right. do that. Take the regulation, yeah. not the money I will, line. I will grab a little piece of that. Look at I you, Bailey. Two, plus 240 on Friday. Elliot came, Elliot came back 19 oh. points down and going to the second overtime in the Lakers. Oh, with the Bucks. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I didn't see a minute of it, but I heard it. Was that. Oh, with the, the basketball, yeah. yeah. Basketball's a little story job. happening tonight. <laughs> Basketball can't hold a fucking candle to this hockey card tonight. No. This hockey card's been batshit insane. If you're a fan and you love hockey, this night's been – it's delivered. It's been amazing. It's Flyers been Rangers was nuts. Red Wings Capitals, great game overtime. Flyers Rangers was nuts overtime. Bruins Panthers, one of the better games you'll see. Physicality, intensity, fights. Come back by the There's Bruins late in the third. Thursday, the freaking crazy ending to the uh, Predators coming all the way back from 4 nothing down. Like, where do you stop tonight with what's happened and all the craziness and excitement? I knew this card could be great from a, just a pure viewership and entertainment standpoint. It surpassed it. Yeah. You didn't even mention the Knights, did you? Yeah, I know. I just at the end, yeah, Nashville with the crazy uh, ass comeback. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking crazy, dude. Holy shit. Unbelievable night. And this is not, this is throwing the betting aside for a moment, just from entertainment and just seeing great, thrilling hockey. It's been amazing tonight. Two nine goal games, 11 games. Yep. <laughs> SGP friendly. Yeah, and an unexpected oversurge in some of these games. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, a lot of games started out really under. Yeah, under. Yep. under it, was crazy, it was crazy to see 6-3 be the final for a New Jersey-Toronto. Mm-hmm. That game was just quiet as hell for the first, what, 25 minutes of play, it seems? Yep. Yeah, yeah we mentioned that, the hospital bed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was Sammy P when he was on. Yeah. That, night. That was just <laughs> oh, that was, that was hilarious. It's so true, though, yeah. It's just the way it looks from the – it was that light more than anything else. It was the light, that light <laughs> over the bed is def. That was definitely yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Full body's nerfing. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes off to the kitchen now. Yep. <laughs> no, I was telling my wife that Goose got he he got on the tip about mutant. Yeah. He knows. That's right. He's getting with We've it. We've got uh, power play for Arizona, by the way, to start the uh, second period coming up. Yeah. I mean, normally yeah, we get the car, <laughs> the car, the driveway, the fucking get out of the car in the driveway. Like, <laughs> that's why I said when I joined, I was like, he must have got off early. I didn't get the drive time with Goose. Crazy. I wanted to know He's what the fucking. Gas. I did. I, I, was, I, was, I was out of there a half hour early today, Landon. Nice. Yeah, did you just yeah. sneak out, or did boss say go home? No, I just. You don't have to admit it. It's cool. It's, this isn't a private. <laughs> this isn't a Patreon. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, no, I just. I, Cut I that. just said screw it. I'm like, screw it. It's like four thirty. I'm out of here. Fuck this. I'll see you later. I mean, why not? It's Especially not, like it's, most times you put it in that place. Shit. <laughs> Oilers. Oilers did blow Ten a lead. And a half they just hours every day, man. Yep. Every team we said the Penguins are blowing a lead. Dallas to score in the first period at even money. I uh, am. Yeah. If they wake up. Oh, I thought you said they did score. You mean the Dallas even... Stars didn't get the memo? Matt Robinson's in the house there. They got to play their ass off tonight, their best game. <laughs> no, they got the memo. He was there, and they were making sure to disappoint him greatly. <laughs> <laughs> Why did this team just drag their ass against the fucking Sharks of all teams? That's what, that's what annoys me. Yeah, Dallas has done this shit so I many mean, times. They do oh, have well. ten shots on goal. Yeah, they're up ten four. Yeah. No, we do it at home though. Classic though, against the sea yep. level teams and below, where we yep. sit there and just toy with them, and then the second period is a torrent. Hence Give them the some hope. Yep. They're, yeah, they're not the only ones though. No, a lot no of they are. Oh, they're not. They're not. Yeah. It's yeah. Have, have, all with yep. have I introduced you to the Calgary Flames? <laughs> <laughs> what about the Islanders? Oh, empty net in that flame game, by the way. Goose. Yeah. I mean, nice. It, it is always iffy to take such a big price with the Dallas Stars when Wedgwood's in goal. Yeah. Like, I, I know. In that minus 60, let me know because I could tell you some other stuff you could do with your money. He was skating. But, but that's the great thing about watching this show. You find out. 
so other ways to attack it, right? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, sometimes that's in the live market only. Even. I mean, mm -hmm. No, he was skating with the team this morning, Bailey. They had him out on the ice. Damn, ends. watch out. They're going to kill Wedgwood. Sharks on the power play. No. Uh -huh. They're like nurse, they're like a nurse shark attack, though, and harmless. <laughs> oh, more fucking snow coming. Jesus Christ. Again, I have not locked in anything yet live, but we, we are eyeing Colorado at some point and the draw at some point against Montreal. If you're going to bet Colorado now, I say plus 225 in regulation rather than plus 105. To put you. I'd, I'd take the value with that. Kraken, Ducks, no thank you. <laughs> no, I'm tempted by Anaheim, but not enough yet. And, uh, yeah, I, I can see it, but no. No. I, like, it might I be just, just time for, you know what, Seattle's not going to lose Ducks. every game. Anaheim's beatable. They've come out strong. They, I think there's part of them that kind of is saying, you know what, we know we're dead. The season's done for us, but we can't be giving out efforts like we did against Montreal at home and getting plastered five one like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's not, it's really nice, Bailey. Problem is, is they probably won't keep Domi there. They'll probably kick him down to the third line again. So, <laughs> and 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 you know what? Anaheim gets another chance at them on Thursday. In, in so Anaheim, yeah. See that no, one, they might win because no, they're at home. Oh, no, this 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 is, this is back to back home for Seattle. It's home. Anaheim is at Seattle Tuesday, at Seattle Thursday, oh, it's next in Seattle, week. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. No, it's one of those deals where it's the same building. Is this the row. NBA? Yeah, NBA does that crap all the time. I hate it. Get the shoehorn and get that, fix that schedule. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, they're in the same division. How come they have to play three times in two years? Yeah, really. What is, it, what, what is this, getting ready for baseball season? You know the the Angels and the Mariners. Did they confuse the scheduling making uh, making major? All, right, All right, Bailey, there you is. just admitted it. You don't like Matt Robinson because Matt is there. I bet the Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I, actually, I think you're just needle. Okay, we've got a little. That's not the only one on the Sharks. I'm sure in the chat. The bear with him a couple of times though. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 is straight out of the Ice X playbook. That is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fade your ass. Yeah. The number of times yeah. he's faded us before. And lost <laughs> up three one. It's over. Final score. Chicago. Maybe shot on go for Donato. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll take stars by six. First period. <laughs> right, Makes it fun. There you go. Yeah, three one Chicago. And, and first, first period over was brilliant. So. That's I actually I put them in the draft lottery standpoint. I can only imagine Matt's card live in the arena. Bailey says Dallas minus five and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, good thing he's in California. You don't lose as much money that way. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it's Wedgwood tonight for uh, Dallas. Yeah. Now, he's been good lately, though, at Wedgwood, though. He has, he has been. been. That's, that's what I was saying. I'm just like, it's not. However, it's still it's minus consistent. four twenty. Yeah. He's been wedge wall lately for the uh, as his, as his, that's his handle actually on the social media wedge wall. Oh boy! Or as Ian calls him, the golf course. Have they got the radio guy from Chicago filling in on television tonight? Who? John Weideman. Oh, he did TV tonight. I think so. It sounds yeah. like him. I think it's his voice. I don't. It's not definitely not Vosters. It's after Weidman after a player. week of listening to Chris Vosters, and then the one night I missed watching a game live, and it's Weidman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah. Well, I know his voice. I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Should have got that, the job that, to begin with. Definitely him. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't they give him like that? The Kings gave it to their radio guy Nick Nixon after they canned Faust, which was not a good move, but at least they gave it to Nixon. We all should know by now the Chicago Blackhawks organization can't do damn near anything right. No. So. <laughs> no. Uh, how about the San Francisco Giants getting rid of uh, the PA? Oh, uh, yeah. That, I mean, the Giants, we're one of those teams that can't really do much right either, to be honest. So. What's going on here? 
There we go. A TV call by John Wideman. I can only wish this was the case every evening, says one Chicago fan on Twitter. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can the Blackhawks please come to the – all you have to do is type in John Wideman on Twitter, search, and you see all these – keep him on TV. He needs to be the play-by-play guy. Can the Blackhawks please come to their senses and make John Wideman the permanent yeah, play-by-play really. TV announcer? <laughs> like, Actually, actually Brody's not going to be the top D, man. It's just a roasting of Boston who so on tonight. Oh, Shorty, Dallas. Wyatt Johnson. To the Pantera. Short-handed. Dallas. WJ. Oh, shit. Getting too crazy over here. Sorry. Yeah, the over, <laughs> half, <laughs> over half goal in the first period. Dying back there, I'll just bust it through the door. I should have taken it. I was, to, I was thinking of taking that. God damn it. The goal in the first period. Yep. Too, too, much, too much thought, not enough action, Ian. Yep. <laughs> Which I, I can uh, say about a uh, dozen times go. during the season on these bet casts. There he goes. Yeah. Go to bed. Bingo. <laughs> Kid just came in, opened the and door. That's one of our like, point parlay <laughs> legs. <laughs> Speaking of Pantera, of I get to see them. Legs. I get to see them in August up in uh, Edmonton. I've got tickets oh, to nice. uh, both oh, the Metallica sure. shows. Metallica, yeah. So I get Who's taking advantage down. of those two weeks of summer in Alberta? <laughs> nice, right? Hey, at least so it's indoors. The, face, the front man still, J- Jason, whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah, they got <laughs> they got the original front man back. Yeah. Hey, John, That's at least crazy. it's indoor. Or actually, no, this one is at Commonwealth Stadium. Last yeah, all that whole tour the, in, uh, in football stadiums. So. Yeah, last time, and actually, the funny part is, last time the last show we saw up in Edmonton was the ACDC show where Brian uh, Johnson blew out his hearing because he got it was fucking raining and cold as fuck that night and he wow. he came out stood on the edge of the stage all night long and did a show he never stayed under the uh under the uh cover all yeah, night long yeah. that's why he got sick as sick as could be huh? yeah. so but wow. because uh because uh joanne is a, a mobility handicap we've got covered seating yeah ben got an assist so we've got two legs of the point parlay nice oh. Yeah, rest in peace on Dimebag for sure, Philly. Yeah, and Vinny Paul. Yeah. Yeah, and Vinny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, Shot to as always, it's yeah, five after good. nine. It's pumpkin time for the old boy. I know. It's, it's, like guys. it's like you're right. Yeah, wearing an orange know. shirt. <laughs> what the hell? You got an orange backdrop? This is this is on point. Good to <laughs> see all, you, buddy. I'm all over the place. One last cheers for Goose on his way yeah. out. Great. To- Cheers, you, boys. Always. Everybody yep. have a good night. Be safe. Yeah, we'll see you uh, real soon. But uh, as always, let's be the care. window and we'll keep her moving. That's uh, absolutely it, my friend. Take care. Cheers. Fly, goose, fly. <clears throat> so is uh, Ottawa Buffalo the TNT game tomorrow night? Can't see why they'd want Boston Tampa. Nah. No, it is Boston Tampa. It's Boston Tampa. <laughs> hey, so do they do flex schedule like the NFL does? And the no, NHL? and they need to. They need to badly. Well, excuse me for thinking that you really maybe thought for a minute it was Ottawa Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excuse you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you think this is? NBC Sports. I hate oh. to say it, but that's a Tampa spot tomorrow potentially against. But they're coming off the West Coast, so what kind of wow? You got Boston off this win of the season, maybe against Florida. It was such a huge game in the comeback. Like, do you really want to back them on a back to back? But Tampa is coming off the road on a West Draw. Coast. Draw. Draw, yeah. And Over. First period under. That's, uh, I could see it. Yep. But the thing is, Tampa's been a first period over machine. I so know they have. That's been. like tough. Yeah. yeah. But coming off the road trip, maybe a slower start. However, they need the points. Yeah. I think I'm still going to, in, in spite of that, take the first period over just because it's been so good for. I would years. probably look for it live. I won't bet it pregame because yeah. it's going to be. We're talking Olmark and Vasilevsky. Yeah, I, I just want to see how they're cool skating week. early too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that too. Um. I I don't know. I forgot about this. They're doing an animated broadcast of Blackhawks in Dallas locally. Yeah. 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 Because Tampa's all on. They didn't score, Bailey. It's still 2 nothing. Seattle there. No goal yet for Anna. Uh, I'm going to have to alert my mom of that beforehand because I, I can't. That, that phone call on April 6th would be, what the fuck is going on? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't screw around with Mr. Yeah. Smith's yeah. Blackhawks games yeah. broadcasts. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully that means yeah. that Plus will have like a regular feed or something because yep. yeah, that's not going to – I mean, and then Dallas is going to be like a minus 500 favorite in that game. So You're right about Colorado. They look like they're they're in a fog right now. Still, even with this third period so far. So we shouldn't bet them plus 130? <laughs> I, I, yeah. I think they look a lot more lively right now. It keeps climbing. How they look in the second period. It's just everything's behind the net, and yeah. All right, this hits one forty. I'm jumping in. Yeah, it's getting close to that. And by the way, the reg line is plus three twenty. The regular money line's plus one forty. Colorado. The draw is up to plus two hundred now. Ooh. Here, here, here's the problem. Hmm. I I've got the situation, <laughs> and I'm, as I'm watching this. It's still an and in goal for Mon- for Colorado. Yeah. And would it surprise you to see Colorado push, 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 and Montreal, Montreal get their three, first one. decent chance of the yeah. third period and pots it in the net? Yeah. Like yeah. The New Jersey, Toronto third period there tonight. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. you outshoot them 10, 10 2 yeah. to be in the first 10 minutes of this third period. Like if Colorado doesn't score in the next four minutes, like. If it gets to just after, just above the ten minute media timeout, and Colorado hasn't potted it despite the pressure, I'm going to come on Montreal to score the next goal. Yeah, I think it's more likely Montreal makes it three one than two two if Colorado hasn't made it two two one. Hmm. Yeah, because Boys, now th- because then they activate the D men, then they're more vulnerable for the counter attack. Yeah. Take it easy, Brett. Hi, Brett. We'll see you later, guys. Oh, you're heading out, Brett. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. And by the way, Brett's not with us next Monday, but we wish him and his team, his girls, well on their tournament next week. Good luck. Go get him, Brett. Coach Brett's got it in the bag. I'll keep you guys posted. All right. Sounds good. Please do. Take care. Good luck. Bring back the highlight of the W. Yeah. (laughs) Brett Skalski. Good stuff. Who will? Yeah, he's not on next Monday with us because yet yeah, traveling with the girls. The tournament time, that time of year, playoffs tournament. Hey, Ian, like that everywhere I, can do, I can do Monday. <laughs> oh, serious? Oh, yeah, because it's, it's, it's actually, holiday. Actually, for, it's me, for me, I am observing. off on Monday. Yeah. Well, it's not observed. All right, Easter. I think we've got our stuff on Massey I'm maybe Monday on. afternoon, two Eastern. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that, and, and it's a big good. Monday card actually. <laughs> yep. He will have to blur his face though from undisclosed location. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am off the clock on Monday. I can do what I want. Yeah, Way it is go. legal in my state, unlike in Otani's. Yeah, <laughs> and others, but we won't mention those guys. Yeah, but fuck. So what are we liking right now? We're looking. I'm telling you right now. I'm looking at this second period, and it's going to be an explosion. Hopefully, of uh, three nothing Seattle just uh, got a power play goal. <laughs> God, you know, in Dallas and San Jose. Yep. Yeah. If you look at the numbers, shout out Chris Otto. I mean, they just scream off the charts. That if we don't hit over two goals, oh, we're on second period over 100 percent with Dallas San Jose. But I'm, I'm not talking about taking it like right now, like just but, jumping on it yeah. for not waiting around. Yeah, yeah, we'll be, uh, that'll be. Wait, let me see what both. What I'm going what? over the Dallas. The the Dallas run, by the way, now with second period overs is like 28 and two or something like that now. Uh, like, uh, that. Is it? 20, I thought it was 27, 28, 25 yeah. and 2, 93% basically. 27 and 2, 27. Two nothing, 7 and 2? Oh, okay. Yeah, 27 and 2. Yeah. Oh, 2 nothing. Last... Dallas just scored 2 nothing stars. There's our first period over. Yeah. There you go. Now we just need a shark goal with one, three minutes left. Yep. What was the last uh, Chris Otto chart you got, Ian? Was that from the 21st? Yes. Yeah, okay. we, a new one should be coming out tonight. I shout so, out to yeah. Chris Otto. Oh, yeah. Big, big, sure. big shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Ducks oh, are uh, not good at all tonight. We're not chasing Anaheim for the comeback like we did with uh, Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen, I don't think. Yep. When bad teams look bad, yep. don't play them. No. Even live. If any, if anything, come back with more on the crack. Mm-hmm. Or play the Ducks team I total think, under I or something like that. I think they're still a good team. Like I, I kind of like the Kraken. Like you know, we're talking about the, uh, they obviously have sucked lately, but like they still have a fucking deep roster in my mind. 
that's what's up still. They, yeah, they, have it, right? like, it, they can pull it out. They have the they have the fundamentals, like they have I mean, the pieces, yeah. but the motivation just ain't there right now because yeah. you know, what's the play for, right? They have a bunch but, of yeah. second and third yeah. liners. Yeah. Like, th- th- like, look at last year where everybody played above their skis and was over 20 goals. Yeah. Like, you can't expect to duplicate that. Like, that's a bad way of going into the season, and they really didn't add anything offensively to make you yeah. think that we we added a we actually added a legit score. Instead, they're kind yeah. of a bunch of lower half second tier uh, second line guys and third line scoring guys, and not like on the power play. Who do you fear for Seattle? Who's the sniper? Right. That's why I said. Who's that's the why I said they're Matty Mad- Beneers. That's why I said they're They're like a. They're just like a, everyone on the team is pretty solid, but yeah, I mean that, that that's why they should be able to beat teams like the Ducks pretty easily. But that's why they can't ever contend. Oh, buddy, elephant hands, elephant hands, dick skin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves some uh, yeah great, some good great. names to roll with in Chicago right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, second period over live. I'm in. I'm with you there, Philly Eagle Flyer. I'm going to take that now. It's a good price, what? even money. Arizona, Columbus. I was just looking period. at it. I'm I'm on that too. I'm going in. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I mean, even money now. It's you know, it's it's got to open up at some point. I remember an Arizona game was like this with Minnesota. It was like one nothing halfway through the game, and it exploded late in the second. Hoping that's the same here. Yeah, I'm going to get in on that. Yeah, it's a good price right now. Over one and a half plus 100. Columbus. I got no plus one. 115 on uh, FanDuel. Oh, very good. Yeah, that's where I'm, I'm going. And we're going to be on the second period over for Dallas. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. So, Sniffy, what is that? Sniffy Healer, 333. Yeah, second period over. Sniffy. Hey, I'm going to tell you what. I've been taking He's all about and the and aromatherapy. <laughs> loves, the essential, loves the essential oils. I've been taking that two and a half whenever I feel good on that second. Because yeah, I mean, if it's the worst, I'm going to push right. But I'll take the value on it because you're usually getting at least you know plus one thirty somewhere up over that range. Yeah. Um, because it, it's a quick one, right? Especially yeah. that happened in the Arizona game, particularly like on was it Sunday in first Dallas. Starting to be a shooting gallery on Montembeau. So Colorado's warming and warming and warming with every shift here. Montreal to score next. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the uh, half serious, half you know. Uh, no, I, 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 we're reaching that point of the game in which I, yeah. you know, like they're starting to push and they're going to start activating the D. Yeah. And I don't trust Anadin to keep the ne- to keep the next decent rush shot out. What is? Let me see what Montreal to score the next goal is. Plus one eighty. Yeah. My voice, your voice, yes. I like. I, I grabbed a little bit of, of draw in that. When it was when it was still around the two hundred mark, very small, but because I just I mean it's it's the it's still the Habs, it's still the Habs. It is. Yeah. In the name of Patrick Waugh. I'm probably about to throw some holy water or something. <laughs> By the way, to go with the Dallas twenty-seven and two second period overrun, San Jose, their opponent, like is thirteen mm-hmm. and two <laughs> in the last yeah. fifteen second period uh, over. So you get both teams so, dancing. So, so both teams score first and then second yeah. period. Somewhat conducive uh, dance partner. Yes. Yes. And so we, second period, no goals to be scored at all. What are the odds on this? Because <laughs> yeah. Matt Robinson's there. You know he's on the second period over. And this oh, he will be. Yeah. Just thrill him. Oh, this could easily be a two-two-two kind of scoreline, six nothing. Oh boy, you guys want to hear the last five second periods between Sharks and Stars? Two nothing, one one, two three, one one, and three one. Yeah, so minimum two in every game. Yep. Yeah. All right, we've reached the end of the period. By the way, there it's two nothing after one for Dallas. Right now, the live second period over at minus 200 is what I see. It's a bit high, yeah. Yeah, we're going to wait for the minus 120. But I'm right now, I'm going to take both teams to score a little and a little of the over two, which is my what I always do at, at the intermission. Small. And then I, the majority is that over one and a half live at minus 120 or better. Wait, what do you think about the six and a half? 
Oh, for the live full game total. Uh, I'm already on that for the over by Fecta. So I mean, I'm looking at it now. Price we're going to get over two. We're going to get to yeah. three. That'll be five, five points yeah. uh, going into the, the third. So, I mean, we're basically, you know, it's the same bet, essentially. But it's yeah, really I have the over full game. It's plus 105 right now, over six and a half currently. Yeah. Uh, to me, that's like the same bet. Just that's true, right? Yeah, yeah. Second period is the one we're f- I'm focusing on because of those because of the trends that we've we're seeing with uh, Dallas and San Jose for that matter. Really, really. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I, I put Dallas second period over in every parlay I've, I've been putting together. There you go. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's the least question. That's yeah. funny. That first period over was an anchor piece to a lot of my parlays, so yeah. I'm glad that came in. Now we just need the other guys to get to work. Harley and Hints. Mainly. Come on here, Columbus and Arizona, for Christ's sake. Let's get some goals here. All right, I'm going to call it a night, guys. All right, Aaron, great stuff. Adios, Congrats Aaron. on that Montreal 2-1 in the first period. Very nice once yeah. again. Yeah. Good, yeah. Good, stuff, Good luck with the rest of the night. You All too, right. my Thank friend. You know, what a win for your Bruins, too. How about that? Uh, yeah. Oh, let's see. That All right, hurt. Aaron with us. Aaron's become a good regular staple here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Save by Montembeau. Back to the point, rotated around. The shot deflected off to the corner. Montreal again. You know, it's late night with play John's uh, play-by-play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 940 to go third period. Montreal clears it, flips it out of the zone. That will go all the way down for icing. Yeah, this is yeah, Colorado's usually scored by now against most teams when they're trailing in the third. It hasn't happened yet. Well, they get the offensive zone face off to the right of Montembeau. <laughs> hey, yes. Dave, right Dave, Dave Koken yeah. had uh, Jets and they lost. And Dave has like probably the worst record of anybody as far as overtime games go. And I'm like, you could always start betting the draw. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, was, <laughs> I don't think he's going to do that. But <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not quite his thing. Every game he's thinking of betting, just take the draw on because oh, he knows yeah. in overtime, you know, you're going to lose that side in, in the overtime, but at least yeah. you got money going to overtime. So. Yeah, I've heard some oh. other places talk about, oh, and some guys are into that draw betting stuff. Like, it's kind of <laughs> funny. It's, yeah. it's like it, it's like you're into some kinky shit or something. Like, when they talk about it, I'm like, what, value? What, I, love I don't they, get it. I love when they – Especially when, when they're talking like a minus 150 best bet. Sorry, Alex. Really, when, you talk, when, when you talk ties, you're talking bondage. It's, yeah. it's just what it is. People, I, I'm convinced people are stealing our sticks sometimes, at least to a certain have degree. You, like I said, you watch NHL now. When they yeah. do the gambling segment, they say, and whenever they talk about the three-way lines, they always bungle it at some point. Like there's some, yeah. there's something they're gonna miss as far as like like actually talking about it. It's just, it's just, I it's tuned great. into Vegas St. Louis, and they were top before the, the and it was an NHL Network game last night. Yep. Whoever was in the studio there, they were talking about Jake Neighbors. They did my fucking thing with Mr. Rogers. Well, to be my neighbor, I, I've heard somebody else tell that. Neighbor, I, they sang it. Yeah, it's a penalty yeah. shot for Montreal. That's what gets uh, me paranoid. People he had watch a clear edge. Show. Instead, it'll just be the PowerPoint power play. After the timeout, eight forty-two, the official time on the ticker in the third period. Colorado chasing the game, two on Canadians. Just this wait till I start guys. doing Betcast Network. You got to say that station identification. It's the Ice Guys Betcast Network, right? I'm the number two guy behind Jarek. Yeah. And who are the guys on that network? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever shows up. Station identification. <laughs> Let's throw it to Ian Cameron and Alex mm-hmm. B. Smith for station identification. On this is the Ice Guy <laughs> Television Network. Yeah, you got to say it, WNBC. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Howie. WDRW draw. That <laughs> <laughs> well, all we want is to just break even. <laughs> That's pretty good. Your money. No, dude, we can sit here for days. I went to school for radio and TV. I tried to go into oh, business. Sweet. I was like, no. fuck math. I'm going to go over here because these guys are just making like the fake news for the campus and having oh, radio. Yeah. They're literally sitting there playing some cool ass Nirvana tracks, B side stuff, you know, because you had to do a couple of shifts in the campus right. radio. And that was pretty cool because I would tell all my boys, hey, tune in. I'll be on. You know, listen, I'll give you a shout out. Like gave a dedication to my friends, like dog who passed away. So it was always, it was really cool just, just to be in that spot. But then when I was getting out of school, like terrestrial radio was tanking. So then I had to get into technology. 
aka can't beat them join them <laughs> yeah <laughs> good old like tech everything fields. went streaming you know good old tech right. fields yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'm glad the rest of it is boring but that's it yeah. <laughs> so second period over 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 dallas san jose yes what's the over on how many over under how many matt how many beers matt's drinking oh at the game that costs oh, overpriced more beers well, they probably got to offset the cost of the tickets with the beer. So yeah. if they're high ass beers. I'm guessing maybe he's under three and a half. He's a big IPA guy. I've learned that about. Oh yeah, they're going, going, going to cost So yeah, okay, so well, he's already he, he double fisted when he sat down with this girl. He he's all two, about those like, cup holders because there's oh, plenty okay. of seats, so you got extra cup holders, so you can True. sit down there with a well, fucking twelve. Well, that's what I said to him. Don't worry about being yeah, tight for room or space. You'll be able to spread out, put your feet up. Not kick Saves anybody the in the back of the head. So, so we go on, on, go under six and a half, under five. I mean, if you're doing two, two beers a period, two. that's a pretty good rate right there. I mean, yeah. two beers. Because when do they cut you off? Isn't like ten minutes, 10 minutes in the third? third. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> most most of the uh, New York City areas uh, stop after the second intermission. I can't get a third period beer. Oh really? Oh, well, they learn uh, their course. lesson. Yeah. And we have, because and we it's the bigger metro area, they're more concerned. So that so what so for basketball, I mean no fourth quarter beers? Right. Okay. Yeah. It just gets harder to I mean at the cab stadium, yeah, you, you, they cut you off and it also just gets way harder. Everyone starts, you know. Oh, that's right, yeah, because you can't get because yeah, Colorado if a cab stadium closed that's big screwed, right? Same thing with the with the Nats. Remember that every year? Like What's that? Whenever the Nats whenever the Nats would go to like extra innings, everybody's like, Oh, well, the transit's closed. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get home and get... after midnight. <laughs> yeah. We're in these like two hour lines after the games. Like it's, it's absolutely nuts. Um, yeah. The Nats games and caps games, you go in the, yeah. the subway after the game. It's like, the, you know, massive fucking chaos, you know, thousand people in the, in the little lobby area. Just I mean, if we win, it's awesome. If we lose, it's, it's no, depressing. Yeah. It oh, was very difficult that. after you. the uh... Odysseus. Od Odysseus, oh. that's how I pronounce it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Nice. Good stuff. How much is a shark's stick at three dollars? Well, it was eleven. <laughs> eleven bucks for tonight. Yeah. Bring in a they, they couple they of actually, street cans and get in. They actually owe you part of Randy Hahn's contract. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shark's worst of all time. I don't know. Watching the Wizards might be the worst of all time. But... Yeah. Good stuff. Jordan, what's up? Hey, Good to see you. Hey, how's it going? Joining hey, me. What's up? How are you? What, first time on the BetCast. Good to first have you. First timer, yeah. No, I've been enjoying it. has been good. Awesome. How's the night going? Uh, about 50-50. We'll have to see how some of these games end. But, yeah, night's going well. A lot of great games. Yeah. yeah. This has been an insane night, and we'll recap it tomorrow on Wednesday's oh, show. Yeah. But yeah, it's been. Uh, well, I'll recap it. I should you say. But yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> now, Alex is back on that. Thir Alex is back I'll on be, Thursday, though. Thursday and Saturday will yeah. be the days I'm back. So for the, the big cards, I'll be around. You know, it's funny. Tomorrow I got an appointment at three Eastern, mm -hmm. like, and, and uh, I forgot to cancel it, and uh, that's why tomorrow it's going to be no fucking oh. around. Bing bang boom, get in and get out. It'll be a quick, sh quick ass show tomorrow. Yours truly, just me solo tomorrow. Then how is it going to be fast, Again. bing, bang, boom, and straight and to the point? That's really not your style. Two games. We will make it that way. When you got an appointment, you bust your after, ass. After, after a 14-game Tuesday yeah. night, that's going to be the long part. It's going to take him 55 minutes to review tonight's action. Let, let, alone, let alone the bets he had that's on a menu brought to you by TGI Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> no, we got to hustle, uh, hustle our bustle tomorrow. Speaking uh, of hustling and bustling, the Avalanche need to do the same thing. Under yes. six minutes to go, they killed the power play. The basketball holds the zone. <laughs> Speaking of They're power waiting. plays, They're Arizona's going. getting one. Oh, that game's still going on. Yeah. <laughs> Honor of Wah. I don't advise anybody else to do this, but just for shit and giggles, I'm taking the second period in the Dallas Stars at three and a half plus 375. Wow, to you know, just like lay it on one here on this San Jose team. Yeah, like a 3-1 second period where Dallas breaks out and then San Jose puts one in just so they can feel better and get yeah. some high C and orange slices after the game. <laughs> I assume Coachella Valley's good again this year because they're up 7-2. to two. I just saw my live. Damn, game. it was like that game was 2 nothing forever. Yeah, 7-2 now funny. for fucking Coachella. Yeah. Well, Calgary That's sucks about Wolf. Yeah. 
the Wranglers. Yeah, oh true. yeah. Who, yeah. Who the hell is behind them? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. Probably <laughs> someone that's not as good. Clearly, not even close. And Brendan yeah. Gallagher gets high sticks in the corner, and it's going to be a four-minute man advantage for the Canadians. Wow. And that's going to take it down to a minute Fuck. left. Wow. Yeah. No oh, come on, Montreal. Next goal. I have this in plus one. Eight. That's true. You know, now the Montreal next goal is live now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, doesn't Duran, he's on the penalty kill, isn't he? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Jordy? <laughs> come on. Come on. I need a boot. Yeah. Hey, the boo! Like Pierre Oud would say. Pierre Oud, the great uh, en français play by play voice of the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. I've listened to him once back yeah. when you still couldn't get Hawks home games. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> even though it's on front say, I'll listen to him because his cadence and his voice is great. He's terrific. It was, it was pretty fun watching yeah. Yeah, uh, Hawks, Hawks Habs from the UC in French. Yeah. No, you can I tell watch he, he's, he does a great job. Like I'm yeah, not, doing French job these, but I can tell he's, yeah, his cadence oh, yeah. is great. Yeah. Those are funny. Like boxing, the amount of boxing I've watched in Spanish over the years, I should know more Spanish because of it. I was literally on Spanish television working a fight and had my name like on like screen. Still don't know much. Hey, about power play goal, Arizona Coyotes. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Tied it up one one. Five minutes. We still have five minutes to get one more. We've got time minute. to get that next goal we need. Yep. Oh shit! I also took Stankov in uh, anytime goal. Yeah, we got him in a just parlay. Have yeah, we got Stank in a par- point parlay. We've got two legs. Stanky already. at 400, so I just Wyatt took him live. Why not? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have Stank. We have Rupe, Rope, courtesy of Matt Robinson. And we have the one shark we have is Granlund. Yeah, I did mine without Granlund. Yeah. Because I'm. Yeah. That might be smart at the end. Trust, he does have points in six of the last seven. That's why I put him in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. But, yeah. The, the officials are at the monitor to see the high <laughs> stick. An M contact was made. That pretty much broke his nose. I don't see what the argument is. Uh, after review, I need to turn my mic on. Nope, I have no battery. Uh, and that clearly drew like. Yes, it's going to be four minutes. <laughs> He was bleeding out of both nostrils. That's a horse that needs lacing. <laughs> yeah, nice. Who's the best cause in NHL? Uh, is it Whoa. Macaulay? Yeah, for fighting. Yeah. yeah. Fighting. Locker. Have fun with it, shit. <laughs> Still a couple – this Seattle game has been brutal, but I still have a couple shot props. For Toronto, two and a half shots on goal. My God, they have three and a half. Anaheim has eight shots. We have an official start date for the playoffs. It was going to be Monday, April 22nd. After the season ends Thursday, April 18th, it's now going to be Saturday, April 20th. They're moving it up two days. That's what it should be. Days. Damn. Two of those eight duck <laughs> shots came from Bertrano, so that's a good sign. Yeah, nice. Sure would have been nice yeah, to have Kraken just scored. And get shit done. Yeah. That's true. I, there's yeah. part of that's good and bad to that. Yeah, but no playoff hockey over the weekend would have been just kind of stupid. stupid. Yeah, it would yeah. Have. This is a this is a first time ever year, by the way. The NBA and the NHL playoffs start on the same day. Same day. Yeah. 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 Saturday, October, uh, April twenty. Although technically the NBA is already underway if you count the play in turn. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's why yeah. I don't. I don't. As a Bulls fan, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Which means the NBA and the Stanley Cup Finals will be right around the same time. But they'll, of course, make it. The- oh! Every other yeah. day. Who scored in Arizona? 4-0 for the Oh, correct. 2-1 Kelly. Coyotes! Yeah! Who scored? There we go. Who scored? Yeah! Oh, no. Who scored? That's right. Woo. Cleared down. Montreal playing kill the clock with the four man. Some kid named play. Doan. <gasps> Was it? No shit. Yeah. He did. Oh, amazing. Fuck yeah. Are you serious? He's That's amazing. right. It's Josh Doan. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. That's Called great. it. Play it back. 
Well, I just, I just, I just Shane saw and Mrs. It and Doan and the kids. Oh, oh my God. God. This is Holy like a fairy tale shit. freaking out Unbelievable. <laughs> Two wide at the go ahead goal. That's amazing. Nice. That's plus 450, motherfuckers. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's Straight amazing. out of fucking Compton. Good. Boy. Bono bets after dark. <laughs> <laughs> For those that are non-believers of the concept of there being hockey gods. Hey, I think you might need to say it, though. For those who might not be in the know, let them know what's up, Ian. What's the significance of that goal? First NHL goal for Josh Doan, son of Shane, who played his whole career with the Arizona Coyotes. It's unbelievable. That's that's, And in Arizona, in Arizona, the whole franchise. That's that's a beautiful moment. Yeah, that's a beautiful Um, moment. Was anybody actually there to see it other than his family? (laughs) <laughs> about four, four, four thousand, you know, small yeah, more than the Sharks in Dallas game, that's for sure. Makes it more personal. Arizona State kids who got lost on the way home from the library, just <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> five years from now, there'll be 40,000 people that were at that game, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> So two twenty four on the clock for the third period. As Montreal has taken the sting out of this unbelievable period with the man advantage. Just killed it, yeah. And they have called time at the ADMs. All right, boys, listen, it's uh, oh, we got a fight now. Josh the- Brown and Eric Branson. All of a sudden it's heating oh. up here with the Yotes and the uh, blue jackets. They woke up. And they right. fought before, I think, these two guys head to head. These are heavyweights, man. Yep. Yeah, big boys. Oh, they're going at it. <laughs> yep. They're going at each other here. Gabranson's got his arm caught up. You know, he's got um, a good grip on I, it. Can't throw Brown's it. pumping him right now. I, yeah. I have an extremely bold comment to make. Hmm. The Anaheim Ducks are not going to make the playoffs. I'm sorry, no. breaking news. They are dead. <laughs> They're going to be roasted and served with a fine orange jus for supper on Thursday. Mm. Good, wow. Good fight. Take the fat and make some French fries. Man, Gabranson's Absolutely. smacking him a bit too. Holy shit. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, good good tilt. That was a good tilt. Here comes Dallas two on two the other way. Feel mm. back, looking for help. Montreal has everybody back. And now they're going to rush the other way. And how the hell does Seattle score four goals, man? And after the after the they introduced to the Anaheim Ducks. Yeah. I think it's Gibson tonight too. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. I didn't. He's back. Yeah, barely. I think it was going to be him anyway. So that's that's part of the story too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, he, was, he was focused on this one. Oh yeah. He decided he, he wanted a lot to play. Of yeah. Now they now that Gibson sucks. He's definitely going to end up being a hawk in like two years. <laughs> it's an and episode. maybe he'll have a year like Maranza. <laughs> it's going to be Drew Camasso and 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 uh, fucking Gibson like, yeah. in two years. That makes sense. I, I just remember the Devils have found their answer in Capo Cockerman at Jake Allen. That's <laughs> <their tandem of laughs> the yeah. Yeah. All right, we're underway uh, in the second period with the Stars and Sharks. By the way, yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, it's getting late here in France, just past the old. Oh yeah, you're in Europe, man. Yeah, holy yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate <laughs> it, Sam. Join us next time, anytime you want. Yep. Yeah, look, next time I've been drinking all day, so maybe I'll be a little bit more sharp and poignant. But it's just been <laughs> awesome you know, being on the chat with you guys. Um, nice. A lot of my favorites out here: Rich H, John Massey, dude. Goose was in the house at one point. You know. A lot of the uh, Ice Guys legends. Ice Guys all-stars. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, oh. I need to tell you guys, you guys fucking crush it, man. There's no better sports show that I can find, oh, you know, nice. even oh, you, including ESPN it. and CBS. So, um, cheers yeah, cheers to you. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, hey? nice to what that. part of France are you in, dude? What, what, what are you calling in for? Uh, I'm, I'm in Chamonix right now. I'm on. A, I'm doing, like, a ski competition out here, actually. So. Fuck yeah. What uh, kind of ski? Slalom or freestyle or? Holy Who's shit, shot? three nothing uh, Dallas. Yeah. Wow. Big, Who's big man. We'll talk about it next time, boys. We'll talk about it next right. time. But hey, good luck, Sam. Really? Get some rest. Thank you again, Sam. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, you yeah, joining us yeah. anytime. Bonsoir. Fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Bonsoir. 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 Jason Robertson, man. Au revoir. Au revoir.
Bagging up. Jr. Bag. I'll be in the chat. I'll be in the chat. I'll be in the chat. Peace, boys. Go right there. There's one. Anybody oh, have a few more? Wait around, around for us with the life over in the period. Yeah. Anybody oh, wow. have Robertson anytime goal? No. no, no I know, I just, oh, I'll take goals Harley. anytime with Dallas. But hey, tell you what, that was so quick, dog. That was so quick. That's why I didn't fuck around with the live. I'm telling you. 14 you seconds. Know. <laughs> that's that's quick. Performance. Nobody got back from the concession stand on that one. Rob, yeah, Matt, didn't Matt, see that. Hey, Matt maybe missed that goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's no, still, getting... still, in the, still in the line for the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Shot doesn't get through. Oh my goodness. That's a great yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. Four That's seconds right, to go. Montreal holding on to the two-one lead. Oh, I've got it at ten seconds. Okay, you got it at four. Yeah, I'm watching the bonus bonus coverage on NHL tonight. Montembeau glove safe through traffic. Up oh, San Jose, three one. Over Jose second period. Ding 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 ding. ding, 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 ding both teams to score right? second period in fifty four like seconds. That. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got the <laughs> we got the Grandland point. And I have my over two, which already needs just one goal. If you look at the numbers in the Grandland? pace of play, shout out to Chris Otto. No, ninety four. Who's that? Oh. Or, I can't even see that in the back of the jersey, but Eklund, like Eklund, Root, World jerseys, Barbanov, oh Barbanov, 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 yeah, Barbanov for San Jose, yeah. Barbaran, hey, we need Bar a tune, Ian, go. Ba 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 ba. Barbaran, you know where Bar I was going? Just Beach Boys, yeah. Barbanov, earlier he's like Barbanov. Barbanov. Uh, yeah. He got Barbanov. And it's bidding and it's bidding because they're in California. Yeah, it kind of works. Dude, oh, so God. funny. You know, he got ridiculous. the score and a goal. and a player brought Barbanov. Montreal won. That's wild. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Shout out to Poe Buddy's Nerf Fruit. He called it earlier. He's like, we're going to the whole bed cast. And Montreal, in to be in. <laughs> Montreal beats Colorado. That's Shocker. Wild, man. Two to one. What was the, the line at the uh, pregame for that? It was 340 like, or so. Yeah. Was Montreal. yeah. Uh, uh, Sancho got it at plus 320. Shout out to all I didn't Montreal think they'd win the game. Believers. I liked them in the first period, and I, I had that plus 256. I didn't think they'd win the game. I thought Colorado but, would do what they usually do, roll, roll back, roar back. Kind of like those bookends of the season or the time to look for some of those long dogs, yep. right? It's 100%. Yep. Yeah, Stan Marty St. Louis at the end of the game here for the Canadians, man. They, he's and they played hard for him in return. Yep. yep. Yeah, they played for him tonight, man. Yeah. All right. I need a Harley goal, a hints assist. We just need to make some shit happen here. All right. Yeah. He's I think I'm going to start winding guy. down. I got some things to do before I head to bed. So, uh, cool. Yeah. We're going to be on right. till the uh, end of the which game? The Star uh, Sharks. Game? What do we got left here? I'm, I'll, I'll hang in till the end of the uh, Columbus game, Arizona. No, I won't, uh, not till the end of the San Jose game. I got, I've almost gotten to a half bottle of this, so I'll yeah. grind that. So I'll do one more with y'all yeah. and uh, call it a night for here. But uh, great to be back on, obviously, and, and be on yes. the, with the back cast. So I will be back, like I said, on Thursday, on Saturday, and then back on Tuesday in St. Paul on Tuesday. Power play goal Columbus, by the way, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, Alex is back Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Yeah. So Thursday and Saturday. So cheers, guys. One cheers, brother. Cheers. cheers, and I got a refill. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And, uh, I'll see you guys Come later. I'm a pop, I'm a, I'll be right back. There we go. All right, Alex. Great stuff. Later, good to be good back night. with you. We'll see you on yeah. Thursday. All right. Sounds good, y'all. See you. All right. I'm going to refill. I'll be back in just one moment. Yeah, just make sure. Yeah, okay. We got to pause in the action here. So good time to refill. Yeah, we'll hang in there with you guys until the end of the um the game between the uh, Blue Jack. Well, it's it's two two now, so that game's compelling. We'll hang in there till the end of that game for the Betcast. We'll stick around for the third period of CBJ Arizona. And you're right, Mel. Ananin was very good tonight. Yeah, it was a head scratcher seeing that they had uh, signed him two year extension. I'm like, what? Why? <laughs> so, looking at where we stand on the evening, Columbus just equalized. That's 2 2 at the second intermission in the desert. Kraken 4 0 at the second intermission over the Ducks, who haven't shown up. And 
The Sharks go into the power play. 3-1 Dallas leading in the early stages of the second period. Earlier today in a wild early window, Bruins over the Panthers with the big comeback. 4-3, wild game in the Garden. Rangers 6-5 in overtime with a very fun bouncing puck. Penguins upset the Hurricanes 4-1 despite being outshot by the Canes 39-22. In overtime, it's the Washington Capitals over the Red Wings in a big Eastern Conference playoff race battle 4-3. Devils pull the upset over the Maple Leafs 6-3. In overtime, the comeback victory for Nashville to keep their point streak alive over the Vegas Golden Knights 5-4. Oilers in overtime over the Winnipeg Jets, 4-3. Blackhawks over the Flames, 3-1. Canadiens over the Avalanche, 2-1 in Denver, which is where we stand on tonight's loaded 12-game card. Two games tomorrow night, both in the Eastern Conference. Looking at Ottawa at Buffalo in a game that eh, really lacks in postseason drama. And the big one, Bruins' second game of the back-to-back. Tampa Bay coming back from the West Coast. At a 7.30 national broadcast in the United States on TNT. Yeah, nobody from the West plays tomorrow. Holy oh, shit. Sharks, yeah. did they score again? They did. Holy fuck. 3-2. There's been three goals in the first, like, two and a half minutes of this two second minutes. period here. Two minutes. First, first two exactly. minutes. Wow. That's crazy. And you say you this is see this is the response Eklund with the power play goal from yep. Portolo and Grantland. He didn't even get all of it. It was like a half speeder. He partially fanned on it, and it threw Wedgewood off. Start starting to see some cracks in the old wedge wall tonight. You yeah, the wedge wall is uh, crumbling. The wedge wall needs some uh, <laughs> needs some uh, construction. Spackle. Yeah, the amount of the amount of like nonsense online about. Uh, Zach Hyman scoring 50 goals. Oh, I, I, I oh, can't my. deal with that. It's ridiculous. It's the whole, who cares? Stop talking about it. It's yeah. appreciate it. Don't say, oh, he scored this because I he's know. playing with this or he's playing because he's something about a rich family. I don't know. Some yeah. crazy ass stuff there. Just enjoy and celebrate. He scored 50 goals. It's hard to do. I don't care who you're playing with. 51 after tonight, too. 51, yeah. I'm I counting, mean, yeah. So he what, could hit 60 by the end of the year. Yep. Sure. Good job. And McDavid with what uh three assists again? Like I love taking his two assists. I think tonight it was plus one seventy five. Yeah, it was good. That was a good buy. Pairing Hyman's goal with uh McDavid's assist is just like you want gravy on your fries? Yes, please. Um, yeah. can I can I just point out that the first team with an X next to the NHL.com on the standings mm -hmm. page, the New York Rangers, who clinched a spot in the postseason tonight with their victory in overtime over the Flyers. Yep. I really didn't want it to be Vancouver last night because just like I don't want anything like I don't want to stand out of the crowd. Just let's like fly under the radar a little bit here. Oh, yeah, let's, let's fly under the, the radar with 100 points. Oh, yeah, that's going to happen. Sure. <laughs> well, they no, got another we don't have 100 points yet. Yeah, we, we, we just don't want to be first. You are in the Pacific. Just fly under the radar. Sure, that's how this is going to work. Who cares if Nashville has as many points as you in the end? By the end of the season, you're still going to be first in the Pacific. Yeah, and nobody can take that away from us. And we weren't even supposed to make the playoffs. So right under the going. radar. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. No, I mean, like if we had clinched last night, then we're the first team to get a hundred points. We're the first team to clinch going into the playoffs. It's just. It's a tension we don't need. No. Oh, my God. Grow a spine. That's not going to be the reason the Canucks lose. Just like the Rangers being over 100 points is not going to be the reason they lose in the postseason. No, right. but they're all just little pieces of the formula. Shove the formula. you got to take advantage of all the chances that you have in the postseason. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like our odds last night. and. God, I, well, I, I, I bet the Kings just No, I, I lean Kings. I lean, I had a small bet on the Kings last night. Yeah, the second goal for San Jose, did Granlin, was Granlin involved? Granlin's, no. uh, Granlin's second, second assist, isn't he? Oh, he did. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah he did. All Granlin's, right, there's our Granlin point. So Granlin's out of the way. All we need is uh, hints, hints and stank. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And we got it. Point parlay. Um, That'd be a big hit. 
Oh, I'll so, but that, that being said, I really, really, really like Avalanche first period puck line on Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> Was I there think they coming out slow on Thursday? Was there no assist on the Robertson goal? They don't have no. any marks here. No, it was unassisted. Unassisted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ben is a point. Johnston's got a point, and we've got Granland home. Three down, two to go, and the two we need are Rope and Logan Stankoven. Okay. Do they play on the same line? Rope is with Robertson, J. Rob and Pavelski. And then right. we've got Stank Oven with Ben and Johnston. Okay. We might need we might need two goals to hit it, but unless they get the way mixed Pete up. Gabor has these just... lines right now is I think perfect. I think he, if he keeps this three top lines together, that's a pretty nice nine he's got there. Who are you referencing? Oh, with the what the uh, nine? Yeah, the nine. Oh, it's uh, Robertson with uh, Pavelski Dallas. and Rope. Yeah. Yep, Dallas. And yeah. then you've got Duchesne, Sagan, and Marchment. And then you've got Ben with Stanko, the kids. Ben and the yeah. the old man yeah. and the kids. Ben <laughs> Stankoven and uh, Johnston. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's just, you can just roll those lines, you know. Yeah, yeah it's a really good trio. Pretty yeah. strong lines. Yep. Yeah, they've got a a solid line. Did did they they didn't dress Sagan today? Did he sat? Didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, a solid line lineup. I think they could could do something in the playoffs. It is kind of crazy. I have the over on this game too, and it's we already have five goals. I mean, I got the over six. I'm pretty certain we're gonna hit that at this point. It's a pretty safe. So far, but, so good. I took the puck line though on Dallas. The fact that San Jose is kind of keeping it close has me a bit nervous, but hopefully San Jose night. folds like a cheap suit in the third. <laughs> so we've already cashed uh, all the second period bets have cashed already. Dallas, San Jose. Yep. So they've left nothing on the bone here. Bailey likes the Oats money line. I um I, I did when they were down to, uh, when they were down one nothing, but minus one forty. I don't love. And I've got I've got their team total pre game over three and a half Arizona. So I feel like just sticking with that for now. I got them at money line one fifty five pre game. Yeah, which is not bad. I mean, it's. I, it's I, tied, I agree, right? Bailey. I like I like the Oats to win this game. I do. I, I think they find a way to win it. I just don't love the price right now. And I've got the team total already. So if if for anyone that's just joining us, because I know we got a shit ton of viewers still with us. Like I see six hundred sixty. Shout out to the fucking chat. Absolutely. No if you up? don't have um, Arizona pregame in any form, I I don't mind taking them at minus one forty. The price isn't great, but. It's, it's still better than it was pregame because Arizona was laying like minus 160. Yeah, I got them at 155, but most books were at 160 yep. ish pregame. Yep. Matt Robinson getting a little nervous now. Just a little. I'm just getting his money's yeah. worth. Yeah, I now know. we got a little fight breaking out. Ty Delandria and Coonan. Yeah, he's fought before Luke Cunnan and. Uh, Delandria yeah. got the takedown yeah. to a little off balance. Yeah. Hey, if you're watching this though and you're not yeah. subscribed, you should be because at yes. the very least you're going to get a heads up on the next time the BetCast is. So that doesn't mean anything. Just just YouTube subscribe. You know what that all those other channels what they all say. But that's right. Hit yeah. it up. You know because uh, if you're watching, and you're not subscribed. You're missing out. And every once in a while, you might get some random play-by-play -play on games that are happening during a back match. From the guy you just yeah. heard. Yeah. yeah. Bonus. Yeah. Ian, did you take uh, Ty, Ty Delandria for an I did to get goal? a goal. Just a small yeah. because a shot because he moved up to the Sagan spot with uh, yeah. Duchesne and with um, Marchment. Yeah. Good till. Yeah, I mean, Arizona and regulation is not bad. Someone asking about that. Arizona and regulation. I think if you're looking for value, take that That's instead of minus 140. Arizona can win in regulation. if you if I think they could. I think it's possible. Plus 145, definitely better. Who's in that? Vimelka or Ingram? Yeah. 
I'm in. Vimalka. Who's in that for Arizona? Vimalka? Vimalka, yep. Yeah. He's, he's been all right the last couple starts. He's been a little bit better lately. Carter Hutton. Last 10, he kind of regressed to his potential, right? Like, or yeah. I would say um, improved in the positive yeah. regression. Yep, I agree. I was thinking of third period both teams to score in that game, but plus 125 is not enough for that. What would tickle your fancy, John? <laughs> I'll say this right now, you guys. I'm already on over three and a half for Arizona's team total, so I'm not betting this. But their team total is over one and a half plus 150 in the third period. I just saw that plus 160 on FanDuel. Yep. That's not, uh, that, that would be probably the best option for anything Arizona, quite honestly. Certainly value-wise, it would be. Plus 150, yeah. Yep. Empty net. I can't believe. All you need is get them ahead three two, and you're yeah. you're in looking. Yeah. You're smiling. You're looking oh, is that is that all I need? <laughs> well, that's a good start. Get a, a good good start. Although you could have the empty nets that go awry. I get it, but you could hit a post like Seth Jarvis, and you could have any time goal on Seth Jarvis, and you know, just kind of stare as the puck bashes off of the post. I thought Seth Jarvis was going to cry. Oh, let let's be entertained. I'm going to go over two and a half third period total goals for Columbus Zona. There we go. John Massey's in at uh, a pretty good price there, plus um, one thirty is what I see right now. Yeah, I see plus one twenty five. Yeah, I'm, gonna jump in. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to jump into another book of mine. Um. That is a bet cast. It is. This is the last game we're staying on the air for for the duration. So might as well. I don't. I don't know. I can't wait for San Jose to tie this game up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd laugh so much if I hear from Matt. To, uh, believe it or not, that we sign off after the Arizona game, and he tries to join the betcast for the third period of this game, <laughs> and we're gone. <laughs> that would be funny. We we would hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> Dallas Stars total goals five and a half. And. Yeah, no. Part of me thinks that the final score is going to be 5-2. So the Sharks are plus 1,000 to win in regulation. It's hysterical. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we're climbing up the ladder again with the followers on the uh, new Twitter account for me. Yeah, we've hit. We've finally hit the thousand mark. Yeah. What did you have before? Uh, on the old account that's now suspended. We got up to I think twenty four thousand on there. Yeah. Ian, who are you liking in in uh, the Sweet Sixteen? That's it's just a. Uh, I feel like Clemson of the two underdogs is going to run out of steam against Arizona. I think Arizona will. And that's a very good close to pro home proximity game for Arizona as well. Dallas goal. Cool. Four two stars. Yep. You got it. What's happened to Mac Blackwood tonight? Blackwood shitting in the dead of night. <laughs> good to be able to sing that again. Yeah. Ooh. The Benster. Yeah. yeah, a little Ben, just a flicker. A, a, a Benny and the <laughs> Look at star. Yeah. Matt Robin in the chat. In the chat here, yeah. <laughs> Two nice. points for Ben. Three hey, sheets. That towards the parlay. Ian yeah. is out. Put Probably lock six one of the spots in, into the night. Matt is in our chat here, claim proclaiming the Ben goal. Hey, I, I need two that points one, now for Ben. And two for hey. Wyatt. Yeah. There goes my three and a half at plus three eighty seven. I took the second period of over three and a half. All right, good stuff. Keep it rolling there. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that was a degenerate, but it was a good, <laughs> good reach. There's some. This is turning into the mom's trip game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just saying. I thought there was the possibility that could happen. He just batted that out of the air. Just yeah, swung yeah. at it. Backhand style. Yep. Good at hand-eye coordination. There we go. I'm telling you what, the old man is fucking rejuvenated. He's stoked. He's got energy. You know, again, playing with those kids, Stank and and uh, 
Wyatt? I, Matt, I love the, It's more affordable for Matt Robinson to try to purchase six tickets than six Uh-oh. beers at this game. San Jose goal. Oh, San Jose right back. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Unreal. 4 3. Wedge wall, the wedge half. wall is crumbling. The wedge wall has de- 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 been defaced. Yeah. Pond hockey. Yep. Let's go. Dallas is coming back to last goal win. Comp. This is going to be 7 6 again, like the fucking last game. I wasn't so sure Clean that would be the case. Now that fucker scores. Yeah, took a, shot with him a couple games ago in the first line. I, I gave up on him. He's been there for like five games to jack shit, and now he scores. Yep. Yeah, just to rub it in as salt and yep. blue. Yeah, we're going to have 7 6 again like the other night. And that might just be the end of the second period. Remember that game, Ian, where uh, the total dropped to five and a half? Or... Yep. <laughs> well, the over by Fecta is easy as it gets in that Stars game. Yep. Matt. Matt is getting himself for getting himself ready for participating in the bubble hockey. Okay, so Matt Robinson says thanks, Ice X, love you. Okay, now we know he's been drinking. Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's getting rid of getting ready for the second intermission yeah. bubble hockey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got about a hundred tickets of that fifty fifty lottery. He's about to cash yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, Landon, insane call up from uh, on the over. There you go. Wait, the sniffy healer. Yeah, calling it degenerate. It's Thanks, degenerate sniffy. Hit. Yeah, <laughs> sniff the uh, the green. Yeah, I know. Too bad it was just a little little baby bit. All right. So again, Arizona. I'm on the team total pregame, but if you're not on that, if you're not on Arizona in any form before the game. I would say right now, look at Arizona team total over one and a half at plus money in the third, or the maybe in regulation for a little more bang for your buck plus one. Wyatt Johnson five three. Holy shit, five three now stars. Yeah, there I just saw it. Yeah, this game's crazy. This is gonna be. It's this might even shatter the seven six game the other night. Like Dallas is yeah. kind of not playing good defense. I, but- I, I, I gotta say yeah, they still got they still got a little bit to catch up to the Flyers and Rangers yeah. shit show that happened in that third period. That puck was bouncing off everything. Yeah. There wasn't a clean goal. Uh Konechny's goal was clean. Uh, but that came off VC track yeah. from an impossible angle. Is that a bin assist? Yep. Sheesh. Multi point night, Ben. Right? With all the, the goals go. Dallas is scoring and the, the way the TV cameras often show the road fans when the road team scores a goal, does Matt Robinson yeah. get base time tonight? We'll have to see. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Robinson I mean, need to get a picture of a shark either mascot. Yeah. It's going to work out that his tickets that. cost a buck a goal. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least he's getting a game, you know? I mean, a little back. Oh, it's a Matt Robinson of- special. I love it. There this is. is like spring league pass, hockey pass, my kid had last night. He's the getting the game for it. This game's been uh, off the rails, yeah. There's been a fight, too. Stankoven needs a goal. I want to do that Stanky leg. Kid you not, guys, I was at the game versus the Islanders when Stanky got his first goal. He had a multi-point night. And mm-hmm. after he scored, they played that Stanky leg song. And if y'all don't know it, stanky you're leg, missing yeah. out. Do that yeah. Stanky leg. That stanky yeah. leg, right? That. Yeah. And they yeah. play that, and oh my gosh, I, I about fell out of my seat. It's like yeah. I couldn't do it, especially being in, in Dallas. Like that's the kind of uh, that's kind of rap rap track we begin. Down that's to. three freaking points here for Ben and uh, or for Ben and uh, Johnston tonight. Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Wow, and this is this is taking Dallas second period overs to the next level. This is six goals now. Yeah, in this second period. That's bonkers. Wow, way to go. Whoever has Wyatt two plus goals. Yep. Shit. Well, we were looking for that hat trick. Who was going to get that hat trick tonight? And I think we know who it's going to be now. Yep. It's, it could be Wyatt time. Yep. I'm thinking. That kid's been amazing for Dallas. He really is. To be this good this quickly. Like, he didn't even waste time becoming pretty good. 
for a guy that's not like a Bedard type of height. You know, at the top. Yeah, the the, curve, the hockey yeah. stick curve is yeah, yeah his yeah. accelerated. Like you expect, like the top of the draft board, your first overall, second overall picks to be, you know, pretty good, pretty quick. This is not a guy that was drafted in that area quite, and he's been this good this fast for Dallas, and he keeps getting better. It's been very impressive. Now I know he's still a first round pick, but we're talking twenty third overall. And for him to still get, you know, this quickly become such an impact player and such a force. Been very impressed. Yeah, you could tell he really pushes the pace on those lines. And I think as much as he brings to it, he learns from the players around him. Yeah. Dave H in the chat saying why it reminds him of a young Braden Point, which I would, yeah. you know, I, I would totally agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Big game player. Well, it was also my nickname in middle school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guy from bc that uh the connects just ignored or just didn't really seriously consider but he was right there well, I forget who bloomers we, you could say kind of would you say that i forget who we put instead of him but it was, it was a bad mistake yeah it's just it's, it's such an early you know it's such a grind with hockey and the development leagues it feels like yeah, you don't. You're not going to have. You know, what would you say the chances of a Connor Bedard like one in every 10, 15 years? Yeah, but he he was forty seventh overall, and yeah. he's obviously looks like he should have been a first round pick. Yeah. And when you know those players are playing in your province, you you should have a a curve. Uh, you should be ahead of the curve in terms of knowing about him. Yeah, yeah, I got that one down low in the scouting ahead of time. You have boots yeah. on the ground already. You know, having your backyard covered better than anybody else. Gentlemen, I have to go to work, so I'm going to leave you guys now. Um, oh, okay, you're right. Late night. Show, you're right. Not show. Getting into the late night. night out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgo forgo my uh, nap tonight for. Uh, this entertainment and wouldn't want what time to do you get off rich what time do you get off uh it'll be 6 a.m eastern when i finish yeah 3 what's your favorite thing to do when you get off we're open until like three do you like yeah. to go eat or you go to grocery shopping or you just go to sleep no, what do you grab, like to do? grab some pizza or something after work okay. come home smoke yeah. a joint be in bed by four <laughs> that's a good end of the night. watch the ice guys at 11 there we go <laughs> yeah. hell yeah Nice. Good stuff, right, yeah. everyone. Always appreciate it. You're one of our favorites. Have a good shift. Yeah. Well, I appreciate yeah, that. Man. See you. Good night, guys. Work. See you, man. There he is, Rich H, uh, with us. Yep. One I don't know favorites. how I feel about asking such personal questions about <laughs> what do you do when you get off to Rich H. I, yeah. I think that's. <laughs> hey, this is coming from I the think, man. Think... This is the time to activate the D. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that earlier from John Massey. Well, you know, I'm the one who put the double D's in St. Patty's. You got to put in the work, you know, after the get off part. It's, also just, it's awkward. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. What do you do when you get off work? Work is a very important word to add there. Yes. I agree. What other thing did you think I was getting off from work <laughs> for? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Late night hours, your mind rolls into the gutter. And with that in mind, uh, our um, Arizona look might be going into the gutter here. It's uh, nothing yet there. 2-2. Two, two. Five minutes into the st Still early, though, actually, in the third period. There we go. Frank they've, Petrano they've, got his shot prop. Three shots on goal. At least to get something. Frank, game. Good good goal. Goal. Yep. Get game. Jeez. <laughs> I can't believe it, but the under is actually still like open for me in this Seattle game. Like, yeah. like I picked under six. Like I think I can at least guarantee a push at this point. Yeah, I don't see how there's going to be two more goals based on the way this has been flowing. I need one more Jared McCann shot though. Yeah, and then this tur turns this game around for me big time.
Seattle shut I man Anaheim. God. They're so bad, man. They cannot score. They only have 10 shots on goal, Anaheim, and yet, what, three of them from Vitrano? Wow. Yeah, I mean, Vitrano's got 30% of their shots. Yep. Crazy. Well, he's a high-volume shooter. That, that yeah. is true. So that's not all that shocking. Yeah. yeah. I have work at 8 a.m. So be- They're just not a very good team right now, this uh, Anaheim group. No, it's been... <laughs> You, you could have just got it. They're just not a very good team, and you still would yeah. be playing. You didn't need to. Unlike work, the last part wasn't necessary for this game. <laughs> Group playing with Vetrano in Western Mass. Where in Western Mass? Springfield? See? Springfield. Just got to know the places where they make their guns. Oh. Arizona almost had a goal there. Yeah, they're coming close. They've had some uh, pressure, but nothing yet. They could def- This one could definitely go to overtime, I think. Doesn't seem like either of them want to take it. They remember they still want to get the last pick. Yeah. The first pick. A- last pick. Sure, that's what they want. Clearly, I just need to find a bet somewhere. But I don't see it with these games. This is a great slate of games, though. Like it, I mean, there was a there was a couple stinkers in here at the end of the night. But to be honest, there's still there's still stuff going on here. Like, yep. No, it's been uh, even the late games. Like none of these teams outside of uh, Dallas have a snowball's chance in hell of the playoffs, and yet yeah. they've still been decently entertaining, except Anaheim-Seattle. That's been a... I, I was about to say, Anaheim, who also doesn't have a sniff of making the playoffs, yeah. um, has really shown that tonight. Yeah. Oh, there you go. B. Rocco in our chat. You, I grew up playing with Frank the Tank Vitron of Western Massachusetts. Yeah, he's a Massachusetts boy, yeah. Nice. Yeah, good stuff. Jimmy Murphy, yeah. By Springfield, yeah. Good storyline tonight too with Don's Don's kid. I mean, who would have ever thought you'd be interested in watching a Columbus Blue Jackets against Arizona Coyotes game? No, no I'm doubt. still not interested in watching that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Matt Robinson coming into the chat to fire shots at this is Bailey. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we say hello to Andy. Keep, we have to keep this going. Uh as long as Matt Robinson's at this game watching this pond hockey, you know? Yeah. As they go back and forth, Shark Tank. Yeah, Matt's got to be getting the whiskey and Coke by now. He's getting old-fashioned. Yeah. He's probably. There it is. Ah, ba- Bailey's taking it uh, like a sp- good sport. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I take it all the time because... I that, that, sometimes, I I, it's, it's easy to think how that can happen. Like you, you're ready, you're psyched, you're seeing your team play live, and even against a bad team like San Jose, you're worried they completely shit the bed, and you know they disappoint you and they let you down. I always play my against my team if I'm going in person. Oh yeah, you never trust really? the Rangers. To I never trust never, the Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> and this is despite the fact I will say that my record, I have seen 13 Rangers Flyers games in person, and I am 13 of them. I have never seen the Rangers lose to the Flyers. Wow. Their overtime record was sick compared to the Flyers today. Went to like seven and one and Flyers like five and six or something, like uh in one goal games overtime. I took a small interest in the Rangers to win that one, so it was nice to see Fox bury that wrist shot. I'd I'd agree and I never you know, I don't mind Tortorella and he he was huge for the Rangers because he gave a rudderless organization direction. Yeah. Um, when they had none. forever grateful to Torts for his time in New York. I am. I, I really am. Yeah. So yeah, I know Brandon Dubinsky is not, but I am. Um, <laughs> Brandon Dubinsky has got to shut the fuck up and learn to bury a grudge. Come on. Yeah. I get or not. <laughs> but, but one of the reasons that Dubinsky had any career as a player was because of Torts. Exactly. Where is his career without the sports game? 
Yeah. But but yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I agree. I mean, what was he before him? Yeah. Did, did, did he ever come across that he was going to be a National Hockey League player? No. Like... Torts opened doors for him, gave him chances, gave him spots up the lineup, too. He was top six forward much of his ta- time together with John. Yeah, with uh, Callahan and Dubinsky together. Yeah, and Callahan I mean, Auto Parts, yeah. yeah. And, and I, do, I mean, Dubinsky <laughs> did have a great career as uh, just a complete... Could put a warranty on a box of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Brandon Dubinsky was the official Sidney Crosby just absolute pest yeah what do you what guys do you think, think about like, the players looking at the ipad after the shift you know like does it help? i, I want to know does this legitimately make you a better player and make you fuck up less the next time out there if so yes the answer, an keep doing it. if not i'd prefer just like mentally decompress and just get ready for your next shift yeah see i i like it if i'm a scorer no, because if if I can get any extra information, especially early in the game, about what a keeper is doing uh, and what they're showing off, I'd like to see that earlier rather than later. But ultimately, you just got to let instinct take over. Yeah. Does Torts let let them have? I've you know what they say: them. paralysis by uh, uh, paralysis by analysis. By over analysis, yeah. 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 Sometimes you load load these players with, hey, this is what you did on that last shift. You fucked up, and they show the iPad. Yeah. You know, it can be a detriment. I think if, if, if you're a competitor, than... you're going to use that advantage every bet you yeah. can, right? That's information that you can use and put yeah. it into your sequence next time pattern. Like, hey, okay, he went more, you're right, to John's yeah. point. And the reason I ask, I see Robo. Robo's a big guy. He's a big guy that you do that every time. He looks at it, and for better or worse, like it, it's there. It's available. I would probably use it too and be putting my bets in for the over. <laughs> yeah it's a sign it's a sign of the time it's it's a sign of the times it's a sign of the times that uh you know i'm getting old when i'm saying back in my day when a player made a mistake there was no ipad to show him the fuck up it was just you get chewed out by the coach chewed out by the manager sit down and think about it or or you had to wait for film the next day yeah Ooh, or the yeah. next day to dissect it all yeah you get railed in film day yeah just stop your crying. It's the sign of the time. Anywho. Oh, that's the uh, that's the newer. That's not the sign of the time song I think of when it's. When I, I, I I know. <laughs> Come so, on, Petula Clark. Let's go. Let's get with the program here. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't there also "Sign of the Times" by uh, Prince? And it might have been. Yep. Yeah. Who the hell knows Harry Styles when you can know Petula Clark in this day and age? But yeah, that's not the way it works. Yeah. Well, I always like to go downtown. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and however, despite Petula's advice, yeah, uh, I fell asleep on the subway often. <laughs> it's true. Well done, John Massey. Well done. Yeah. That's like the record of most Petula Clark references in like a 10 second span right there. Yeah. I think that's about all I have. Yeah. I can, I can do better with Dusty Springfield. Yeah. And I think her husband actually like just died, which is why it was kind of current for me. Petula Clark. No. Because she's still alive. RIP. She's got. She's got to be ninety. And what's her name? The one that they, they they made a big deal of it. It went up the charts. The, some old female singer from the fifties, sixties, rocking around the Brenda Lee. That's it. She's yeah. still alive. Actually, she got a lot of interviews. Actually, about the fact, hey, you're rocking around the Christmas trees, like hit number one again, like fifty years, six, seventy years later. Yeah. <laughs> Home Alone brought that song back, and then it had yeah. a resurgence whenever COVID came around. I think during yeah. Christmas. Yeah, People, TikTok trends, right? Making their own little rocking around, blah blah the blah. Christmas mystery, yeah. There you go. It's definitely the most famous rendition, I think, to this day of that song. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She had another song. Sorry, Brenda Lee. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm saying that was that their song. Was it Sorry? I'm sorry. I 
I'm sorry. No, no it's not Connie Francis. About. Might have been Connie. That's I don't Connie know. Francis. I think. Arizona yeah. scores. There we go. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, so Coyotes a, take the lead. Did she want to? Did she do? I want to be wanted. I think it's Michelli is going to get credit for it. Yeah, that's who they got listed. How much was that? ATG Prop. Don again. It's fucking shot Josh Doan again. That's Michelli's second goal of the game. I wonder what he was rated at for two plus goals. <laughs> sure, it was wild. Although they might look at it for a high stick. No, I think that's a good goal. I think Doan had an assist on that. Or was it Doan that got the goal? Did Doan no, tip that's it? That's going to count. That was below the crossbar. <laughs> it is Josh Doan. Unbelievable. Doan, Doan two, two plus goals. I wonder, does anybody know what that was pregame? I wasn't that two? greedy. I wasn't that gutsy. I said, I'll uh, take the one. Thank you very much. That must have been whatever the number of that was wow. pregame. I'm sure it was big. Unreal. Yeah, that's going to count, too. Yeah, it's going to count. It's below the bar. I don't see yeah. any reason why. All right, here we go. Eight minutes to go here. And we got the team total as well with Arizona. Yeah. What a night the, for this kid. I got wow. the over six. I mean, I think we hit it with an empty net to push. I don't know. Or Columbus ties it. We win in overtime. I think yeah, I got she, they, oh, oh, he's at the game, Poe, but he's nervous. They've been showing him like 10 times, at least on the Arizona broadcast. They've been showing him every Yeah. Yeah, some guy, some guy in Doan's uh, <laughs> box just took his shirt off. He's like super jacked. I just saw it a little earlier. I, I have no idea who that fucking guy was either. No, I know, but he's <laughs> just like, guy rips his shirt off and he's just, just, he's trying to do Jason Kelsey impression yeah. in the football playoffs. Yeah. Hey, if I had abs like that, I take my shirt off too. Fuck. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't see him, that. but no. Jordan, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, he was he was jacked. I take my shirt off. It's in decent exposure, so I avoid it. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> school zone just goes all off. Bananas. What a night for for Doan, man. What a night. There we go. See, there's nothing to look at there. There you go. We'll, we'll give you a little glimpse right there. There's absolutely dick all to look at there. At that. So there you go. There's your two second little peek into the insides of yours truly, and yeah. <laughs> And we just and we just and we just lost the four female viewers that we had on the stream. I'm a, I apologize. Oh come on, <laughs> four. We had one earlier, and it was Melissa. There we go. Well, you you had one that came on. Of course, I would I never do that in front of Melissa. Never. Well, you got like Kristen. You got you got a, you got a few more. No, than, I, there, there were definitely more than more one. No, we treat the ladies that are with respect that are on the stream, not the ones. That oh, are, yeah. And then the chat that might be lurking. <laughs> Yeah, the lurker. Come on. Yeah. Don't you be just lurking. blinded them. We, we, yeah. I, I would just like to say that we respect all, yeah. all people that come on the stream yeah. and that are in the chat, other than Ice X, Cheshire Cat, <laughs> Nobody's Nervous, <laughs> Mrs. Bailey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Man's got a list. He's got a clipboard. I'm taking notes. Oh, yeah, that's a good Brenda Lee song. Sweet nothings. Mm, sweet nothings. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd love a Keller empty net goal assist from Schmaltz to seal this game yeah. in Arizona. That would be just beautiful. So the Stars and the Sharks got through the rest of the second period without any more goals. 5-3. Yeah. What do we yeah. think is going to happen in the, that third period? Yes. I don't I have no idea. I should have come in the, at the end at the first intermission when I said it, I should have said the ducks are gonna get shut out. Because I said it aloud, I should have just bloody bet it. He has. They're just saying on the coyotes broadcast, it's true. He's been the best player tonight for them up front, Doan. Hundred percent. I mean, Michelle's been pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I think they're going to play him the rest of the year now. And like, two goals. Like, I mean, why? They got to keep him to... in the lineup. They're not playing for anything, really, other yeah. than contracts. And getting fans in the building so they actually get an arena deal. 
There's that too. Yeah. <laughs> like they should actually care about like winning some games. I mean, if they want to remain there, yeah, I they think they might end up. In, they might end up in Salt Lake City. Uh, I don't know if they're going to stay in Arizona. The Delta Center, wonderful. Salt Lake City's a hot market, man. I think it'd be good to have a hockey team there. I can't. I can't venture into a place with no caffeine. It's just not how I roll. This is definitely one of those, you know, moments that are, this will be go go down in there. Not, not that the Arizona Coyote history has a lot of great moments to choose from, but it will go down as one of the great moments in the franchise. Yeah. Come on, they had all those great moments in Winnipeg before they moved to the desert. Remember that one time that Winnipeg. Actually, no, I got nothing. Never mind. At band camp. <laughs> wow, Matt Robinson throwing his. How, is that that how you talk about your own? player from your own beloved team you just say it right away after one game and two and a half periods don't better than stank <laughs> yeah well, stank scores in the third you got to be patient with that kind of statement matt stank stanky's Sorry, gonna score and i'm gonna put on stanky leg and ian's gonna fucking take his shirt off <laughs> no 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 that's not happening i gave you the, I, I gave you the peak ice early, guys after it. dark yeah that's it Hey, I we really I were were six, you know, uh, let's see, see that number six seventy one. All six seventy one will disappear if I do that. So now, yeah, now, yeah. Isaac is a ta- He drives a taxi. I told him he should do some taxi cab confession shit. Just I love this the stat camo. that they put up on this Arizona game. They're like first yeah. player uh, in Arizona Coyotes history to score two plus goals in their debut. Which how cute they have history. That's that's a stat. Yeah, that do a bad one. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know if that's necessarily like yeah. It's not much history there yeah. to say that that's any. Uh, and again, but but yeah. it's a, it is a special night. It's something. Phenomenal. It's very special. Yeah, that tells you how many bad great moments there have been in this franchise. That this is like one of the great moments. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I had played as many games as Doan played in the league, and yeah. I was able to sit in a box and watch my son. Yeah. Scored two goals in his, his debut in the NHL. I mean, you'd be old. Oh, I'd be old, but man, that's like that's a dad's dream. Yeah, man, it is absolutely. Dude, it's a joy just to see him score on a Tuesday night in a ten new game. It's meaningless, and I'm over there like about to fucking fall out because he has a couple shots on goal. But it's I can imagine being on that stage because they put so much time in too. You know, and all the guys know in the chat and Matt Rob, they all know they play hockey so much. Hockey moms and dads, right? Like just to see them come to like fruition, everything they put in, and boom, you know, it's just, it's got to be one of those for surreal moments, you know? It'd be better if it was at the Gila Re- River Arena instead of the Mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Nobody has a bad thing to say, by the way, about Shane Doan. That's the yeah. that's the like nobody no, universally respected, universally loved, universally appreciated. Yeah. But his breath stinks. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Do you have Massive proof that? Kiss him. Do you have proof that he doesn't have Tic Tacs in his house or mansion or <laughs> breath mints or anything like that? Just because you have them doesn't mean you use them. <laughs> Give me the proof. Other than that, he's a hey, They can't really help some yeah. people either. If they got some Stankhoven breath, yeah. you can't help them, dog. No mints are going to help them. Yeah. They need some dental therapy. Hmm. That means your teeth are real. Rotten. That's what it means. Have you ever had a really good friend that you like their breath like stinks so bad and they're close yeah. talkers? So you're like, fuck, man. Why do you gotta be so close? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the Seinfeld. There was a Seinfeld episode about it. But the close talker. Hey, there yeah. we go. <laughs> uh oh. Two coyotes. They add to the lead. Over bangs. So it yep. took that five and a half live, right? Who got uh, the goal? The team total. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got yep. the. I'm on the over now. I just need to get another goal, and I'm. This is what Columbus does. You know, third periods have been a fucking just. just yeah, Schmaltz for the assist. Schultz, Schultz Could I get one more assist. goal? Could I get an empty netter? 
hitting the prop with Schmaltz. Beauty. Tricky Nicky Ballstead, as Don Cherry would say there, getting the tricky, goal there. Tricky Nicky. Seeing yeah. all green in the accounts is good. About to play, have a little play money here in the third period, boys, in this Dallas Stars game. I'm going to have some fun now. Let me see what I like here. You can save it for tomorrow, and you don't have to spend it. No, all. no, no. no. Well, I won't spend it all, but, you know, just a little couple of pieces. <laughs> He wants to be on. He wants to be on the bedcast when Matt Robinson checks in during the third period. Yeah. When he is going, Played into the keep it going. There's, there's, there's going to be, a, you know, it's, it's appropriate for the stars to stay up at night. No, we sure do. Nick That's Duke's after the Madonna statue. You know, he's been good. Yeah. Yeah, I hit, I hit him on a prop actually yeah. when two nights ago. Yeah. Bukestead. Yeah. No, he's, he's been consistent. No doubt. Yeah. I was looking at him actually tonight, and I didn't. I didn't play him. I played Schmaltz assist. The payout on that was a little better. No. So I need one more goal in these final five minutes, and the Blue Jackets have a power play. So, all right, power chance. play going to the final go. TV timeout. We'll hit the over. No. Oh, four, by the way, here final. we go. Uh, everyone knows that when it comes to the former Coyote, uh, Oliver Ekman Larson. I've always, uh, I've often called him Oliver. <laughs> Loss him, toss him. And that is in reference to Don Cherry on this particular episode of Coach's Corner right here. Check this out. <laughs> we'll see. He, this guy, Nick Turtle, had just had five goals. He'd been, he's been pulled. And here's Oliver Loss and toss him. I think that's pretty good. I mean, I really, I really do believe that. Two threes. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Law. You know what he's does? He's got the fucking rock 'em sock 'em videos he's done for thirty years in his brain, rattling around in his brain when he's saying that. And it's like a combination of rock 'em sock 'em and Ekman Larson, and it comes out as loss 'em toss. <laughs> Who was it? How about that suit? What was How about I that seeing? suit? Respect for the yeah. suit, looking like grandma's <laughs> windows yeah. curtains. You know, like respect. there was the. Who was it last night? It was. Uh... It was uh, Ron, Ron McLean interviewing Bobby McMahon, ask like going off on some like random tangent. Oh, it was about some haberdasher and Glenn. Oh my, yeah, being, haberdasher. Oh. That's what it was. And McMahon because just he's from like, Cochrane, Alberta, which is where Bobby McMahon's from. He's supposed to know like the history of Glenn Sather and the the little tailor shop he was yeah. worked at or something. <laughs> yeah, it was God, Ron. I mean, my goodness, yeah. just. Stick to interviewing the player. You drop the look diatribes yeah. and anecdotes and little stories from like 30 years ago about the, some person. The guy doesn't have a fuck who you're talking about. <laughs> the now, look on an idea who you're talking about. Yeah. The look on the ex's face. Was McMahon is like pricey. stunned. Like, it's just, like what's where was yeah. he going with this? Yeah. yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Speaking of haberdashers, uh, yeah. a tribute and a salute to Walt Clyde Frazier's haberdasher. Continue to style after all these years. Yeah, which he does. You're right. He does. There we go. Cheers to uh, Clyde Frazier looking swank every time he's uh, doing a game on MSG for the Knicks. 4 nothing final in Seattle. I did not have that on the bingo card. Yeah, I gave up on Anaheim that bet like basically five minutes into the game. So, so did Anaheim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so did they. they gave up on the game too. Hey, 5-2 Coyotes. There we go. There we go. We Ooh, hit the over. Right. There you go. Beauty. Bada bing. Shorty. God bless the color. Columbus uh, Keller, Jackets. Keller, Keller, was it? And their third period horror yeah. show. Oh, been God. all year. Yeah. Gift that keeps on go. giving. Yeah. <laughs> Just amazing. Yeah. What a brutal. Like their goal differential feels like it's got to be like minus 100 now at, at this point. Feels like it. Is that Bukestead again? Yeah. No, it was Nick Schmaltz. Schmaltz, okay. Yeah. Vimelka picking up the assist. Look yeah. at that. Little goalie assist. Gotta love that. So there we go. There's the live o there's the um uh we've cast the second period over, and there's the over for the game, and there's the uh Team total for Arizona. So that ended up being a good finish that game. 
I love these matchups between bad teams. I find them to be so much more profitable at this stage of the season than the actual good potential playoff yeah. matchups. <laughs> I know the bad <laughs> teams smell. That's where the focus is for John. Never mind your Bruins Panthers. Give me fucking Kraken versus Ducks. Yeah. Well, no, I'll give you Black Blackhawks Calgary. You have Calgary at two, as a minus one sixty five favorite against Chicago. What yeah. does Calgary do to deserve that? Of course, I'm going to lay on Chicago and no. focus on the bad game. That's yep. ridiculous. They've been a far different team at home and with Bedard in the lineup. Yes. That's a bad line. Yeah. And Calgary's been shit since the trade deadline and trading their top 2D. So, like, I, I, it's to me, like, there are plenty of those opportunities that take the talented, good teams out of it, and you can just play numbers yep. in these bad games. Yeah. I mean, it didn't work. It didn't work out in Anaheim, but the Chicago one was a no brainer. I mean, you got to take that considering how bad Calgary's been playing. Yeah. I mean, no I, defense. Like, yeah, it just that to me, I'm not going to say wrong team was favored, but you can't have Chicago as a plus 140, plus 145 in that spot against Calgary. I'm no, sorry. No way. And we talk about Calgary all the time with these big prices against bad teams, mediocre teams. Yeah. I may I may have said a thing or two about that. I think I think you've said it just once or twice, maybe. Yeah. maybe. Yeah. It was weird too, considering how bad Calgary's road record has been and how good Chicago's home record is. And it just like sense. I and thought it was a trap. Still see the, you still see that line and it's like yeah. it doesn't make sense. You gotta bet into that hundred percent. Oh, you got pushed. Oh, Gunther just got slammed into Merzlikens, who's hurt, and it's his own guy that pushed Gunther into Oh yeah, I see that. Wow. Yeah. That is a collision. And that's the last thing. This guy, he's just had such a tough time in Columbus. He just, I think he needs to get out of there. He, yeah, I think like, I'm not a, sold that even a new change of scenery will do, get him going, but he just got to get the hell out of Columbus. Everything I, that happened there. I think, yeah. Leave Ohio, man. Get the hell out of there. Yeah. In, in two years, I see him as the next Rangers backup goalie. <laughs> That would be such a maybe that's a ceiling now is just you know be a solid backup. Yeah, but he'll have a starter Reimer. Yeah. Maybe he's the next James Reimer. Yeah. Type of thing. You you get as long as Benoit Allaire's still alive, being the Rangers backup goaltender for a couple of years is the best thing that happens to your career. Yeah. I mean look look at Jonathan Quick this year. I know it's ridiculous what he's done. Yeah. Benoit allaire has been a goalie whisperer there in New York for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, look at the, he look resigned. At, even Valaket way back in the day was capable. Yeah. But look at look at how many Ranger backups have become starters elsewhere. Yeah. Ranta, Talbot, Georgiev. Yeah. You know, just the first three immediately off, off, yeah. off the top of the head. Well, and recently, Talbot did grow a lot with New York and with Hank Lundquist help too, of course. Yeah. And and Ranta. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know what I love well, about Hank Lundquist? No fucking private box, no fucking suite when he's at a Ranger game as a civilian, not doing yeah. television or anything. I mean, he's there with the next to a bunch of celebrity. Yeah. Yeah. He's right there in the throng. He he's the man of the people. In the, stand, in the seats. That's yeah, what I love. Yeah. yeah. He's got beautiful hair, too, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. So, what are we looking at? This last Some one. Some of the best suits you'll ever see uh, a human <laughs> being wear. He's got yeah. it. Yep. Yeah. Really perfect for New York. The only bad thing about it was he was a goalie and he was always covered up. Yeah. Now Third period of the Dallas play. game is underway. Yep. Yeah. Do I have to? Like, I, I'll, I'll be honest. There we go. And yeah, I hope you tailed. You're right. Uh, anything Dre for Trey. We appreciate it. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, over three and a half live full game or over one and a half plus 150 third period team total. Either one would have hit. So great to see that. We've had just a crazy – like, we've got 400 people watching on the Ice Guys Twitter account right now, watching this stream right now. 669 total, and it's like they fell, they fell asleep to our dulcet tones. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. I think they've fallen asleep. They just forgot to turn the fucking YouTube stream off. Yeah, it would the, take the, take the view, got another fight right? here in the late, late going, <laughs> yep. I saw somebody on Twitter the other day, like, with, like, a, a parlay win from, like, Mexico. Yeah. So, like. Yeah. There's lots of people watching. It's awesome. Yeah. 
if you're part. watching and you're not subscribed, you're going to miss out on these future ones because it could be pop up anytime and you go live. You need to be in the know, even if you don't watch the show every day or whatever. Just yeah, Ty Domi, just, too. He subscribe. sits in the seats. No suite for him. He, he could go to the alumni box. You know, the Leafs have an alumni <laughs> box at every home game. He could go there and just watch the game because I've obviously played for the Leafs, but he doesn't. He chooses to be in the seats. I love it. Be amongst the people. He might have to rethink that, though. Some guy was like, like patting on his or touching his shoulder when he was trying to focus on his son fighting the other night against Edmonton. It's like, no, just back off, man. I know he's tied Domi and everyone loves him, but when your son's in a fight, it's not the time to be like tapping him on the shoulder, like, hey, hey pretty good. You know, what was he saying to him there? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> How quickly do you think Vincent's getting fired in Columbus once the season's over? He's been just a terrible coach for them this year. Yeah. He was put in a no-win situation. No, I know. Yeah. I don't know where they go from here. Like, I mean, he's going to be gone. I mean. The bigger problem is they don't know where they go from here. No, I know. I mean, no idea on what's going on with Line A. I don't think he's going to be coming back anytime soon. you got to kind of assume he's gone. They've got lots of decisions to make tons of decisions to make now and obviously that's going to fall on the uh, new general manager now that Yarmo's out of there yeah man what it, i mean go Gaudreau think go in there thinking that it was yeah be roco me idea. too I, i'm going to sprinkle on that too actually the hat the hat the hattie here for uh wyatt johnston you can get it at bet bet, bet 365 still got it at plus 500 really empty yep. netter we can see that i'm in I'll ju I'll jump in on that a bit. Hey, look at an old friend of mine, Dave. Uh, picks from Dave, who I've done some uh, live betcasts with over on uh, Pub Sports Radio in the past, usually for football. Uh, in the chat, shout out to Dave. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Actually, missed doing uh, some uh, shows with you. So hopefully, uh, we'll get the ball rolling with that football season again next year. Hey, I take Joe Pavelski plus three fifty. Just a little small, small yeah. taste. Just to score against his old team. Elvis Merzlikens was about to snap his goal stick after that goal just now. 6-2 Arizona. Ooh, who got it? And he was Gunther. about to like, lose. And he's an emotional guy, Elvis. He was that yeah. close to snapping his goal stick, and he held back. I think, I think he's pissed. Oh, Is yeah. it fair to say he's all shook up? Yeah. Oh. Ian, that's your drop, Ian. Dylan Gunther. There we go. There's a goal prop in the last minute here. Dylan Gunther. There we go. To go with Josh Doan. I wish it. I wish it was Keller, but still, it's a good hit. Yeah. I hit Gunther on a point yesterday. Yeah, that's good. Wow, and he gave up that goal with like ten seconds left. Wow, no yeah. wonder he was upset. Could have just stopped that at he gave up. Yeah. The oh yeah, look at that! Right at the end of the game, he smashes the puck off the back end of the boards. He is yeah. not happy. He's rushing off the ice. Yeah. Yeah, he's that sucks. He's heard too many goal horns in his in his ear yeah. as a goalie for the Blue Jackets, especially of late. Like this is another six goal game for him. That's three straight. He's given up six. And look, it's not all on him. I mean, the team's just you know they are what they are in front of him, and that's just not very good. All right, we've made it this far. We'll we'll stay we'll stick around for the end of the for the end of the Dallas San Jose. Hell yeah, yeah. Matt Rob's gonna not. jump on. I guarantee it. Watch. Yeah, we I'm got Landon here. How do right we now. pull the plug on the pot on the betcast here when Landon, who's a Stars fan, is here and the only game left is Dallas? How are we gonna say? You know what, Landon, you're a Stars fan. Fuck you. We're ending this betcast <laughs> now at the third period. Yeah. Hell no. Landon, you you're a not, Stars fan. Fuck up. you. We're ending this now. <laughs> <laughs> there I did it for you. Like a proper New Yorker, right? <laughs> Fuck yeah. it. Hey, yeah. I love John. I love Ian. Yeah. Jordan, nice to meet you. Oh, and the whole chat, man. man. Yeah. Let's yeah. keep it like, you know, even if the stars are losing, I'd still say keep it on. Because, you know, yeah. if there's a fucking NHL game on, I'm always trying to look at some angle or some way. We can, it's yeah. always good to share among friends. Yeah, we, we're rooting home this Wyatt Johnston hat trick uh, live bet, too. So another reason to hang around. Our parlay is still our parlay is still open too. If we can get Stankoven and Ince on a yeah. point, it's we true. There. True, we need uh, one from each. It's uh, we, we get... 
staying COVID on a goal, y'all might see me run out of here because I got a pretty nice little chunk yep. on that one. Oh yeah. What did you get staying COVID at for any time goal? It was like plus three fifty. Okay. No, not I mean it wasn't much movement from. I think he was live was just uh, someone at three hundreds. I think. I mean, not live pregame. Sorry. Signs that in the betting world, one man's you know w loss is another man's gain, and it's that game we just talked about with Arizona. Because I see a uh, DDG in the chat. The fucking Blue Jackets just cost me a two K. That's brutal, man. I when I first read that, I thought something. I was like, wait, what? Yep. That cost two yep. K for that, and then I had to reread. Yeah. No, it. it was part of a parlay for him. Oh man, that's, that's something that sucks. Sorry to hear I that. I know that feeling. It is. Yeah. Just one leg away, right? No. Yep. Round robin. If you like them, those yep. parlays. I mean, I, I'm not one to take any advice from at all because I've had some of my own. But if you really like some of your parlay, I round robin them. Yeah. Because I have a little bit of insurance. It's not insurance, but. Yeah, Especially I saw that. This is the breakaway stank oven a moment ago. Yep. Stanky leg. Yeah, I'm about to fucking put that on Spotify. Let's get some I know. I know. We got it in our heads now. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'll mute it so the, the stream doesn't get pulled. But yeah. tell you what, if I'm not getting bothered by my kids or the missus, I'm going to chill for a minute. Stars over seven plus four hundred. Philly Eagle Flyer, fly baby, fly. Yeah. I think we're gonna end I'm right on to seven. The sky. Live eighty-five. You know what? That's pretty good value. Stars live team total over seven for. Uh, I think we're gonna end on seven. I think. It, yeah. If anything, we'll probably write that. That seems like the right number. Uh, be careful with that ddg live international random soccer that's the shit my buddy gabe morency does and it doesn't always end very well for him yeah. so be careful yeah uh, I, I i usually just stick with uh i like betting second level english soccer I think we have a penalty here to dallas yeah san jose's going on the mm. power plate yeah and have now's the time look at that puck line dallas minus two and a half <laughs> Minus 191. Talk about value. No. Argentina versus Costa Rica is respectful. Yeah, plus 110 for team total over six and a half. Plus well, 125 on FanDuel. I, I always appreciate the late night bedcast, but yeah. morning comes early for me. I have some cleaning up and a couple things to wrap up before I go to bed. You know, there is this very deep card that we have tomorrow that I have to finish taking a look at. This is you leaving? This is my leaving. Oh, my gosh. John's leaving. Oh, my goodness. And he was the one wanting us to stay for Dallas. No, I wasn't. No? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm not, get, no, I'm not getting – I am not getting roped into this one. No. <laughs> You're not getting rope hints into this. You're not getting rope hints. Well played. Yeah. There you go. You're you're the ones who all need uh wait for Matt to jump on, see how drunk he is. We could take two with the over under if it cashed on beers. Uh, no. <laughs> we we all we all know he might give us a post game, game report. That's what I was because he said he might jump in post game, and that's why that's the only reason I'm hanging around. See the things I do for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and whose fault is that? Clearly not mine. Yeah. I, I, he does a lot for us, though, like showing up every yeah. Tuesday and Thursday, especially the the days when you know we've missed Alex. So that in that, this, in this rare instance, I'm blameless. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to get a gold fest in the Sens and Sabers tomorrow? Sure, why not? I wouldn't be betting it under, but at the same time, Buffalo has been a weird totals team this year. They've not been a Ooh. massive over team this year. Well, let's 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 nip this in the bud immediately. If you were thinking of betting the under, that would guarantee a goal yeah. fest That's right. between the Buffalo Sabres and the Ottawa Senators. Yeah. Yeah. So the fact that you even breathe life into such a statement makes me think that 10-8 somebody in that game. <laughs> yeah. 
Total six and a half, by the way, in that game. Uh, this will be a nice quick show. Two frigging games. We're going to rapid fire through the recap. We'll be out of there by 240 tomorrow. He Eastern says that, and I still don't believe him. That will happen, yeah. I know he's got an appointment and everything. He'll be finishing it up on the walk. The appointment, the good news is it's in town, so it's like 10 minutes for me to get there. That's why if I'm out by 240, I can get there by 3. 245, maybe we push to 245. and then uh, sure See, it's can. already moving back. And then he calls the doctor's office and he says, <laughs> oh, wait, I'm on my way. He calls the hairdresser and says, really, I'm coming. Hairdresser goes, so is Christmas. Yeah. No, it'll be a rapid fire solo edition of the program tomorrow. The program. Yeah. That bothers me, actually, when I hear people say program. I don't like program. that. Program, yeah. G-R-A-M, as in Candy Graham, as in Graham Cracker, yeah. Pat, it's Pat, not program. Graham, Graham has Pat McAfee's yeah. always like program. It's program. I mean, I don't understand how people can call That's say that word. how you program. pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> you, mean, you mean it doesn't rhyme with program? Yeah. <laughs> it's Grim. Program. If you're saying program, it's G-R-I-M is what it intonates. Yeah. And that has that has concluded hooked on phonics. Yeah. Ian Cameron. San Jose penalty. There we go. Yep. Oh, it's on Vlasic. Doesn't like the call there. Yep. Pickles. Yep. Yeah. Pickles, sour about that one. I love how the sharks are pissed off about the penalty. Yeah, yeah. If you're a team that's just totally distraught yeah. and rebuilding, calm down a little bit yeah. here. Just yeah. chill. Just, just chill. you're at a ten, bring it down to a, a two. Yeah, I mean, come on. It's not right. like that penalty Robinson call might cost you game seven or something. Like, settle down there. Mr. They're just sick and tired yeah. of hearing it from Matt Robinson in the stands. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think he's tackling the bench there, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. I used to do that at Trent Titans games. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to jump in on a little. Uh, why not? One last live bet. You know, Philly Eagle Flyer had the guts to take over seven plus 400. If he can do that, I can surely have the guts to take Dallas team total over six and a half plus 150, which I will do right now. Make sure you take it in regulation because this game's not going overtime. So yeah. you get like a couple of cents extra for the regulation. Regulation. Team total. Yeah. There is a difference. third period team total. Yeah. Yeah. That's an option too. Plus one, uh, I mean, wait a over one and a half, plus 150. And what's the uh, full game team? No, it mi it's minus 150. I'm seeing in the third period for over one and a half. He's got okay. Dallas team total for the game over six and a half, plus 150. Third period team total over one and a half, plus 150, which is the same damn thing. So that's interesting. So plus 150, I'll jump in on that a little bit. Hey, look who's here. A late night straggler coming on in. Occupancy, what's going on? What's going on, Babano panel? How's everyone doing? Good. How was your night? It is. Uh, a good, good uh, tonight. Yeah. Um, we tried to jump in on the betcast with some uh, of you know the action. I had a couple uh, conflicts with uh, schedule. But uh, that's all right. Happened. Good, good card. Uh, oh, interesting. Incredible. A lot of interesting uh, games. Oh my gosh! Like that. Yeah. That that's that swatch of the night. The, the the semblance of the night. The se the segment, I should say, of the night with the Flyers, Rangers, Panthers, Bruins, endings, and not to mention Red Wings and Capitals, all like right around the same time. Insane. And then right after that, we had the Vegas Nashville incredible predators come back. Yeah. The Oilers and Jets went to overtime. Like, where do you start with this night? <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Nuts. I guess you start start at the top of rotation order. I know. Tomorrow when I recap this, you know, every game could you could recap every game for 10 minutes, and I don't have 10 minutes. I have 45 to do recap and do games on Wednesday. Save your recap for Thursday. Yeah, <laughs> or just do the play like the playoff uh, implication games, like yeah, you know, wild card seating. I mean, Washington, Detroit. You know, both teams pick up a point. Um, Boston. I know you got a plus price with them. That was a good read. Um, Philly. Philly managed to get a point and keep themselves. You know. Yeah, that draw was big. Um, yep. Thank goodness they got yeah. that at least. Yep. 
Um, you know, some Nashville, of these other games. Big yeah, Nashville, big point. I mean, you know, the you know too, these other games, you know, like uh for betting purposes or for like playoff purposes, you know, you can kind of separate them. Um, you know, um for for me just I was on the one per, uh, first period Montreal that kind of made the I'm night telling there. you what uh, speaking of Nashville, you mentioned they got two big points tonight. They could track down Winnipeg, believe it or not, for third in the central. They're only four behind Winnipeg now. It can be done. Yeah, and we know Winnipeg this time of year. It's usually not a great time of year for them. Um, this is starting to look a lot like last year, a little bit again for them, where second half they sputtered and then they went out meekly in the first round. Not saying that's going to happen again, but it's showing little signs of that. That's another one where I question the depth of their score. Yeah, that's the uh, issue. What are you going to get from the third line and fourth line out of that group? What are you going to get? Anything? I, and I still think Kyle Connor's overrated. Yeah, I mean he's got to he does have to amp it up in the in the big you know postseason run. He can't be so dependent in the lineup on Shifley. Like, yeah, you are supposed to be better than that and generate more on your own. You're right. His production dips when Shifley's out. We've seen it. Yeah, yeah, we've seen it. Like Nito Ryder, Lowry, and Appleton, and then Baron and Nemesnikov and Perfetti. Is your, your bottom set? Perfetti's totally shit the bed here the last like month or two. He's done nothing. Yeah, you haven't seen him yeah. at all. Like, oh yeah, he's being buried right now. And like, have they been playing him further down the lineup? Yep, yep. He's, yeah. he's, he's 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 hit a wall. Yeah. I mean, when I look at the third line, I mean, I feel like they can kind of stack up against some other third lines. Um, I mean, we yeah, you know defensively how hard, they can, uh, but offensively yeah, that's the issue. Offensively, yeah. maybe not. I mean, Lowry works hard. Yep. We all know about him, and and Niederreiter can be streaky. Um, you know, but he's been there before. He's not. It's not his first rodeo. No. Um, but I don't know with that team. I mean, we're we're almost in the you know, like we'll almost know the matchup soon. I mean, you know, sometimes it shifts. But kind of within the next you know week or so, it's going to shake out, and we'll see kind of who they match up against. I forget who was saying it, but there are all these like like Winnipeg matches up against a certain team, you know, Colorado, Dallas, all these different you know things, certain ways. So we'll kind of see how that shakes out. But um, I mean Nashville. I mean, I, I did did I, did you get to see what happened? Like, was it just did they just turn on the burners and like I didn't even because I didn't see the game. I don't it was know what, a bad how it um... happened. So they went fourth, if I remember correctly, they went fourth. So it was 4-3, so they made it 4-3. Yeah. And then they were looking at the goal. They reviewed it, and they took a penalty, and then they tied it, right? Yeah. Yeah, they tied it, and then they took it to overtime. Were they, like, running and gunning, or were they just kind of playing, like, playing like a like a kind of paced game, or was it just, like, run and gun? How were they? There was some good pace in it, actually. It was, it was a faster yeah. pace than you would think, for especially for the Jets. You know who don't typically play that fast pace very often. Um, so it was it was definitely a faster pace game than you would think from them. Nice. There was a lot of fights tonight. I'm looking at all the hockey hockeyfights dot com has posted like seven fights from the games tonight. Yeah, there was a bunch. Well, there was how many were there in the Florida game? There's probably what yep. three or four there. That's true. Yep. Yep. Right, and then you had yep. one in the Winnipeg game. Uh, Kunin, obviously, you had him fight in the San Jose game, so that's six. Yep. Um, Stefan Nason and Jonathan Gruden in the Carolina Pittsburgh game, they fought. Yep. Yeah. It's one of those nights. Yeah. That's just, it's playoffs are around uh, the corner. The temp- however, is, nothing yeah. in Rangers Flyers. No. Which and, used to have some battles in, back uh, in the day. Yep. Yeah. And, and Anaheim finishes with 13 shots on goal for the game and no fights. So yeah. they, uh, I guess they're, no they're focused they didn't show any fight at their all. golf reservations. No. They don't want to, uh, no. Yeah. Got the Vetrano shot prop though. Three shots on goal. Nice. <laughs> right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 
Exactly three. Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, exactly. I was surprised three. he didn't get. Just I thought he was going to get moved at the at the deadline. I, I kind of thought Vetrano might have had a different sweater on. But uh, I guess he stayed put. Him and Gibson. Gibson, too. I mean, Gibson, we've talked about for years, could be a, a candidate maybe to get traded and just never happens. Yeah. I don't know if he's got much trade value after this season. Not now. He's totally, he's totally no. mailed it in this year. Get a bag of pucks right now. Yeah. It's unfortunate no. how far he has fallen. Yeah. I think mentally, too, he's not in a good way. Like he's on this team that goes nowhere now the last few years and stuck in uh, stuck in the mud. Yeah. Good good to see you, Landon. I haven't haven't seen you in a while. John, Jordan, nice nice to meet you. It's, uh... Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Likewise, occupancy. Yeah. Nice how things you out you saw at West? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be uh, here for a little bit longer. So you could have gotten the – aren't you not too far from the Shark Tank? I've gone to a couple games this year. Um, but I'm just super busy during the week. I got to – trying to finish up yeah. my school and work. And, yeah, it's just crazy. I hear um, that. Yeah. And the tickets, the tickets are like just laughably cheap. It's it's like I can we can get I can get in for thirty bucks like with fees. Like it's I I, I got to think it's the cheapest ticket like that out there. I mean I don't know like what Winnipeg or Chicago or I mean I don't know what other markets, but it's like my, my buddies are 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 in John's neck of the woods. They're they're all Rangers fans and. They show me their seating map and what what it costs to get into MSG, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, like, yeah. So, what did Alex say earlier in the stream? He said if it's more expensive for the parking than the actual tickets, then you know you got a problem. Yeah. Well, that's a thousand percent, especially down there. I'm sure you're not getting in for parking for less than twenty five bucks. We have the same, like I'm in Toronto area, like outside of Toronto, and we have the same issue with uh, with the Jays. I mean, you can get a ticket for 15, 20 bucks, and you'll pay 20 to 30 bucks to park. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. through the week, you're getting 10, 11, 12, 13,000 in a park that can take 50. So, I mean, it's, it's an empty. It's an empty um, stadium. Yeah, at that rate, better all getting dropped off or take an Uber. <laughs> Very much, or the subway, man. Oh yeah, see, that's, that's the best way to go if you can if you can get away with it. I live way out in the suburbs though, so I don't have access from where I live to get down there. But but yeah, when I did live gotcha. in the city. When I lived in the city, I could take a bus and get to the subway, and then just ride down into the into the core, and then go to the games. Then Rob, Robertson power play goal. Back. I think Hans got a point. Gonna... I'm trying to get an assist oh, yeah. from Robertson tonight, and all I'm getting is goals, man. Oh, he was two goals too. He went in depth on that scouting report. <laughs> Balls deep in that iPad. Yeah. <laughs> so, all righty, one o'clock. I gotta sign off. The eight a.m. Uh, well, it's the six o'clock alarm. Comes early. Later, so, John. I, I, will, later. I will see everybody on the uh, YouTube, the X, the Twitter, the text messages, the TikToks. Yep. Wherever over the next. Uh, yeah, six three Dallas. Three there days. it is. Yep. As and, we uh, uh, mentioned. Maybe if we can uh, make this work on Monday, uh, I'll help Ian out. Oh, yes, John. Yeah, they, absolutely. Let's do it. For Monday games. Monday, will, John Massey will uh, join us as a, a filling in for Brett, who won't be with us Monday. Sounds good. So, all righty. Until then, well, hopefully I'll see you over the weekend. But good night, all. All right, Take good care, night, John. John. Yeah. Always good. John. The one and only John Massey, king of the late night betcast, dry wit. Regulation bets. Razor sharp calls. Yep. Regulation bets. That's his go to with the live bets on our betcast late at night. And I wanted a Robinson assistant. 
All I'm getting is Robinson. Can we just put just a nice little icing on the cake here tonight? Get one more goal out of Dallas here for this over six and a half team total. That would just be just get this parlay, man. You jumped got... on a six and a half team total. Oh, yeah, for Dallas plus one fifty. Oh, Ian, man. all we need like is Stan, go, all we yeah. need is Stankoven on a point, man, and we got this parlay. Yeah, parlay needs Stankov, Stankoven. We That's need it. Stankoven parlay, and we've got we're hitting that stanky leg. If he gets a point or a goal, we're gonna yep. hit that stanky leg real quick. Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, the Johnson Hattie. Yeah, yeah, the Johnson Hattie would be great. Well, San Jose pulled the goalie. That's the question. Now that they're down three, you know, Quinn. Quinn yeah. might. He he might. Really? He still might. Yeah, he's. I don't know. Why does he look like he's always about to cry? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you if you coached this fucking <laughs> I don't know, man. Of a team? The yeah. bench he's had to yeah. sit behind this year. And... <laughs> it's going to be rebuilding for like eight years. Yeah. It feels Later like. Later on, anyway. Russell. Thanks for watching, Russell Dick. Shout yeah, out. Yeah, Russell. Thank night, you man. very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. I can't believe there's still 661 people watching. It's like 1 a.m. My goodness. 410 on Twitter. Where do you get most of the viewers? Do you think uh, like through you through Twitter or through YouTube? I think for sure we've got a situation where we've got we've got international people like never before watching this this yeah. show because I'm seeing people from Mexico tweet out tickets. Thank you, Ice Guys, and they're from Mexico, that's, they're from Sweden, they're from Australia. Yeah, I saw the one in Mexico on Twitter. I know it's amazing. There yesterday it was yeah funny. First, that he's watching and betting hockey in a place where it's not traditionally popular. And second yeah. of all, that he's found this show. That's like a fucking yeah. one in a million shot right there. Yeah. Yeah. Sweden obviously logically makes a bit more sense because yes. they actually play hockey there. But Mexico, that one kind of jumped off. And we recently had Eric De La Rose on the program, and he did a great job. And we're going to, he'll definitely be coming back when the playoffs start as well. Yep. You know, San Jose goal would mean they'd pull the goalie for sure if they if they would score and make it six four, which would be good for the Dallas team total. Man, Matt Robinson just must be just having a time. Nine yeah. goals, like yeah. oh, beauty. Let's see. And if you and anyone on the first period over hit, so that's he, usually one. He's so. having he, he's having a Bill Medley and Jennifer Warren's night time of my life. <laughs> Never felt this way before. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's a that's a, that's actually a really good song from the Dirty Dancing. That was the movie that was from. Yeah. Yeah, pre nose job. Yep. I thought she looked fine. I mean, you need to have something recognizable. Like, just go with what you're what you're born with. So, yep. I mean, whatever, whatever makes you happy, I guess. But there we go. Uh, absolutely, uh, long time listener, first time caller, would love to hop on the next. Absolutely, uh, B Roco. Um, we will announce our next. Well, we're going to have a bunch of BetCasts in April. We're going to have some Patreon-exclusive ones for our Patreon members, but we're definitely going to have at least one, if not two, free public BetCasts in April. Probably one will be in the regular season and one will be when the playoffs start. So stay tuned, and you're definitely welcome, B. Rocco. Appreciate it. That's right. Gets that's John Massey rolling into references here. That's Joe Cocker. That one though, yeah. Up where we belong. Yep, that is. Yep. Although Jennifer Warnes was in that. I now okay. That's right. Jennifer Warnes was in that song too. Okay, now I know what what you're getting at. Now it makes sense. Yeah, that's uh all right. We've got hit our last TV timeout here of the San Jose game. Four thirty-four to go. One more. Give us get us to seven here if you're Dallas. Oh, they've got the interview right now on the Arizona broadcast post game with uh, Josh Doan. Oh man, you can tell it's uh he's got this grin ear to ear smile right now. That's just stuff of legend it's like a fairy tale it's like a dream 
you know, I'm making my NHL debut for Arizona Coyotes. My pops played his whole career in this with this franchise. And here in my first game with Arizona, I've got my first and second NHL goal in my first game with dad in attendance in the press box. It's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool stuff. Yeah. Do you think he's going to be better, better than his dad? He looks a little bit bigger than his dad. He might be more of an offensive force than pops. Yeah. I'm already starting to think that. Yeah. It's not like Shane was bad offensively. He was good. He had a very yeah. productive offensive career, but he was also known for the intangibles defensively, defensive prowess, face-offs, leadership, uh, all that stuff. Um, but, you know, he was a good offensive player, but he was consistent. You know what I mean? He was always a 20-goal scorer, a 30, he had a few 30-goal seasons, but he yeah. was always going to get you 20 goals, Shane, in his career. This guy's got the chance maybe to be 30-goal scorer. Hell, maybe if he even keeps – taken that step 40 even like i definitely have show see signs from this kid already that maybe could be more, more of an offensive guy than uh his dad how uh how old is he is he shane's still if... very young. Oh, shane's still are you talking about josh yeah shane's still very young like 47 josh is 22 <laughs> josh yeah no yeah. josh yeah. um yeah so i mean maybe he still even gets a bit more size yeah into him as well once he's like you know gets in further into the nhl yeah I mean, oh yeah that's always the thing he's got to work on put a little more meat on the bone if you will yeah yeah get a little bigger get a little stronger yeah That's a good question. Yeah, we, we're waiting on Pat Maroon. Yeah, Duclair. Yeah, Duclair props, of course. Any anytime Tampa's playing right now, you got to look at Duclair. By the way, we'll have to see if Point and Hedman return. Remember, they did not play against Anaheim the last game of the road trip for Tampa Bay. So we'll see if uh, Braden Point and uh, Victor Hedman return to the lineup for them. Stankhoven goal would be so nice right now. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if we're going to get that chance. It's, it's now we're down 240 left. They haven't pulled the goalie yet, and I don't think they're going to. Yeah, they're probably going to roll the fourth line here for the yeah. last couple. Just get the game like over with. The San Jose Sharks get the game over with. Get us to the showers. Yeah. Unfortunately. Came real close. It's got time left. Never know. You'll watch right till the end. Yeah, we'll I'm, I'm with you. We're not. We're not. <laughs> yeah, <the end>. no. <laughs> so it's telling me. Yeah, you're right. Not even a first out. round pick, Josh Dillon. A little under the radar when they took him. Uh, was he second Arizona. round? I think I saw 37. Wow. Yep. Second round, 37. Yep. Uh, 22 draft. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Like I say, the round you're drafted in matters not anymore. You know, these days, it's, it's amazing how many times you can see someone develop, become one heck of a great NHL player. All right, we're inside two minutes left here. Stars still up 6-3. Just looking to put the uh, game I mean, if, uh, under wraps right now. If Stankhoven goal hits at this point, I'm going to jump out of my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Start screaming. I don't even have anything on him well, other than the parlay. But yeah. for you, more than anything, Len. That would be, yeah, that would be, like yeah. I say, big. But uh, I don't think we're going to get that fortunate. Time's running out, minute and a half. San Jose's not giving up on a comeback attempt. Dallas just wants to get the game done. Yeah, we want to. Yeah, they got Vancouver Thursday night. That's right, and uh, that'll be. A, they've got a couple tough ones coming up. Vancouver's one, and I think they. Well, actually, that is the one tough one. Seattle, I think, is who they play on the weekend. So, but but see, that is one game Seattle could be up for because that's the team that knocked them out last year in the playoffs. No, yeah. so I I don't know if that's auto fade Seattle like it's been for me lately. They won tonight. I, I won't be betting Seattle, but. I don't know if I'll fade them when they play Dallas because they've got that playoff history. It's a team that ended the season. And I know it's their their season's already over Seattle, but if there's one game or one night where 
yeah, let's really come out and try to win this. It would be that Dallas game Saturday night. Yeah, I agree. All right, so as we uh, wind down here, final seconds of this game, we'll uh, put a ribbon on the night, or not a ribbon, a bow on the night. It's been a heck of a bat cast. Man, we got so much to recap tomorrow uh, when we uh, start the show and do the Tuesday recap. I mean, where do we start with this night? It's insane overtime games, incredible comebacks. Guy in his NHL debut in his uh, in, in front of his dad, who played for the same franchise, scores two goals in his NHL debut. This night was nuts. This was one of the best nights of hockey, top to bottom, I've seen in a very long time. And even after a slow start with the bets, it ended up turning out okay uh, at the end of the night. And we cashed some live ones. The Nashville comeback was huge to get the original best bet on the show to cash, to get the uh, Preds plus 500 and draw plus 900 live during that game, the live over with the Columbus games, uh, Arizona game in the second period, uh, Arizona coming through in the third period. So really good results in the latter stages of the night and just just an incredible night of hockey and a fun and bet cast and hanging with great people as always. Uh, let's start with Landon. Uh, some summation of the night, if you will. Final thoughts, a crazy night and a win, of course, for your Dallas Stars. Just going in the book, 6-3 final. Yeah, this is like spring league hockey, you know. We'll take it. It doesn't really mean shit. It's more get out there and keep the legs moving. Yep. What's going to matter is going to come in a few weeks. Love the time and the opportunity to jump on and hang out with some of the fellas. Uh, occupancy, long time, but always a good time to see you. Jordan, first time, but felt like we've been hanging out a few times, right? So, Ian, you know where we're at. So, always a good time. And just say, anyone watching and you're not subscribed, you need to right now because – you're going to miss out on BetCast opportunities when they go live, anything else, because nothing else better than BetCast, you brews, or if you're into something else, I'm cool with that too. So smoke them if you got them. Love it. Have fun. Absolutely. Occupancy, final thoughts. And yes, 2001 draft for Josh Doan, 37th overall. It was 2021. That was the uh, draft year for him. But occupancy, shout out. Do you have anything to say about your Islanders, by the way? I know that's a team that often frustrates you, but I can't believe what I saw against New Jersey Sunday. I really can't. Yeah, I, I, it, you know, it's it's a it's a story I've been telling a, a long time with kind of how Amarillo, you know, Lou built the team, and um, it, if you just watch them closely, yeah, they're just I just don't think they're built for this game uh, in 2024. I really don't. Um, you got the fourth line that they've been riding for years. They put Lee as a captain. It's a big, bulky, slow group that can batter and bruise and get goals in front of the net when Lee was scoring. But I think with the game as it is today, um, I just think they're going to be floating around that nine spot. I don't know if they can make that push to get in, especially with how Washington is playing. That was my favorite game on the card tonight. Um, really thought that was a important game for the uh, Eastern, you know, playoff race. Um, but no, I just, you know, these betcasts are great. You know, anyone who's, getting into this uh, for the first time uh, or new or, or been here for a long time. You know, you, you know, Ian and Alex, they put in so much work to get their daily cards out uh, $10 a month. You sign up for the Patreon. Uh, you, you know, you can do what you want with it. If you're a capper, you just see what they're on. If you're not, you know, look, look into it. Um, you know, unit betting is crucial um, and you can kind of pick and choose what you want and you can, you can go with the whole card every, I mean, you can kind of just see what, what to do with it, but, but you get just so much access to, to information and, and look, this is a great game. We all, you know, we all are here because we love the NHL. We love hockey. And when you're, when you're around it with other people and then, you know, it's like, you're talking it with, it's like a family. It really is. So it's, um, it's good to be here. And yeah, I mean, uh, just uh, excited to, to, you know, navigate, navigate the NHL with this group is, uh, is a good thing. Yeah, it's a great group, and the best is yet to come because we've got the regular season winding down, an exciting three weeks, playoff races, division races, and then the playoffs. And the playoffs this year should be absolutely fucking out of this world. Uh, just the matchups, how many teams feel they've got a legit chance. The Western Conference, they're going to pulverize each other uh, in the playoffs. How many great series and matchups are we going to see, especially in the West? I mean, I just can't wait for April 20. Uh, when the uh, stand, it's less than a month away. It's right around the corner. 
Very happy to have Jordan with us. First time, I believe, for Jordan on the BetCast. And I know I think he's pretty new to the the ice guys, if I'm not mistaken. But he's uh, jumped in here first time on the BetCast. Hope you're back. Many BetCasts in the future, Jordan. Uh, good to have you. Uh, final thoughts tonight? Yeah, no, it was a great night. Great card. Um, really appreciate uh, you having me on. And it's just kind of good to come hang out, talk hockey, and and meet meet the crew uh, first first time uh, caller uh, hopefully i'll yep. be on many more times uh, but i i just actually recently joined the um, the patreon as well so anybody that's in the chat that can see uh that's been watching obviously i think it's a great value um ian and the team and and alex they all do really great work so it's it's well worth the money and um i think it again kind of what occupancy was saying around community right and there's a sense of community here with yep with this group. So, um, yeah, looking forward to many more, um, of these in the future. No doubt. And that's what we are. We're building a, That's why we call it the ice guys family. That's, that's what we, this is. That's what we're building. Uh, keep it rolling. Everyone's invited to join the family. Uh, and there's no doubt. Uh, and, uh, we want to keep building, keep growing phenomenal bet cast. I, I can't, I'm still this night of hockey. It's just everything that's happened is just flooding through my brain right now. Everything that's happened tonight. It's been an incredible night. Just so many crazy finishes, crazy wild games, comebacks, uh, overtime games. I mean, you name it fights galore. I mean, this is, this was everything you could want in hockey. The night like this shout out to Landon occupancy, Jordan, who are still here on the stream. Everyone that joined us earlier in the night, everyone in the chat, Thank you for hanging in there for over six hours tonight on this live BetCast. Hit the like button uh, on the way out. There it is. The Ice Guys were here seven days a week, Monday to Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern, Saturday and Sunday, noon Eastern. And again, if you can't watch the show live, download the podcast. Shout out to everyone. I'm Ian Cameron. Thanks for tuning in to another Ice Guys live BetCast. Uh, we will catch you again next time on the BetCast. And make sure you join us tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday for our next daily show to recap all this Tuesday night madness. See you tomorrow on Wednesday for another edition of the Ice Guys. Mm -hmm.